Yo, big up on yourself, big up on yourself. Now you hear me? Blessings, blessings. Where's it? Friday? Where's it? Saturday? Yo, the day them will move fast. People, tonight we're going to talk about Ravel Morrison. We want to talk about um, the Jamaica midfield, bro. Um, we were having this discussion today, and we really wanted to. I was like, yo, this is a discussion that we need to have because though we've been getting good results, Everybody know how good Jamaica can be as a team, but we need to get up to that top three level. We know that everybody can see the coach. I'm sure if the if the public can see that we need a player like that in the middle of the park, then Jamaica can play much better. I would say my point on this is why I think Ravel Morris is a key player for Jamaica. We, we saw how we played for Jamaica with players where Demarai Gray wasn't in the team. Demarai Gray can we could even get more out of a Demarai Gray if Ravel Morris is playing true balls to Demarai Gray. If you look at the balls that Demarai Gray is getting with a Ravel Morrison at that where Casey Palmer is playing right now, Jamaica would be more productive. Even in that US game, I'm not gonna say well if he was there, but I think with his skill set, we saw games. Today, we even said, yo, as a community, we're talking about that. We were like, yo, we need to watch back a game and compare one of Casey Palmer's best game games and one of Ravel Morris's best games for Jamaica. Are those two players the solution? I would more say it's a Ravel Morris. But Ravel Morris knows that he has to make things happen, start playing football. Even with get even if gets the club, he will have to just start playing football, and you don't just walk into the team. Sorry about that. My daughter asked me if it's something more long, and you know, so when they remember, they must say, yo, I forget it. Yeah, so as me say, everybody knows the missing piece, such thing as Casey Palmer's best. JT, bless of yourself. Um, Casey Palmer's best game. I can't. People are saying we need to give him more time. They're saying we need to give him more time, but I'm thinking, um, Either Casey Palmer or DJ, somebody, it, there has to be a sacrifice made there. I think maybe now is the time. The discussion was also about Jonathan Russell. Jonathan Russell hasn't been in the team. Um, he played today for Barnsley. Today, um, Devontae Cole as well. He played today. Kira Anderson, he played today. Had a, uh, Took a free kick today. Really good player. But... What I'm observing is the coaches picking specific players for specific windows or specific duties. That's all I can say about that. Um, but the midfield is still, there's a missing piece. Going into a Copa America, I'm, I'm sure at least every team in the Copa America will have a creative player. I think Jamaica probably will be the only team going in there not having a creative player. We have to have that. We have to get that creative player going, that creative play. We have to. We have to get the creative play going because Jamaica, we can play that strong football up and down the park, but we need a player like Ravel Morrison who can slow. I know some people want to say Jonathan Russell is slow, but Jonathan Russell hasn't had a bad game for Jamaica, not one bad game. I can't remember one game where he was uh, atrocious, but somebody is saying that, Maybe in one of those games in Austria, Jonathan Russell, yes, he played one of those games. He was kind of poor. But the last game I saw him in the um, Gold Cup where he actually scored and the coach took him off at halftime, he hasn't really played since then. But for us, sometimes we're thinking maybe the pace of the game 
the coach is now realizing the intensity in Kankakov. Maybe the coach is saying, no, I need players who can be more aggressive, more snappy in the midfield. Casey Palmer is a bit more snappy, can move faster up and down the park. Bless of yourself, uh, uh, Jamaica Guna, Kevin Bailey, Meister Dan, um, Yaman, yeah, Lee Young. Yeah, so we need a player there. We need a maestro there in the middle of the park. Somebody who can dice up it, knife up it, nice up it. You see me? Like, we need that, bro. Every team has that one player who can make a turn and open up the midfield like an umbrella. Like, you have to have one of those players if you want to threaten defenders. Because if you're pre, some of the big defenders, I love that drill that they had with Pep Guardiola's team, uh, Manchester City, doing this warm-up drill. I don't know if you guys saw that. They're doing this warm-up drill with the defenders, with the centre-backs. It's so crazy. They're doing a warm-up drill, and the defenders are stepping at who knows when to go, who knows, but they're moving in unison. They're moving in unison. And that's how we want to get to a point where Jamaica can play. And I think the back three, we can make that happen. Ravel play, playing on club ball. That's the thing. Ravel needs to get club ball ready. You see what I mean? Ravel needs to play for a club ball, uh, a, a club side. You see me? That's what he needs to do and get back into this Jamaica team. You see me? I say, oh, um, come on, Newton. Because he's the missing link. Because, bro, look around with all the players that everybody say that Jamaica has. Who's the next player that you can say, okay, if this player, other than I would think Omari Hutchinson and Ravel Martin, is between those two players, I think that could get Jamaica to another level with in the attack, and let's say a Leon Bailey is back as well, I still think that then you have more cutting-edge players on the team, a Ravel Morrissey, a Dumari Gray, a Mason Greenwood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just that, that, that's, that's, like, that's like you have a Manchester United squad already, like almost, because all those players that are called, could have gone through one of those academies. So that's the level. So your whole front five is basically just high players who has the ability to turn out something special for you in a game. You know, that's important. That's the vibe. Ravel is the only player in our midfield that always want the ball. Yo, thank you. Like, that's the thing where DJ and Speedy, they get rid of the ball and it might seem like they're making a lot of passes. But it, it's just like, is it moving the team forward? There's a thing in football called negative play that where do you make the pass and you got the pass off to one of your teammates, it still slowed down the attack. It slowed down the team going forward. So you might pass the ball to one of your teammates, but the team could have attacked. You have to have those players who have, I see, have 360 vision. You see what I'm saying? So if you play football, bro, you know about the 360 vision. Yo, chuck. All right, yo, you know about the 360 vision. If you play football, your African scan the field, know what go on, be able to turn your head. We need that player. Right now, our players are just playing fast. Like, yeah, get the ball, yeah, yeah, try to do something. We need somebody in there to slow it down. Look, if you look at all the teams where, I'm not saying Jamaica is ever going to get to a point where we are position-based team. No, I'm not going to say that, bro. But I think for us to reach our full potential, we have to at least be at least be good enough to some level with ball possession when we move into football. We can't just be hoping that because then we're going to be defending like most of the game. Remember, the percentage of time that we're not on the ball, those statistics, if it's 70, 30 or 40, 60 or whatever, then that's the amount of time you're defending. You're defending 60% of the time, 70% of the time. Imagine you go, imagine a dear yard, bro. All right, yo, check this, check this. We have to give you the support. We have to give you the support. We have to give you the support. Because you know, all like people have grow up a yard. You know, you know. Yo, imagine you're bridging them link up a yard. And we say, yo, we're going to roll some leather in the evening, you know, Sunday, you know. Yo, you know, some the mother don't cook up food, everything. You see me already. But, when you go in there, I'm going to say, yo, yo, 
we have pick out the side them, but you see your side, your side have to go different for most of the evening where we are playing ball. All right? <laughs> you see me, bro? At that, my side have to go do that. That, that the man tell me, no. my side have to go do most of the tackling. It, it's like, no, bro, football is not fun if you're, and maybe that's also a thing why a Leon Bailey might want a break, bro. Because coming to play for Jamaica, they're not going to get the ball as much as they get the ball in their team because Jamaica is not holding on to the ball. So then they're doing a lot of running, even if they're not giving you heavy run back vibes every time, they're still giving you running on the park. And for those professionals, I think that's one of the things for me that why even Omari Hutchinson wasn't, isn't here yet. Imagine Omar Hutchinson got the chance to get into a French team, like play with all those great players. I think he would probably do that because he's going to be on the ball. Mbappe is taking the ball out wide. He's cutting in. He, he's attracting defenders. So there's going to be loads of space opening up. A player like Omar Hutchinson would enjoy. But when he comes to play for Jamaica, we are a team that's tackling or chasing the opponent for the ball. Most of the time, we have to get a balance. I'm not going to say Jamaica is going to win ball possession. People, hit the like button on the video, people. All right, all right. Hit the like button on the video, people. All right? Let me just go on it. Hit the like button on the video, people. And give one a commercial break. Give one a commercial break. We're going to hit the... Um, we're going to hit... Just hit the like button on the video, please. Yeah, man. Go back at it again. Yeah. So we, we need to get to because uh, in, in Copa, our midfield is you see this midfield that everybody is talking about. It's going to be the most. I think this is what's going to determine Jamaica's performance in the Copa America. If we go there, the Damian Lowe experiment, I'm all for it. You know that. I'm one of the persons who said Damian Lowe, I would have started him. I had him in my starting lineup for the, the last game because I wanted to see how he know if Damian Lowe is going to take that position serious on the field, he needs to basically work on his passing or maybe when he gets the ball, just because what I, they're intercepting the ball. So that tells me he's not used to the angles that he needs to pass the ball in these short, close areas. So that's why he probably goes long as a player. So you see, no, us seeing Damian Lowe going long for Jamaica all the time, we now see the counter side of him not able to go long. And this is probably the reason why he goes long, because he's more comfortable going long. So Damian Lowe playing this position actually will help his game, actually, if he works on his ability to pass. Because he's going to win the ball. He's going to commit other, a lot of fouls. But um, for some reason, the fouls has been, you know, working. But we all know that it's a, um, it's, it's a, we're hoping it's not a matter of time where he just pops out with a foul. Um, there, but we see, like for the, I think the game against the United States, the first five or six falls in that game for Jamaica was Damian Lowe. So in the midfield, but he improved in that last game. I saw that his temperament was a bit better. I thought that he was timing his runs a bit better, his tackles a bit better. He, I think he was very conscious in that game about his position and where he was located on the park as in the first few games where he was just traveling off fumes, basically going off adrenaline to get the football back for Jamaica. He's no longer doing that. He didn't do that in that last game. So that tells me that either they're talking to him and the sports, um, um, them bringing in a therapist, a sports therapist or whatever, or a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whatever that term is, um, them bringing in someone from the social sciences to help with maybe helping to enhance players' mental psyche before games. So that's good. That Because I think that's a player like Damian Lowe that I think he could help. Remember, I said, like, when you look at players like Lamar Walker and those guys back in the days, as I said, 
those youths all have talent, but I realized it was more a mental thing. Like you, they would get the ball in this in space, but they don't cherish having the ball. So they're like, okay, let me just try something or kick it away or do something. Learning football properly is about keep, it's like called keep away. Like you're keeping the ball away from your opponent and we and, and, and looking for your teammates to make runs to then hurt them or whoever you want to build up as a team. So I think a lot of those kids, they, when I see them came up playing for Jamaica, they didn't understand that side of the game where it was, uh, I'm going to mash up again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's, 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 that's where we're on right now. So let me check out some of them coming out. Uh, Estetnik was, JT Casey has never played his right position. Yeah, that's another thing. The posi um, not playing the right position. I, th I, I agree. I agree. But so what you need, how, how then you're going to have to make a sacrifice if Casey Palmer needs to go higher up the park. Because when you have a Bobby Reed, that's another thing. Bobby Reed is a really good play. You know, I'm always for Bobby Reed. But sometimes it gets a bit tricky there where I don't know if sometimes Bobby Reed could come off the bench in certain games, if we have other cutting edge players, and I'm, but I'm, I'm for Bobby Reed playing every game. However, the coach wants to use him. Bobby Reed is those players like, um, you know what I mean? Steve Kerr coming off the bench for the Chicago Bulls, you know, like just coming and hitting that clutch three pointer. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like you need, that's a Bobby Reed. You need that player in the team. He knows he's going to play. He knows he's a part of it. But I don't think I'm starting him every game if the coach really, really wants to be flexible. You see me, I say? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's a wild thought. This, I think we are turned over the ball too easy by making the passes a little early and our passes long. So that, that's why I talked about Damian Lowe's temperament going long and going... Um, and no has to play the ball short. So this is another side of his game. He has to develop. And I think Damian Lowe is a guy, based on looking at him on inter um, listening to him on interviews, he seems like a guy who's a like he, he's aware of his progression and probably knows where he needs to go or knows where when he's like operating at optimum level. Like, you know what I mean? He's cool, like I'm fit, you know, my, my game is um improving, my mental is there, like. That's optimal. Like players want to get to that level where it's just, you know, you feel like a player. You should be out there. And we all know, but there has to be, there's going to be some decisions this summer. Kiroi Anderson, um, he played very well today. I, I saw that kid. He's another one who slows down the play for Jamaica that I really like. I don't know if the coach is into players that slows down the play, though. Um, look at it, guys. Look, look at it. Look at it. Yo, check out. Check, check. Oh, let me just say. If you look at the players who slow down the game, the coach likes to go for more twitchy players. Players who can move the ball fast up the, the field. Jonathan Russell, a player who can slow down the game, make back passes and knock it around. I think the coach has come to a realization or a conclusion like this is not our identity. This is not our play. We're going to get it. Snap attack. Like, you know, use speed um, and, 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 and stuff like that. Just surprise it. Defend very well, though. But what that does is like you're conceding all midfield play to your opponent before the game even starts. So I think that's why if we can tweak that a little bit as to where we get a little bit more midfield play, I think it would even get our attack to be able to attack teams in different ways. Yeah. Low in midfield is not it. Um, really, JT, Tabo, Lincoln, really, JT, you are Tabo <laughs> about Lincoln player, bro. Okay. Um, I rather coach Grimm this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or in our coaching. Uh, I'm just a football fan, bro. Um, I'm not 
how how are you not playing in the national team? I don't think I'm 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 good as a national level football player, bro. I, I'm I'm a fan of Jamaican football, and growing up, love playing football, bro. I play football my whole life. Um, yeah. So that's that's the thing. So it's not just football on TV. We're like we know what's happening on the pitch. When you're on the pitch. Sometimes a lot of players, that's why if we can, I think Coach Jaime Hallgrimson has gone to Jamaica and he realizes, he says, okay, he, he, he probably researched for himself, whatever that looks like, and it's like, oh, this is the culture. This is the kind of athletes I'm getting. How can I best utilize, his, utilize your skills? Because in, in some ways, we, we have improved, so we have to give it. What did you... Um, <laughs> Uh, don't think, uh, yeah, man. Kevin Bailey said, "Don't think Lua played the ball from him head when he make pass a tackle." Um, there is no point of having a conversation if the man not playing football. The conversation, <laughs> right? Not we hope for. No, it's just I, I think Ravel represent more. Ravel represent Jamaica's midfield, bro. Of what's missing. I'm talking about even if it's not him that's there. I think even what the coach is trying to do now, as I said, that is twitch play, meaning it's just, it's not sitting on the football, it's getting the football moving as fast as possible, covering a lot of space, catching teams on quick breaks. It seems like that's what our team is doing, and it, it's been working. I remember in that Canada game, that first game, we saw Leon Bailey had some early breakaways in that game in the first 20 minutes of that game. And it was those twi twitch plays, one or two passes, Jamaica get it up the midfield, hit the striker or hit the winger. So it, it, it's work. I can see it. I think in that Canada game, that first game, that though we lost that game, was the first time I realized, okay, this is what coach is going to do. He's like, I'm going to get my best player, the football in the, uh, I would say the closest to goal in the best position as possible. That's what, so the players are always thinking about moving the football forward. The thing that comes with that is you're going to get one that works though, but you're going to, and you're going to maybe get opportunities, but you're going to turn over the football a lot because you're trying to move forward very quickly. That's the thing. Teams that try to go forward very quickly. So if you're not very good while going forward with the ball quickly, like having good ball handlers. That's why we come back to having good ball handlers. The team need a, even if we get a, Casey Palmer was supposed to be that quick, fast ball handler, bro. Casey was supposed to be that, he, he's that fast player. He can get up and down the park. Skillful player. Um, but people are saying he's, he's playing too deep. So that's why I said, no, you're, you're stuck with a decision between does Bobby Reed play deeper and you keep, and, and, and you move Casey Palmer up the park. Or you would have dropped a Bobby Reed and play Casey Palmer up the park and then bring in a Kiroi Anderson or another player. That's just how I'm looking at it. If, 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 if the argument is going to be that Casey Palmer is playing too deep for Jamaica, then you, you have to make a decision between him and Bobby Reed playing one of those positions. And the deeper you go, do you, if you switch Casey Palmer for Bobby Reed, are, are you going to have Bobby Reed playing that deep? So you're then going to have to bench Bobby Reed sometimes. That's why I said that earlier. You have to decide on it. And it seems like the coach respects Bobby Reed as a really good player and he's probably not benching him right now, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's the next thing. Who is the Lord Ravel guy? <laughs> um, yeah, Ravel, time is up. I wouldn't bring him back. We have plenty of players in his position who are playing consistently. Marlon, please give me a player. Mega, keep up your comment up here. So, like, please give me a player right now that can re um, replace Ravel Morrison that we need to get. If you can just put the player on, we are waiting at the comment till you till you put down the player. We are telling me we need for uh, we know. Cause bro, me that if you see one player out there where can take um be better than Ravel in other position right now, I'm for it, bro. Right now, I'm like, we let him play. 
if if that's not the case, I don't know, man. If that's not the case, if if you if you don't have a name, if you don't have a name where we know that's a that's a really good football player, then no matter waste of time. Can Ramsey? Ramsey got injured, and Ramsey said he's gonna play for. Um, he, he would want, want to wait to play for England. And Ramsey is not as good as Ravel Morris, bro. You, you see what I say? Echo Reeks. Uh, not, well, probably you're not even say that still, but I'm just even using it as an example. Jamaica alone hype up Ravel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jamaica alone hype up Ravel. No, sir. Casey Palmer, Bobby Reed, Leon Bailey. But, bro, those are not the same kind of players. I, I didn't know you were going to use wingers. But I, I still don't think that a Casey Palmer is better than a Ravel Morrison. Though I do think that having Casey Palmer in the, in the team is not a problem. And I'm not saying Ravel Morrison has to come back the next game. Um, but he needs... If he can find Ravel Morris replacement, or we block him from the show. <laughs> Yo, what did I say a while ago? Um, Dr. John Poole. Is it JT give him USD 2000 if he can find a Morrison replacement or we block him from the show? Yeah, it would it, it's it's bro, it's just not there. Like finding a Ravel Morrison replacement. But if we find a good player, bro, I'm going to be like, yo, we found a good player. Let's go. We found a really good player. Let's get it. Ramsey old for the season. Yeah, he's old for the season as well. The report came out that they're just going to just keep him on the bench for the season. Ravel never done nothing for Jamaica. Never looked more. I thought he had some good games. Yo, come on. Yeah, move like a Ravel um, um, eater, bro. Still. But understand what I said, but still I move like a Ravel eater still, bro. Bro, bro. But now, like, you move like a rabbit eater still. We see what Martin Baker said. Um, Omari help us in the midfield, I believe. That's what I said, bro. Omari Hutchinson. See, a man come and attack, we make sense, there, bro. See, a man come and attack, I make sense, there. I am, am I the only man right now when I see? That's why I said, I me, me go so hard, come. Also, did you really want Omari Hutchinson to be in a Jamaica team because. Based on what we saw at Arsenal as a youth player, we, 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 we knew that this player was really good, man. We really knew that this player was really good. So we really wanted to get him. Yeah. We really wanted to get, we really wanted the player to, we really wanted the player to, to come back and play, but it is what it is. We have to move forward until we get somebody who plays, right? We have to move forward till we find the people that need to play. You see what I'm saying? So until then, we still not see Marlon, Ravel hasn't, but well, you haven't said a player. You, you talk about players that's in the team already, bro. Tell me a player right now where you know that's better than him. At that moment, you do. At that moment, we'll point in the comment section. You come back, come right. Casey Palmer, Leon Daly. I know you're right. And, and Bobby Reed. May I actually say, are you make this statement in a bro? So may I say, we, say just show me a player we're better than him, bro. I may say, may I just agree with you? Because why am I gonna not agree with you? I would just agree with you. Just let me know, man. But I see it. Morgan gives white. <sighs> bro, we are talking about actual player we can come. That's the next thing too. Actual players. Who, who no know say I go can play for Jamaica. That that's that's one of the criteria. You see me? That that's one of the criteria. Bro, that's there's not many out there, bro. There's not many out there. But we read better than Ravel at the moment. That's for sure. I don't know, man. I do, I think no, yo. I think better. Yes, it. Bobby Reed is in better form than Ravel Morrison at the moment. That's how you should reconstruct that, say, that statement. He's in better form than <laughs> Ravel right now because Ravel is not playing. You know, that's a, that's a thing. So the way I look on it, bro, is is 
is is not and not me you know look on football the same way i can see that lord ravel until he's 50 oh lord all right ravel have you yeah all right let right, me see where i come from why why we need more recruits in the midfield okay okay now if ravel call back how can need to come back all right damn Bobby, better. Oh, I think we see that one there already too. Uh, Molly. Raphael, better than all these guys. Especially in our regions, bro. I, that, Mr. Man, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm saying the same thing you're saying, bro. I <laughs> don't me not, me not, me not see the player them yet. What am I say? Better than him. Me, me looking at the comment section, I see. Uh, I don't see, I don't see players them want to say better than him. You need some water? Yeah, come, wash your hands, okay? I'll get you some water. All right. Hmm? Yeah. Crap. Yo, first time I'm going to do this, listen, just stay up on the line. I have to get my, my, my daughter some water to drink. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. And then put the water in the table, all right? All right. Cool. Yes. Sorry about that, my boss. Be best of yourself. Walk on. Talk to me. All right. Carla, you there? Carla, you there? Okay. I'm not here. It looks like I'm going to call him back. Yeah, sorry about that, people. Sorry about that. We get um see me. Yo, all right, call are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, hold on. oh okay, okay, okay. You might hear me. <laughs> Damn. Damn son. Carla, you there? Yeah, you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Something didn't plug in. So me <laughs> I wonder what go on. So, what do you say? Ravel Morris is the answer, is the key. You're the man who knows the tactical football and you know about players. Yes, but um, JT, JT, I'm always amazed of how Jamaicans are big enough, Ravel. And Ravel has been like a traveling nomad. Yeah. Going from team to team, not being disciplined, not sure. Understand why people don't move on from Ravel. Mm. He's not been training, um, playing competitive football for the last year or so. Yeah, yeah. So how can a man at that age, what, 33, 33, 34? Am I correct? Yeah, saying done, people. Okay, maybe, him, yeah, maybe this is 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 um this is the last we're gonna talk about him then. I don't think so. Yeah, but think, uh, to me, or, should I just to me just say it's it's over? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's what Eddie Gunnar is saying. Ravel, Rav, Ravel is right? done. Okay, let's put this on um, Eddie Gunnar's TV's name, you know. So you see, he put on, he said, Ravel is <laughs> done, people. So it's on the screen. This is Eddie Gunnar's um, thing. So I think he might have got some information. So, man. We, um, I'm saying to you, I don't know why I don't know why people still talk about Ravel and he's not with a team playing competitive football mm -hmm. to stay in the, in the competitive level. Mm -hmm. you understand? So I don't know. It's just a wishful thinking, or some people think something magical is going to happen with Ravel, so you can just turn it around, uh, mm -hmm. flick of the switch. But we have to be serious. We have to be very serious about um, the players that we expect to play for Jamaica. They must be in good high standing in terms of playing yeah. football. And, 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 and Ravel is them say Ravel at thirty one, bro. So you, okay, get get it okay, wrong. Okay, but get to, at, at that that age, and you're not playing company the football. You're gonna be behind the eight ball. Yeah, I know. I, I think that's what's missing, and 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 that's where you don't 
Um, but I think what, why I said Ravel is I think he has the natural ability once he's back fit and he's in fo um, playing football. I, I just think you still have at least a few years left in the tank with Ravel, man. At least two years. Two, you could get a two good two years out of him. I think. Yes, but Ravel is watched. Ravel is a, a lost cause, man. His attitude keep keep him down for a long time. But have you have you ever he, met he, have you ever met him? Clubs. Have you ever met him? Not really. Uh, no, I've never met him, but I read a lot of um, stories about him and listened to. Um, <laughs> Alec Ferguson, you know? So basically, the the, the image out there, uh, the perception out there that he's not, uh, he doesn't have a good attitude. You know, he brings dissent to the teams that he plays with. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the, the downside of it is he's not playing any competitive football. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? So... Yeah, somebody says it's a lost card. It's a lost Damn. card. <laughs> Joe Grant, yo, Joe Grant, hang up, both last cards. You might not say hang up, both last cards. You might not say, like, you might say, you have a lift up. That's what I tell you. <laughs> Listen, no, Talon, man, you, you see, in Jamaica, Jamaica, we, Jamaica people, we respect skill. Because growing up watching the Brazil, the, the, um, the Brazil team, you love players who can do the, have the fundamentals but have skill with it. It makes foot, watching football fun. You make you enjoy you enjoy the game. Then a bunch of just robotic players that you know just all been drilled. It's just like it's just like you have to get a ch eat a chicken with come off a of farm. Just in a some coop, or you eat some them say have some chicken that has a big farm that they can run around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but. Um, J J T. Is it, it's not about the skill, skill and dribbling, dribbling. No, it's about no. Me not say wait, 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 which one. Are, which game would you say was his worst game for Jamaica? I I, I can't really say because I. So, oh yeah, um, oh yeah. I mean, is that judgment you're in? Listen to me carefully. Listen <laughs> to me. Listen to me carefully. Mm. Ravel, to me wouldn't bring anything to the Jamaican team at this really? moment. We need to look somewhere else for younger blood who we can nurture, mm -hmm. who's playing competitive football, so that progression can continue. Because the midfield for Jamaica needs to improve. So who's so give, give us one name, what a good replacement. Well, JT, I can't say offhand a, a name, right? But I'm saying yeah, to you... That's the problem, you know, Carla. Carla, that's the problem, you know. Is is every time the people them say we need to move on and you ask them for your name, they not have one. <laughs> yeah, but JT, JT, I know I'm not out there looking for players who's eligible to play for Jamaica. Understand? That's not my job. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is that there's P persons within the federation who's supposed to be doing that, mm. screening players, making sure that. The success, there's a success planning in mm. place. So when the players fade, they could bring in a fresh players who can fill the gap and move the team forward. Mm. You know, understand have growth. That's the most important thing. That's what I'm saying. Rafael is not the answer. Okay. So it's not even been a year yeah, since he, is it been a year since he played him last game for Jamaica? No, not yet. Maybe soon. It will be a year. No, I think it might have been. Oh, a year and a half or so, maybe. No, the last game he played was against what Trinidad. Yeah, it was against Trinidad with those friendlies. You man, Omari Hutchins to play the last. Did he go? Yeah, because they didn't okay, take him to the game, the two games. Yeah, because they didn't take him to Mexico, right? That game they took Dexter Lambekisa to Mexico. Uh, I know. I think they took Ravel to Mexico. I think Mexico was the last game. He played for Jamaica, right? The last game against uh, Mexico. They yeah, played Marlon, 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 say, was against Mexico. Yeah, he he played in that double header against Trinidad. Him and Mariapo. Dexter Lambekisi was okay. there. Omar Hutchinson was also called, but had personal reasons. That's when he was supposed to go. 
So that's when the last time Ravilla played. And I thought, I hope it wasn't that game he gave up a penalty or something. But um, so but Carla, you know, so in a year, um, which part you know in the um in the world are there right now? Antigua. Okay, how is Antigua doing in football? I know that those islands are predominantly cricket island, right? Well, Antigua um has similar issues like um like uh, Jamaica, where well in Antigua a lot of English players play for the national team, um but. We are saying that we're losing with these these uh, foreign based players. So why don't we um, have a rebellion program? Where uh, no, you guys are you guys want players. to have a rebellion program? Is that is? Me understand on us still. It's the balance of the local and the overseas. No, that's the same similar Correct. struggle, Correct. right? Yes, but I think the foreign players that play for Antigua. The quality is not higher than much higher than the local players, much higher. Mm -hmm. In Jamaica, you can see the difference, okay? Yeah, but yeah. in Antigua, it's not much higher. So what you're trying to say is like build programs locally so we could get our players up to par, expose our players to ship them out to play in regional leagues or who's, 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 who has been the best, like the greatest football player from Antigua? I don't know. Maybe just Somebody well, uh, imagine that... before you were born. Uh, there's a there's a guy called mm -hmm. Mervyn Richards. He's the brother of the great cricketer Viv Richards, and mm -hmm. he's considered as a, uh, one of the greatest Cric football players ever come out of Antigua. Where did he you play know? in the Premier League? No, he never he never got a chance to play in the Premier League. No, okay. um, but he he was considered locally as the best one of the best football players. That ever play football in Antigua. It was okay. very, very, very good player. Okay, so you guys yeah. had one, one. Okay, so that tells me that whoa, it's gonna be. So where are you? Do you, are you guys a part of the work of qualifiers, or where are you guys in group yes, G yes, yes, or? Yes. I think they're in group. I think they're in group B or, or, or A or B. I can't remember. Okay, okay. And, and and are you guys planning on beating anybody? Like winning any of the games? Yes. Well, you always you always plan to beat somebody, you no? Know, but um. You also have to be realistic about um, <laughs> your potential. That's why. That's why I'm asking if you're not playing for winning. Yeah. The blind auntie has a team. You remember Peter Bass from a Jamaican cheer up in that dung, eh? Yeah. Okay. Eh? Okay. <laughs> auntie, yeah, man. I think they probably they uh, they probably didn't have to get um their leagues. How is the schoolboy football there? Is it as big as Jamaica? I think maybe that's an avenue no. they ne they need to get no. Um, no, 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 kick no. in then. No, it's, it's it needs to be um needs good sponsorship mm -hmm. and it needs to be better organized because potentially has growth, but uh you know government never have any money. But what's the population and, in Antigua? Uh, about a hundred thousand. Oh my god. You're right. But we have a lot we have quite a bit of Jamaicans and Guyanese uh who reside in Antigua. Okay. Whoa, it's a small oh man. So all right, we're not doing the best thing, man. Because it's, it's, it, it, the, the pool is not a lot for us to choose from. That's that's just it. Even locally. Um, there's some countries that have a hundred thousand players available to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, it's we have academy. to treat the gold cup as about as our world cup because to get to the world cup is, is a lot more challenging, but we can we can get a we can plan properly and qualify for the Gold Cup. And that's what you have to aim for. Small steps and then <laughs> aim for the, for, the, for, the, for the bigger goal. Yeah. Look, look at this comment from this person right here. He says, Antigua beat Jamaica 1-0 in 1989. So continue to underestimate them. Bro, you said 1989. <laughs> you know what I mean? West, West Indies that, was that once. Was you listen, West Indies was once a cricketing nation that could have beat Australia. Like it, it was just a, West Indies would have just walk over them team there. No, if West Indies survived day three of a test against Australia, that's even another thing. And we're in 2024. All right.
So just remember that. Yeah, yeah. So so it it we, we can't put the time span in it. Where we are so right now. That's why I said where is Antigua? No, as as you said, the Gold Cup is where they trying to take it. But yeah, man, that's done. Yes, Carla. We link up the next time. You don't know the things. Thanks for yeah. call. Anything else you did? I forget. Um, what about? Um, you need to get speed on the on the show, and you are calling, and we want to just tell you exactly what needs to be done because oh, as I don't say he has a capacity. Yo, you, you still want to push that thing there with the ruler? You still think Mr. Speed? I'm gonna understand you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm saying he's gonna be there for the next four years. I have to um, get in his ears. Oh man, I just I don't know, so you, man. Oh, you have to um decide. Yeah, if you get him on, you, most of the time Mr. Speed just randomly yeah. show up, so I, it's not. You know what I mean? I don't. Okay. So coach playing with defensive yeah, midfield. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We'll, we'll do that, man. All right, I'll catch up. All right, my boss. All right, blessings. Um, but I'm, I didn't. Um, but I'm aiming myself balls. We have a position and countered. It's called plan. <laughs> Yo, oh God. Uh, this weird. Panama doesn't have strikers. No, bro. I, I just don't think football is nice. Most of Jamaican talent I see fans ask for in this comments are only two talent in League Two. Jamaica tries to size up the rocks them to the real players, Maggie can't even use him two foot. Idiot ball of that said Marcus Messiah. Yeah, man. Garvey. Man says a rocks ball of that, man. Rocks ball of that, man, say, bro. <laughs> the man I say, Maggie is a rocks ball. I'm not going to say Maggie is a rocks ball. Maggie needs to get it together, bro. Um, I get our next youth to step up. That's how it is. I don't think the Manning Cup season this season has produced um maybe the same number of talent that we would want to see. Um, like previous years. I think I don't know if the talent thing is slowing down in the Manning Cup, the talent pool. Yeah, we did get a player like Kahin Dixon and a few other players. But we didn't get a lot of those um, players that we, we usually see. Press. Where are they with? Up. Yo, hold on. I'm not still on the duty. I'm going to cover my set for, for the game tomorrow. <laughs> Don't okay. know what. Who's going to play tomorrow? Arsenal? No, man. United versus Liverpool. You, you, you're, a, you're, a you're a Liverpool fan? No, United. United. Don't mix me. Don't mix me with Liverpool. <laughs> yo, wait. Yo, you're a Manchester United fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bro, come on. I was going in that club, bro. It's like every day is just like, it's just not going to. Manchester United has to rebuild, man. They got to go back academy. You know that um, though um, Arsenal has a lot of these players, the success that came at Arsenal, it, it, it came one year earlier than it was once predicted. When you look, they went back much younger. Had that losing season. Then the next season, and Ketty and those guys, they were like thinking, like, okay, they should play decent. Then they they they, they finished about second in the league, I think. Yeah. Last season, right? But um, you know, you know what I'm United right now. Your team was even reaching a top. You guys gonna even be top four this season? But yeah, man. What you say? What, what are you here to talk about, my boy? I'm actually, I'm actually feel them a question, especially the advocate them for Rafael Morris, right? So yeah. we just move up in the FIFA ranking, I believe, and also in the CONCACAF region, right, in terms of, of our ranking. And, you know, in the past, what I said, the past four years or so, we step up our recruitment drive in terms of some of the players that we've tried to get. And, you know, we're still trying to recruit players. You know, some of them, I, I mean, they've rejected us. I don't think they've rejected us in the sense that them just the things that Jamaica team good. I guess them just have different aspirations in terms of, them believe in them talent and maybe them want to test themselves to see if they can try get into the England team, you know, Bill Academy, et etc. You know, Ivan, Tony, you name them, you know. And, you know, rightfully so, you know, if you have the talent and you believe in yourself and you want to play for England, then fine. Um, So we're still in our recruitment process of getting other players. But I want the viewers, especially the advocates for Ravel Morrison, he's a quality player, you know. 
But name one team in world football who would include a player in the national team who is not playing professional football at any sort of level. Name one team, name one country in the CONCACAF region that, we, that would include one player that is not playing professional level football. If we... Maybe as Jamaicans, Maybe we just had a caller from Antigua here. No, no but we're, not, Antigua no competition. But in terms of Mexico, United States, Panama, Costa Rica, you name these teams, the, the, the big boys in didn't, the CONCACAF region. Didn't, didn't do John Whisper play for Jamaica? At the point when he wasn't playing any football. Do yeah, but maybe yeah, that, that's a that's a different case. We can have that conversation, right? Um, maybe some politics and that. I don't know. But, but then we can say the same thing about this case. But listen, you know, in terms of in terms of whisper, you know, we have to remember, you know, it wasn't an inclusion, whereas he was a starting player in the national team and him not and him never that playing a professional football. It's more like you have a 23 man squad, and if you want to bring an extra man. You bring that extra man, which was probably whisper, and some people did class him as a as a wonder kid or prodigious talent, whatever the case may be. So a lot of persons were an advocate for whisper being in the national team, and some persons weren't so much of an advocate. But when you're talking about a player that is going to start in the national team that is not playing professional football, no matter how good he is, you don't feel like it's a disrespect to the other man then we play club football, we're gonna get overlooked when they include a man when I play in a form of club football. Let's be realistic. We're the same country that's trying to go to the 20, 2026 World Cup, but yet, yet still, here we are trying to include someone who doesn't play professional football right now. That makes sense? You guys call for professionalism within the JFF. So all you don't want them to be professional, but bring a man when I play club football. So the other man, they must get overlooked. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, but, but you, you know that we're, we're not asking for Abel to be in the team while not playing for a club. You know that we're... Well, well, based on some that. of the comments, some are. Yeah, some people Maybe really no. ask for, um, for, no, I don't think anybody who would. Um, but but some of them, the notion for some of them is that Casey Palmer a good, but Rafael Morrison better than him. So Ali, if you not play club football, would I take him in the team? Come on, ask the viewers. Enough of them stay, so JD. Enough of them will say that. JT, enough of them will say that. Yeah, the team, Um, the other man said, Rafael is the smart, uh, smartest on the team. DJ said it in, a, in an interview. The other man said, Rafael is, hey, you know, that's what a commenter just said. Ravi is still a football contract. Bro, we want to win. No disrespect to other players. Yeah, Ravi, you see... Hey, 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 man, see. You see, if a man get a club by summer and the man play football, then the man can be in the national team. But we must start... You see, Jamaica have this culture where we rate a man and no, no, no matter the circumstance, the man must just play or the man must just... It's like a man um, do a crime, you know? But try a bridging. You're free the man. Free the one I'm a, I'm a dog. No, bro, I'm I, a, yeah, yeah. But we're not even going to flip it that way, there, bro. Because no, but I'm just I'm just showing you it stems from the culture in terms of Ravel Morrison. So no matter how much no, in this this doesn't stem from the culture, bro. It stems from the actual problem that the team has. And yes, what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Yeah. I understand what, what you're saying. saying with the Jamaican culture, bro. But yes, what we're I'm, saying is what's mm -hmm. missing from the team when we look around in the pool. It's a, it, it's just not a lot of option to actually get to that point where we need to get to. Unless we well, listen, bro. For me, I'm I'm a person where like, yo, if Ravel finds a team tomorrow, go oh, thank God he can get back in the team because I know. For me, I just want to see Ravel plays with, play with a player like a Demari Gray, and a Leon Bailey at the same time. Like those cutting edge players, and he's passing the ball especially to Demari Gray. Those players, I want to see him higher up the park playing with those players. I think it would be, I think it is his ability. He sees the play different, he sees the field different. Listen, that's a, that's what a lot of people underestimate in football. You have players who are better physically, has everything they need, but they have players who sees the field. Those are the people who make those deadly passes, who just sees the field, they have it like a board in front of them, they see it. They can make the move. Why some no, players no, no, are... no, those players are definitely important because you know the the they make the team tick in terms of and they're attacking forefront. I remember when United a couple of years ago were struggling and we needed a creative midfield. Now we got we got Bruno Fernandez and you see how the team changed. You know, then we had the, and I've seen it with you know Arsenal, Martin Odegaard, and many other players. So, you know, in terms of having you know that number 10 or whatever the case is, 
it's very important because um, in terms of the characteristics of a number 10 or just even a creative player in general, um, you know, to play those passes, to, to, to break the defensive line and, you know, just to have that technical ability to, you know, put um, put passes around defenders and, you know, get into the channels and, you know, work yourself out of tight spaces, whatever the case is, you know, you really have to be special. And I do believe that Ravel Morris, in terms of the characteristics of the player, he is that player, but he just not have a club. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and 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 for me, it's, uh, the Copa America is gonna be very telling when it comes on to. I know we know the teams are some of those teams in that region is gonna have a lot of ball possession, but my thing is you cannot just make your way through any tournament with no plans to have the, at least some possession of the ball, and I mean decent enough amount of possession of the ball to get you to be as competitive as you can in that game. For now, I think we are firing off. As I said, it's a twitch play. I'm seeing from our team. Get the ball one or two, let's say two or three passes, and the ball is on your striker or in your are your players in your attacking um in, in your opponent's attacking turn. It's these quick strikes. We saw in that Canada game in the first 20 minutes of that game, it worked. Leon Bailey got through a few times had Canada on the back foot, came in on the back post and hit the post again. So we saw it. I think that was one of the first games where I said, okay, is this hit quick? But I think if we can blend that with at least another player who can open up another avenue to um, attack, because sometimes teams kind of find out what we want to do as Jamaica. They're like, okay, they want to bring in um, Demari Gray off the left and they want to bring in Leon Bailey off the right. This is how we're going to shut them down. Imagine having a player like Ravel Marsa who can still then operate down the center of the field right there. I think that gives Jamaica a whole new dimension. I think that's where a Mikel Antonio would come into the game way more because, no, he has even another good player can give him the ball. Defenders are not just concerned about Mikel Antonio. They're concerned about the Leon Bailey on the right and a Demari Gray on the left. And the person in front of you with the football is a person who can really see the play really see the play coming i think that's what can really get jamaica to a team that start beat us some team three one four one or we just start becoming one of those teams i think we need that threatening and i think bobby reed as i said bobby reed is an amazing utility player but for jamaica to take another step bobby reed has to contribute coming off the bench there has to be another player in there bobby reed is a man? great player I have a question for you. You know who's um Travis Pessoa? Yeah, man. Travis Pessoa, them now is in the comment section, man. Them when you, them when, you know him personally? What? You know him personally? I, I know Travis Pessoa, them of uh, YouTube. Everybody in the comment section, we know uh, each other off YouTube, bro. Uh, well, anyways. Um, <laughs> it's a child trapped in a man's body, honestly. But let me tell you this. Yeah, bro. We just learn each other on YouTube, man. But let me tell you this, right? You see, somebody asked me the solution to the team. Now, I know that, you know, we've been struggling to to find, you know, some form of um, creative player. And, you know, we saw Casey Palmer against the United States. And, you see, I really want not Casey Palmer over the, the Nations League campaign because of how they'd have to set up. And against the United States, we did really have to, um you know, sit back and play in a low block. So there's no way a player that who is deemed creative could get on the ball to really do anything to showcase his abilities you know what i mean in which um, game when what, 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 what which game are we talking about now usa usa you're saying they would um I, I don't understand are you saying that no in terms of how we had to set up against them remember them mm -hmm. dominate position of the ball etc so i'm saying even if you were a creative player mm -hmm. even if it was a Ravel morris in that team at that time mm -hmm. yes it would have probably looked better than casey palmer you know but um you couldn't really exert yourself in terms of showing the abilities that how, you can how because would you, how would you know that you're saying that no, but you're sitting, if you're sitting back in such low block and you're just defending right because you know mm -hmm. players like leon billy shaman nicholson them are them are agree you can't go play the you can't go play a possessive style of player play um expansive to an extent yeah. so how you go how you go showcase that against the united states no i Remember think Ravel, bro because Ravel is one of the most accurate passes with the football um, that's it, bro. He's he's one of the most accurate passes with the football. Yes, I'm saying he would probably look a little bit better than Casey Palmer, seeing that he's a better player than Palmer. But I'm saying 
when you play like that against the United States, there's so much and no more you can do. In the one and two opportunities you get on the ball, if you're that type of player like Ravel Morrison, then you will make use of it. You know, you will find those passes. You got what I'm saying, but you still can't get to play the game how you want to play because of how you set up. But against Panama now, I wanted to see a bit more from Casey Palmer, seeing that we played a bit more out compared to against the United States. You know, them where I wasn't really impressed by him against Panama. However, I'm willing to give him give him my next chance. But in terms People of keep so, saying I should give him time, and I'm like, bro, I'll give him time, but I'm just well, I'm not giving him time on the basis that he must start every game when I come up, you know. I, mean, I give him time in the sense that he must um they the national team, and if called upon, I want him to do well for see. I want him to show me something so we can say, all right then. I want to see him high up the park, bro. Okay, let's see Casey Palmer high up the park before we cut pull the plug on him. Really want to see that, bro. Um well, I'm saying, in terms of the full solution, I'm, I'm of the belief that, you know, football can be played in many different ways. And, you know, if the coach decides he won't go, like, you know, defensively and, you know, play a pragmatic football, whatever the case is, I'm all for that. You know, them way that if you have the people, them, if you have the um, players, them that can do it, then fine. Um, I think a lot of us, you know, a couple, couple months ago, I was thinking to myself, I think as fans in general of football, I think we're a bit entitled most of the times. I know that we pay to watch the game or whatever the case is. But we have to understand the coach, manager, whoever it is, you know, they're paid by these federations or okay. these clubs to, to win games. And every manager has a different style of play. And I've listened to countless amount of managers when, they, when they've said, you know, fans have put such unrealistic expectations on teams that it is impossible to play this style of play, especially when what you... What do you think about Jonathan Russell? Because a lot of people are saying that he, based on how the team is selected, he deserves to be there because he hasn't really had a bad game for Jamaica. Yeah, me, 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 I was on different platforms and we hear um, people say that about Jonathan Russell. However, um, I haven't really watched him before in terms mm -hmm. of a lot. I know same player for who? One club in the championship? It is Barnsley. Barnsley. Yeah, the, me if I mix them up. Um, they want a blue shirt team in the championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think them <laughs> so, were red still. I think I read them were. Oh, okay. Barnsley. But yeah. Yeah. But that's up to that's up to Hardim. So was he in the 60 month squad? Who was he in the 60 man squad? Was who in the 60 man squad? Russell. I think so. I think so. Yeah, man. He's always gonna be around there in that 60 man squad. Um, but it's just some people are saying the coach just narrate him. Um, I don't I don't know. Because I but I'm thinking, I think he could have been there the last window for DJ. I, I don't go going forward, going forward, cut DJ at the boss. DJ just lost form. The, the DJ that I saw that played in that Saudi Arabia game for Jamaica, man was firing. Like, me I say, whoa, we find a player. No, the DJ I see out there is just like, oh, if we really want to get it done, somebody has to come in right there for DJ. But listen, we have the qualifiers coming up, right? Which, mm -hmm. you know, we're favorable in to, to make it to the 2026 World Cup. I don't think the players will be taking it lightly. I think, you know, they know what is at stake. Um, you know, we have the Copa America coming up. I think I wish if Ravel had a club so he could have been included for the Copa America because in the Copa America, you have to really want a man for the ball we can really That's make it. Talk about, bro. So just a few just seconds wish. to slow down the play for Jamaica. Just a few yes. seconds. Somebody just to hold on to the ball for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. In in against the, those teams in Copa America, you're going to need that one plan. If Casey Palmer isn't the answer, then it's a it, it kind of takes away from the team. You see, when you play against like the Mexico and the United States, the man you just play like a couple friendly within the region, you can get away with a lot of stuff in terms of not having that creative play, you know, because you know how Concacaf teams play. Like yeah, USA would dominate the ball and Mexico and Panama, but at least if you're Jamaica, you can really you know sit back, you can really make it compact, and you can always get results against these teams. But when you go Copa America and you play against teams, you can really hold the ball and play it on the ground and now go play some long ball over the top, then you yourself, you're going to lose out on so much. You know them way there? Um, so you're going to need that type of player like a Rafael Morrison. However, let me just say this. I think the bigger picture is the 2026 World Cup. So we'll have time in terms of figuring out who that player will be. Will be yeah. I don't think anyone expects... Well, I'm not going to say anyone expects us to make it out. The group that we're in, I think if we go out there in the Copa America and, you know, Who's in the group? Mexico, Ecuador, and Venezuela. Yeah, yeah. Mexico, so, Ecuador, and Venezuela. Yeah. We have we have quality players. These South American teams are very hard. So, as Jamaicans, let's let's be hopeful 
So maybe we can make it out of the group. That would be nice for us. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But even if we don't, and we can, we, we should go. be able to make it out of the group, you know, bro. It's, yeah. it's, it's just that we 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 just not a team that we we ter- we don't cherish having the football. That's the thing. We don't cherish having the football. As we get the football, we turn it over. And I just believe that that's not sustainable. That's just no, not it's not. I know. Say, last time I watched a video, it was a 2004 game against Uruguay where um I yeah, think Lowe was in the team and some of those guys. And the video was started like Jamaica's best win. And I was watching it and I tell you, the man them could have really played the ball. Fire another game, game, the man. The man them played the ball on the Bro, ground. The speed where Jamaica game played the game they had, right? The yeah. speed. They play a national stadium too, and me see it, and me say, yo, man, them can play the ball up on the ground, you know? the man, them take responsibility to the ball, like, they wind up on the ball, as them lose it, them press, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, but I watched the, the yeah. highlights last night, and me see it, and me say, yo, that Jamaica team, yeah, it did wicked, I'm even see people in the comment section, I say, yo, I don't know how this team need, I need to qualify for no more World Cup. I think Tapa Whitmore, that player, that, at that time, still, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I know that I saw, there are a few players in there that I can remember, you know? But, you know, we we'll have time. The bigger picture is a 2026 World Cup. However, even before that, we're going to play games in preparation for, for that World Cup. When I, but we um, need a bigger talent pool, bro. The talent pool need to expand. When you really look around it, I think there's a lot of stuff meet in that um, talent pool thing. Um, the 60-man squad. We need, that needs to at least have 30 cutting-edge players that can... That we're saying if we miss three or four or five players, the drop off is none. Mm-hmm. But, you know? I mean, let me tell you, before I leave, jokingly, I know Mr. Butler ever said I'm the best creative midfielder, them are best midfielder, them. So hopefully, we can produce a man I'll just draw him, you know? I don't know. I'll have to find yeah, somebody yeah, though. a lot maybe, of years from now, man. Maybe one of our, maybe one of we have to come out of retirement and represent the team. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The, the, the team in general. We've, I think the under them. twenty, the under twenty is important as well. I always oh. touch back on that. Um, people, this is where I believe uh, if we can get two or three, this is what I'm saying. The ideal team for the under twenty, as we all know, is Do John Whisper up top, and Bailey Kada Martry, and the other player name that I don't know if they we, we, we were putting that player name out there yet. Those three players on the front line, I don't care. Them can bring 600 Mr. Butler other player. Me no business who want in the rest of the field. If we have Whisper, Karamachi, and the next you, the as Jamaica front tree, me that love to see United State them just defend them you there. I think Jamaica would have a really good chance for qualify for this under 20 World Cup. We can get them three because those are three players who are playing actively playing. One is playing big man's football and one is playing quality youth level football. And then the next youth is playing big man football again. So, and then there in between that, you're going to have one and two other sprinkles. But I think those are the three players that the under 20 coach, Mr. Jerome Waite. Yeah, we hope the public is still waiting to hear from you, Mr. Um, Waite. They would love to know what are your plans with some of these players. How do you see Jamaica shaping up in that second round? Please let us know. How do you see it? How do you see it? For the under twenty, or yeah, for the under twenty in that and in that second phase there. I mean, I did watch um the, the games that they, they, they played with um what's his name again? That's not there. Well, he's still John, with the JFF. John Wall. John Wall, and you know the team, the team need to be a bit more settled. Um, obviously for a lot of them, it's first time they're playing, and they they come from different um, you know, teams and whatever the case is. However, we can we can we can see the talent that is there. Um. You know, against Trinidad, I watched them when um, Kyle Dixon did score that goal. I think it was a 1-0 victory. And I watched our next game with them. What's your name? Police Academy? What's your name? Where? In, in with Jamaica? The under-20, they play one team, one next team. One. Okay, yeah. I was watching those, bro. I don't, no, the under-20, was the, I think it was the senior team. It was a friendly. Who did play okay, the Police yeah, Academy? It was that with Kyle Dixon and those guys, right? Yeah, yeah. But would you play like a police academy, something like Saint Trinidad? No, we yet yeah, the U twenty did play a police academy. Yeah, they played so the I first game that was one. the Trinidad U twenty game. Yes, yeah, so I watched I that one. Mm-hmm. And um, that was the first one I watched. And the team can be a bit more settled. Um, honestly, they were a lot. A lot of the times they were disorganized throughout that game to an extent. But 
I feel like it's because you didn't see like the qualifiers, the the games where they play to qualify. No, they just must be friendly them. Oh shit, man. Press them, man. I'm I'm disappointed in you. Me think you're a man and watch the football, brother. Tell you now watch the football, man. Well, friendly no count now. No, do you them play like about three other game and qualify, brother, for the next round? And from that the point we have here to talk football. With the friendly them with me watch. Me can only give him an assessment. But based on what I hear people say, yeah. pretend to do you're, 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 you're a football analyst now, though, right? Like, you're you're doing YouTube, like... No, man, you... no, put me in that category, man. I'm an analyst, man. Not analyst, but you're I doing YouTube, right? Like, you're breaking... Uh, what, what, uh, like, are you breaking down games as a... as a analyst or just as a fan or... What, what do you see? That's... A, that's... I probably made it up. That's a funny. If I go break down the game as an analyst, you need more knowledge, you know? And my knowledge still expand. I don't know. Okay. When so you just like a fan like us, knowledge, like we it? love the game, right? Eh? You just a fan like me who just love the game. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, but me, me always, yeah, but me always read from different variations. But no, no, put me in the analyst category because I need more knowledge. You see, when you're older, as you say, when you watch no football, you see me, you can analyze, analyze the game better. Yeah. But, yeah. So that's why I'm saying, I think you watch them game, then you're kind of up to um par with it. Yeah, man, got them people in the comment section. I saw them in the, in the friendlies. So I was giving my um assessment based on the friendlies. But what I heard pertaining to the qualifiers, you know, some brother, fans you that can't were... football, football, you can't watch football on radio, brother. So what may I tell us, you know, nobody, no, what you heard, you can't give me no what you heard when you come to them game. They, me need, you see football? Like me tell us, say, yo, my, you, they, uh, yo. A Walter, a Walter, yo, you have a dog. You lucky game, bro. May I tell you? A man come tell me that, bro. Me probably didn't watch a game and see the player where he talk about turning over the ball 600 times. But he make one good move. But the person who's interpreting the game to you, this is what they're zooming on, zooming on where they want to give you um their take on the game. Me, you know, when me see a game, bro. No, bro. When me see a game, me see a game, me need to me need watch it. That's why I never used to do watch alongs back in the day, you know, bro. Because I really like to sit down and watch a game and get everything out of it. Um, but let me tell you, based off of me, this scene and friend of them, the team was in, not settled at the mo at the time. Um, I saw some variations in which they tried, and you know, they they they, they made some good plays, whatever the case is. And um, as I said, a lot of them is the first time for them in this under twenty. You know, they made it in terms of the under twenty in general. I'm of the opinion that Whisper should go in there. I hope he goes in there, man. I hope he goes in there. Enough man go beat me for that, you know? But I just circle, because I feel like he's helping his development as well in terms of fully transitioning into the national team. Because even if you play for the senior team, you know, you can always take a step back, you know, once you're young, you know, like you have time, you know, you, you, the um, age is on your side, you know, you get me I say? So mm -hmm. even... If it's a drop back, you know, playing the the, the qualifiers, the, the the second round, eventually go to the World Cup, it will benefit him even more in terms of eventually transitioning back into the national team. And we have time on our hands, you know, them with um basic Kadamar theory. I don't know what's going on with that youth. I mean, I mean, I bash him still in terms of him. Is me I say? I mean, when I choose their senior team in terms of me getting the call up. But it's what it is, you know, them way that the money I grew up in England, whatever the case is. But I think the under 20 team, we have to get it to a point where a lot of these players can eventually, not all of them, you know, because, well, I'm not going to say no man not good enough, you know, but we have to get it to a point where the talent pool is enough where they can transition to the senior team. You know, them way that, that is really important. And, I, and if you look across the board in a lot of countries, that's what a lot of countries do. And it, it stems from, um, investment not even monetarily or whatever the case is but just in terms of making sure the players that you're um selecting are the right one the, the pathway that they're on in terms of you know professional playing career whatever the case is is the right one so that when they come back to the country and they come to represent the national team they're at their best in terms of the abilities that they possess that can with a benefit the under 20 senior team or any other new team that will have represented the country you know they made us in that regard um we have to get the program to that level so that these players can eventually go into the senior team. Whoever make it, make it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how I look at the U20s. I look at the U20s as a program where I only need two or three youths to come through. Because I know if two or only two or three come through, I know that those two or three are really good. 
yeah, every day exactly. two or three can really come into the senior team and make a run for it. Um, because how the senior team works is sometimes a youth might come in with a lot of talent, but he comes up against some other guys who are more competitive than him. Because being competitive in training is a hell of a thing. Imagine you are a coach and you come in and you have your team out there preparing them. You have two days to go. I think it's the players that are most intense or bring the intensity in training. A lot of those players sometimes are going to get rewarded because you want your players to be as close to game fitness and game readiness as quickly as possible. Some players take a little bit more time to get well, up the man them narrate me, so I'm go around. But before I go, I have one question for you. Right? Yeah. What do you think about the name Ellis? Uh, you know, it is uh, the funny thing is Cataract spoke about that you the other night. Mm -hmm. And I I I haven't even looked at him because I haven't heard anything about no passport or anything. I don't like I, I don't go off the frenzy when it comes on to like a player mentioned in Jamaica inside of like a Post or something like a lot of Jamaican fans over there, you know, and it's good, and I feel good about it. But for me, when the people them who's actually getting the documents ready and all that stuff, that's when I get excited. Other than that, right now, it's just a guy said he could represent three countries, you know. So I don't even think anything of him. I haven't even scouted him yet. But mm -hmm. I think Cataract, or we did read maybe we read a scouting report the other day. When Cataract was on, we were going over players who are eligible. But for me right now, bro, I'm looking for pieces. Um, because I think there's still some good players around the team. And the, they're, those guys, Ellis, even if they're ready to play for J Jamaica, the coach has been very incremental or strategic in the way he incrementally like brings in players and injecting them into the team. You know, he, he doesn't... This is one of the things we... One of the problems we had in the past. It was always this mass exodus of people just coming into the team at once because Tapa would change the team so much. So it was hard to build up cohesion between players. Now what Coach Jaime Halgrimson has done is he has stuck to the um, he has stuck to a core set of players and then he has a group of players who have maybe have a question mark around them or that's a fringe player. And then he would rotate those players between his fringe players but his core players stay uh, um, um, stay there. <laughs> Siobhan, where I said. But uh, bless up yeah. still, bless up still, JT. How would it? Siobhan, big up yourself, Siobhan. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right. Bless up, my J. Cool. Where are you, Siobhan? Um, there, you know, JT, it's just not too long. Wake up and say, you have a show and thing. Heat a beat to bad. Heat a beat to bad, man. Heat a beat to bad, man. Don't you? Sure. Yeah, today, today was nice. The weather was nice today. Today, my dress just too warm today. Me realize my outside. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that's good. So you probably need send, you need to send some of them with their dumbest drink like, cover up. Like he turn up, man. Yo, yo, them say worse if you're um living in a um what them call them most, you know, like a deck house. No, I'm not a deck house, I'm living in it. Oh, you have like actually um rooms, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, decorators. Okay, that's like wooden roof, right? Board roof, yeah. Board, board, board roof, with yeah. board with the tile them on top. Yeah, so man. the heat that kick man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah um reason I'm gonna jump on the interesting topic of the U20 again. It's mm -hmm. them. Um I think there's a matter of urgency right now for the U20s for this coming um summer. Um I, I don't know if a lot of persons see the importance of it because it will be the next stage of our players, basically. So I am highly in interested in to see what will happen. Um, mm -hmm. and it's the reason why I was looking forward for the camp to be held overseas. I haven't really heard much about it other than that the team will be leaving this month. Mm -hmm. But we haven't really got any concrete information. Hopefully, this tour actually does happen and it doesn't mysteriously disappears like the other um mm -hmm. i can't say more but i won't so um, on tv <laughs> no man it, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. um it's just unfortunate because um we the fans we are looking for something um and hopefully it does happen so 
let's just keep our fingers crossed that the team does go and the, the team is able to um, work together. They can have a good cohesion, etc. Um, no logistical issues, as they like to call it, so that um, everything can go well. But I mean, you made a very interesting point pertaining to Whisper and Kadamachi coming through. For me, I'm really interested in seeing both players together. Yeah. I know a lot of persons are saying that, oh, Whisper and Kadamachi are going to play together. Whisper, Whisper's strongest the position. Yeah, Whisper's strongest position is on the wing. Yeah. So yeah. if you have him and the player that you're speaking about, along with Kadamachi, that's a very potent attack. I'm going into any Sir, World Cup qualifiers. Okay, so, um, and if you if we're being honest, a lot of the top clubs, the lot, lot of the top nations in the world, mm. these are the players that they actually use to play their U twenties as well. Other than the other big um, big nation like the the Spain and those things who have players at like Barcelona, mm-hmm. you have a lot of nations will have players who are playing in their championship. In so so it's good to what we so what we have. So um, we're really looking forward to see what happens. Um, I, want, I really want to see the players there. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, it, just, just like Hector come back. Fingers crossed, Ravel. Yeah, man. We, we. I, I, I just bro, the U twenty, Shavan. You know, how I always want them get it right. But listen to Mister Speed yesterday. I, I think they're getting ready to do what they want to do, bro. What they all honestly, do. That's, honestly, that's honestly, I know disrespect to Mr. Speed. Um, to Mr. Speed, um, Mr. Speed, I think, I think it's time that you guys be a bit more transparent with the public and not just Mr. Speed, the JFF. Um, I think JT had said it yesterday, it's kind of tiring for Mr. Speed to be constantly coming out, coming out, Mr. Speed, that's not your role. Yeah. We is need Mr. to Speed hear. Com- is he the communication officer? It, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, like, you, like you always have these people where he has to speak for all these people, and then wherever he goes, he comes back and tell you what he think they said. You know what I mean? Like, you never hear those people. The JFF. I don't know. Is it like you never? I, I'm 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 thinking if you're in any first world country, but one of his take was that things are very difficult in Jamaica. When it comes on how the system works and people, that's something I do understand. Like, you know, getting everybody to move on the same, in the same with one agenda is not going to be an easy thing. That's the difficult thing anywhere around the world. Imagine in Jamaica. So I do understand that, but I heard a lot of excuses. And I think for me, because he said Jerome Waite is doing his license right now. So they're basically registering Jerome Waite. Like they're training him now to take over the U20 team. You know what I mean? So, the, Mr. Speed, the reason why we are concerned is because the, the person who was the coach was a coach for many of years with a license from U, um, UEFA or probably the Swedish football FA or whatever. And there's a coach that's coming in now that you guys are getting him, his surfi- um, getting him certified while on the go. You know what I mean? So you can see why we are concerned, man. That's why we are concerned. And and Mr. Speed, I know we know each other. Um, again, you know, I have a lot of respect for you, but the appointment, I have zero confidence in the appointment of the coach for the U20. Not saying not I'm not questioning his ability because he has he has won multiple titles here in Jamaica. He has. Um, it would be disrespect for me not to um, recognize that, but. Um, knowing that currently he has um, the Premier League to focus on. Um, Tivoli Gardens have already made it to the playoffs. Um, so he's, that's not where his focus would be on right now. However, I think that I, 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 I just want him to have enough time to look at all the players that are actually available. Give each player a fair chance. The same amount of time that he would take to look at the locally based players. Mm. I want you to give those players in the diaspora the same chance. Look at all of them, evaluate all of their, um, their, their skill sets and to determine, hey, can this team, I want you to select the best player, the best 20 players available who can take us to the World Cup. Mm. Because, I mean, I know, I know personally, 
we do have a lot of players who are interested. Um, and then we do have some a lot of players in the island who are highly talented as well. So I real, realistically just want everybody to have a fair chance. And that's and, what we're asking for, man, because the balancing act is going to be so important. Uh, it's hard for everybody to coach in the JPL and the national team. Yeah, um, tell Mr. Speed for bringing Ravels to Cavalier. Bro, I thought that would... But, bro, talking to Mr. Speed and them, I don't think they would take such a move. Like, they, I don't think they would be so innovative. I think that it would even spark some 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 some, some, fan, some fan frenzy for Cavaliers with the Ravel Morrison for a few months. Whatever, just to get him in the team, bro. I think the player is that good for me, um, Wayne Sewer. Uh, I, that, that's just my humble opinion but a lot of fans would probably disagree with me i said jt what do you see why they think they play i played football bro i know players who are good in football but the football just comes off them naturally mm, <laughs> true. you know but we so, move past that did shamar play again for claremont against um paris Saint Germain today um i think miss someone just commented saying that he's playing no um, he was playing no, him, but the squad did come out. He's supposed to step on the bench, right? The He's bench. on the bench, bro. Unless you mean he might run on now. Honestly, honestly, I don't even turn on my PC. My PC is off right now. Just got something to eat just now. So I'm gonna jump on the show from. I was gonna jump on the show from my PC. Well, yeah, Mister United said that he just entered the field. So okay, just entered the field. Oh man. There are people actually just see so, um I stand with a drop points today. Georgia. Why are we following Aston Villa? Why are we following them? Yeah. No, I mean but just I say Aston Villa because Bailey man. Bailey Cadem yeah. Matri Bailey Cadem Matri plays for Wins. What are you talking about? No, I said they Aston Villa drop points today. Yes, yeah, so I wonder why we have follow Aston Villa. Leon Bale in a play for Aston Villa. We only follow Jamaican players on this show. We never know so we have follow players where they represent Jamaica. Oh, oh so um um really, you confuse me a while ago, bro. You want we talk about um some of them from the US then and Mexicans him? Yeah. Are we talking about the players that play for US and Mexicans him? Seeing that we are talking about players when I play for Jamaica. I thought I, I thought that was the case. We never know where I follow people when I play for Jamaica. Come on, man, JT. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, bro. I didn't know that you were looking in looking at it like that. Is it I mean, if you were, if you, I mean, if you, let me just not go there. Let's just leave after that. So, so yeah, Bailey Kadamashi team played today. They they won two nil. Mm -hmm. The sports prophecy TV. Oh, the sports perspective TV. <laughs> this uh okay carla cut the crap okay <laughs> this is no but but yeah <clears throat> as me said me never know say i pray so bro me still think daily play for jamaica bro so me never know say i pray like that whatever bro he's taking a break we just leave it like that if him come back in but i was just thinking like between all the stuff with the u20 and this, they say there's going to be a U20 tournament in Turkey. You hear it? It's been very silent. See, Mr. Speed is calling here. What, Mr. Speed did, is... we to, what did we want to talk to Mr. Speed about? Yeah, man, I want to talk to him from yesterday, man. Okay. Um, Mr. Speed, I, I don't even know. We're live, you know. I don't know. Shavon wants to speak to you right now. But if you're not, if you don't have the time, that's okay. Hello? Yeah, can you hear us? Hello? Yeah, can can you hear me, Mr. Speed? I don't know, man. Yeah. Hello? Okay. Yeah, hear Mr. Speed. May I hear Mr. Speed? Him? He's not he's not hearing me, bro. He's not hearing me, so it's it's so one call. Call. But, mm. Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna call on Mr. Speed right now, bro. No man, call him back because I use why I must have called, bro. I think I'd rather drop the link in the thing, bro. What, 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 bro, what is Mr. Uh, it's not what I realized when Mr. Speed come on and tell us something, it's not like anything is getting done differently, bro. 
No, that's that, 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 that how you are talk to him, not me. Well, okay, so you're gonna get Mr. Speed to um um change on the 20 team or what? Mr. Gonna... Speed, Mr. Speed, no, Mr. Speed can can shimmy me out of my question, like we <laughs> do with you. Bro, Mr. Mr. Speed, Mr. Speed actually is the question. That's why you, you already you already get shimmied, bro. By the way, Mr. Mr. Speed discussed things yesterday. It's not even about, it's not even like he's trying to shimmy out the question. It's like sometimes he just makes it like there is no question. You have to just, so you're, you're like, you're like talking in circles. That's what we run into with it. So, but the under 20, bro, I thought this would be obvious. There's a lot of people saying that the JFF actually is trying not to win with the under 20 people because I hear that the under 20, the U teams, Tend to chip into the budget and cause a lot of overspending. So they all on the JT, all on the JT, JC or J Shy 876. If you have a problem, bro, just but we don't talk about the situation in a long time. Obviously, it's a joke we are running. If you are if you are a man who can run joke, then just in time you talk, just lock off your ears, my G. That's all I can say, please. Okay. Obviously, it's a joke, man. Make bro. I don't know yeah. what's wrong with you. Come on, just come out of your feelings, my guy. Are you Are you I mentioned about the name again, God. Right, but yeah. Mm. Bailey does not play for Jamaica, I swear. The commenters still call him a Jamaican international. <laughs> Sickness media. I must truly are true right now. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I joke me. I mean, the, the, what the hell? Yeah. But, but that would have been the side, bro. That would have been the side. If we can't get the Kadamachi, Dojo and Whisper. Um, there's, uh, and the next kid, I don't think, Devon Porter, they release him name it. If that day you, they get in there. Um, you, you know. I mean, I think, I think for the midfield, there's the, the, um, the, the, the mid, the kid that played from, um, from Millwall. Mm hmm I think he is someone that we have to really look up, look up to. Hopefully, we can get um, one some who more came in and and had a good game, like a little dreadlocks thing. Not a good game. He had remember he only he didn't play the last game. That was the only game that he didn't actually play. Okay, but the guy with yeah. him come from Millwall. Was he playing centre back the first game? No, not him. You know the the guy it's that played centre mid. The oh. centre mid. The centre mid man, the dreadlocks kid. I can't remember it's his name. Right now. Kid. Okay, so he's also from Mill, but isn't there another kid there from Millwall? I think it is I think Millwall or Mills, bro. I oh, think somebody, it's Mills, bro. somebody Mills there, did it. But yeah, oh yeah, that's a good player. Um want to see him do against better um um come come um opponents though. Yeah, we do want to see him against better opponents, but we do have well, to give him we do have to give him plaudits because he did play well against the, the the players in front of him. Remember, they say you can only beat who's in front of him. Yeah. So, Marla, which which position Welch played the first? Welch, season? yeah. Yeah. Is Defensive there a kid here named Marshall? No, there was no Marshall. Okay. Okay, all right. Welch, yeah. Is who, yeah, Welch is who I'm talking about. Welch, I think he's someone that we can look up look into, look up to because he's he had an amazing tournament. Mm -hmm. Um as you as what you said, you'd like to see him against better opponents, which is true. It's a it's a fair it's a fair thing to say. But Leighton Orient or Leighton Orient, my Late apologies. Dude. Yeah, because I'm like Millwall, there's another player there from Millwall though. Yeah, I think. So um so yeah. So he's, he's someone cool. he's someone that we can look up to. Um he's extremely he's extremely talented. I like the way that he played. Um, so if we can get more players like that, um, it's it will be good for us, um, so we can move forward there. Um, by the way, you got back to something, you, you got back to whatever they are feeling. See, you know what <laughs> looking at the corner, Marlon, yeah, Marlon, of the, the psycho in psycho. Um, you come and speak of Karamachi as Jamaican player, but you want to talk. Leon Bailey, not a Jamaican player. Man, you want to talk, Siobhan. No, man, oh. 
Man still not feelings, brother. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, oh, is I got it? <laughs> but him alone I got it, brother. I don't mention him, dog. But yeah, um, you got what, Mr. Speed? Hmm? You got what, Mr. Speed? Um, Mr. Speed. No, I didn't call him back, bro. You never call him back. All right. Uh, never call him back. Never want. Um, Man, because as I said, bro, what am I going to ask? I, I, I see what, how they're going to approach it, bro. Um, I, I would have wanted to know if the coach know about all the players that are available. Yeah, so that's, so that's, some, that's some of the questioning because remember that the technical committee is part of the, the, the selection itself as to say, hey, these are the players that are readily available. Um, these are the players that you would have at your disposal for you to scout. So those that's where my that's where my question into Mr. Speed would have been because I just wanted to know if um, the coach coming up are aware of the players that are available in the diaspora and does he have any knowledge of of actively starting scouting those players already? Mm-hmm. And again, the main reason why I know that he is busy with the Premier League. Um, I know he may have some time if Tivoli wins their game tomorrow. He will have some time because he will have a buy from the first round of the playoffs in the JPL. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe that time can be utilized as well. But scouting is something I want him to have active scouting sessions on the players, all players. Cause it's a lot of players, right, JT? It's a yeah. lot of players that are available. May I say, if 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 Jerome Wade is hustling and bustling right now to even get his license, how oh, the hell? Um, he's gonna be so equipped to pick from all these players who he doesn't even know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would and I'm sure he's gonna give you some answer, like, yeah, we're gonna work with the proper people who knows other players. And trust me, man, we're not gonna leave any stones unturned. We're gonna make sure we get all the best players. Bro, I know these talking points that they're gonna come out with, bro. I know these talking points. Me and Shavo are not going at nothing. Never. It's just burn me how the man speak on players taking a break and players who choose to play for a different country, but still him as Jamaican player. <laughs> All right. So, um, so Jerome, we know. Um, um, I said, hopefully Tivoli can win tomorrow. I mean, it's kind of tricky for tomorrow because I want a team from the West in the playoffs. Um, and I really, really want to see Moby qualify, but for the for the sake of the U twenty, I would want to see um, uh, Mister Mister Wade get the necessary time to look at additional players available, because I know that a lot of teams, the US, the Mexicos, they're going to be going, they're going to be going hard to try to get the necessary players. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a, it's really a good, it's it's really a good time for, and I mean. It's a good and a bad time to be the U20 coach because there are a lot of players available and the fans are a lot more invested this time, I'd say, than, the, than before. Mm-hmm. So I know that he will be under a lot of pressure, not just from the technical committee, but also from the fans. Especially from if Mr. Waite does pay attention to the YouTube space, he will know the type of pressure that will, he will come under during the tournament. Matter of fact, during selection. Because mm. if he if he if he makes selections that the YouTube space isn't happy with, well, I don't think most persons will be happy anyway, regardless of what. That, but if he is if his selection is highly questionable, then he will be under a lot of scrutiny from early. Which yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Marlon is saying that um JT um Jerome can Shavon log in with the next thing, bro. Log in with your next thing here, so you can um. Control something for me in the meantime. So, are you there, one right? Yeah, I'm there, one man. Yeah, bro, like, like into your PC, bro. Um, yeah, uh, um, no, I never want to know my PC in the ET, you know. Okay, okay. Oh, I say it hot, I say it hot, man. Brother, please, brother, so you know, have a fun, you know, have a fun around it. Brother, putting a fun on your PC is one of the worst things ever. You guys are gonna speed up the fun inside the PC, right? No, dog. You're not supposed to do that. I got put. It's basically I got put less gear towards your PC, dog. Yeah, man. But I'm turning it on. I'm turning it on still. Yeah, 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 man. Just a few a, a short period of time. Um, Kadamatri. 
I'm saying you can use the camera or something and, and, and controls or something. Let me do something. Can I want you need to stop speak about um stop speak because he is in he's an English player. My call Tennessee and see because our I'm gonna call him over here. He's a man who really always want for Ravel Phoenix side, you know. <laughs> Yo, brother, you're live, you know, bro. This is just... <laughs> hey, JT. Yeah, man. We there, man. We we there, sick. I mean, I really know we said that the kind of the one with Ravel, you know. Like, we are saying, me, I say, yeah. in the team. No. I realize some persons are of the view that you think you should just be in a team and not have a club. Okay. What you're saying is, when you get a club, is to be in a team because... Nobody has, has the ability and talent that Ravel has. And I heard one caller talking about Jamaica is the only place I pop Ravel. Uh, England start hyping him up before we. Yeah, they never hype him up. Who don't know him? <laughs> yeah, who <but, laughs> yeah, know him? Ravel, so. is, Ravel is a master class, man. I even found one foot. Ravel is, is still a quality player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ravel is a genius. So, what you think about the under twenties? What you think about the under twenties? Um, Jerome Wait. You think Jerome Wait has what it takes to? Because what I said with to Mister Speed yesterday, and he wasn't buying it. I said that the next head coach coming has to play the perfect balancing act, which is keeping the good, bringing in the best players that you need from overseas, and keeping the best ones from the last window. Yes, you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I make everybody yeah, feel man. happy. See me. It's gonna be very tough. Yeah, man, girl, wait, Lenny, I, any of those coaches, perfect fit. So I'm a big fan of Jerome Wait. So that's okay. a good move. Okay. All right. I'm gonna say that um, if you say Jerome Wait can get you over the line, let me see what yeah, going. Remember, I did well when Maggie was with the under twenty. You know? Yeah. Just yeah. Because. He, he didn't get enough time to prepare the team. And teams are having more time to get a know. Yeah, 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 the youth uh, teams. To how we used to beat GFF and still beat them. They, they are improving in certain eras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are improving in certain aspects. So, during we had coach Charlie Smith, coach Anne Garden, always there, everybody talk good things about during we. Players always talk good things about him. Other coaches. The coaches can only do so much, but the players need to go here and perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there one wait. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna well, if we just give. It's, a, it's still a drop off from Paul, uh, from 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 John Wall, but I'm also willing to give him a chance. Um, I just see how he gets it done at this uh, youth level. I'm just I'm saying to you though, bro. At this um this kind this time around, he didn't have to pick. So much between overseas players and local players. At that time, it was a lot of high school players, good players, the Maggies, the Topies, all of those good players coming through. He, he has a different, um, a different setup now. So few players here from Cavaliers, few players here from Phoenix, few players here from England. But the best players that left to come in, they're from the United Kingdom. That's why we're pushing for. To make sure Jerome Wade is aware of this and get it right. Well, I believe Januar will still be working behind the scenes. <laughs> That's my opinion. So it's, it's just the, 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 the image of it. Januar is not the face of it, but behind the scenes, he can still give give his his, his input to Jerome Wade. Yeah, yeah. So everything is database now. Everything is 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 covered via internet. So there's no excuse. There's no excuse. All right, all right. Yo, may have a couple of people on the panel, Zin. So we link up here, boss. Yeah, man. Uh, Ravel. Once Ravel get back a club, he will be in the team. Ravel at 31. What people need to put in in their mindset? Think of it that Ravel is injured. Players at that age injured and come back after one year from not playing football. Ravel was born to play football. It's not like Ravel was a manufactured footballer. Yeah. When when you're a manufactured footballer, you have to go all over, start all over. No. And he might keep himself fit. 
You just need football rhythm right now. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. And that's what I try to tell people. That bro, my glad you come explain that to people. Marlon, let me still bring it in. We just wanted yeah. to know it. the people them know that that was the word right there. Somebody come put the nail upon it. Ravel Morris is not a manufactured football player. Like the Maradonas and those guys, they are like, and Ronaldinho come like they make with the football. Like they have a, them glue to the football, bro. It's a different kind of players, you know? So even if they don't play for an extended amount of time, once they get back on the field and have and fitness, yeah. they can do what they did when they were 25, 20. Yeah. That's, Nothing is lost. Nothing is lost yeah. once they have fitness. Nothing is lost. All right. Moby a boss. We link up here. Yeah, all right, thanks for the call. All right, all right yeah. bless. Marlon, we bring in. Where you say? Where the pun? Shavon, you there? Unmute your mic. Okay. Go ahead, Marlon, your mic. Mute it, you know. Or we can just take our next phone call. Yeah, but I can't take a call. So, um... All right, go ahead, caller. Yeah, Jay Taylor. You must have call in to put this, this, this thing to rest. Yeah. You see that 2018 team of Mexico that Maggie scored that brilliant goal on? Yeah. With Topi and all those guys. Yeah. That was one of the rarest Mexican U20 team that ever qualified for anything. They, they get, I they think get, they came in second in the World Cup, my friend. They came no, 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 no. We can go and, and, and with them come in at the World Cup. Them come dead last no, they, they dropped out against Japan and a few other teams. They didn't go nowhere. Okay, so you're that saying that that Jamaica team. No, so which year was that? Um, the Mexican that, U20 team that like they went really far. 2018, they qualified for 2018, but the the tournament played in 2019. Yeah, and they went yeah, to like they, the semifinals or the finals. They went. They they knocked out in the first round. No, I'm talking about the, which year did they actually went to the semis you're not, or the okay, finals? You're not following. I'm telling. I'm telling you straight. I'm talking straight English to you. That Mexican team that people keep the two-two draw in 2018, mm. the, the same team qualified for the World Cup, which played the other year. Mm -hmm. They didn't play 2018. They they qualified 2018, but they played. Yeah, the man, I, I follow you, you know. I follow you, you know. I follow you. And I was just asking, since you're a man who sound like you had the stats, you maybe no. It it, it, it does. You can you can anybody in the chat anybody can go 2019. U20 um, World Cup. Yeah. That Mexican team that we played 2-2 two -two with didn't make it out of the first round. I mean, the speed and people and some people keep bringing it up that yeah, we're so were... good because that team plays uh, came second. This team, the Mexican team, didn't do nothing. Yeah, I think we, yeah, may I give you the check that I think we hear that um, thing, um, that thing, um, that thing came up. Um, but, but but I did see the team itself though, and the team looked pretty good, man. The Jamaican team I'm talking about, not the Mexican team. I think those set of boys they looked, you know, they had the yeah, physical... they were, yeah, they were talented. They were talented yeah, they players were, there. Yeah, I think that's the last. That's the last we have a real yeah a bunch of uh, real local player like individual players. Yeah. There was a, there was some quality players there. Yeah. At that level, at that level. But, but the, when they're saying that the Mexican team is good and they went to semi-final, no, it was the worst Mexican team. JT, they jumped out in the first round. JT, prayer to that. The and team. everybody in the chat can go and just, just, just research that and kill that and put it in the chat and kill that. We don't want to hear that again. We don't want to hear that again as, as a benchmark. Yeah. That, that in my ear, you know, Shavon. You can hear you, Shavon. Yeah, Carlos, I say I agree. Um, I think I had pointed it out to, to, to some other um, persons before. No, Shaban is very low. Here, you're hearing me now? No, um, I, I'm hearing you talking, but I can't hear what you're actually saying. Are you in your voice? See if I can turn me up some more. Let hey, me turn you up. Let me turn you up. Listen, you yeah, hear him? You see if I can hear me. Can I hear me now, Carlos? Go ahead, Shaban. You not hear me still. I don't know why. The microphone actually turned up. Caller, hear me now? Um, and I mean, anybody can for the whole Jamaica, for the old people who just want to get rid of this talking point. Mm -hmm. We have some good individual team. The guy came in and, at the last moment, and we almost qualified on goal difference. But I'm telling you, that Mexican team that they keep pushing up to to carry up on another level, that mm -hmm. Mexican team was garbage. 
Okay, so you're you yeah, at, yeah. at the Mexican level. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I think I think Mexican youth football has been in a descent recently because um the the tournament after that was cancelled and then the one after that they did not qualify either. So the Mexicans they haven't been the Mexicans that we've been used to at the youth level. So you can see where um it but as I say a lot of pers a lot of persons try to go back to that particular team because we drew with them yes. and then they say that hey we we drew with them yeah but when they went to the world cup even though their group was difficult to be honest they they, they went to the world cup and they didn't win a game so we just have to be realistic about that part so drawing with them everybody do their research so we need to kill this argument for once and for all i don't want mr speed say it like a hundred times and each time it just it just uh, hurt my spirit to hear someone as, as, as a member of the JFF saying this and saying a lie. That's a lie. That's one of the biggest lies ever told on YouTube that that Mexican team came second or third. Yeah, they that, dropped out that of is the first a big round. lie, though, bro. That is a lie, bro. And he but, keeps but, saying. But, 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 who, 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 who said that the Mexican team came second? Nothing. Carla, who, who, who you hear say it? Mr. Speed, Mr. Speed, keep on saying it like he's, he's using it as a reference point. Yeah, yeah. The said last that. look, he said, he said Jamaica yeah. came second to the team that qualified yeah. and qualified. No, Marlon, what what did they call it saying that Mr. Speed is saying that that Mexico team that Jamaica on, that played against yeah, in that went, to, went to, the to the World Cup and came in second. Tournament. Yeah, they didn't make it out of the group. In the World Cup, an actual World Cup, they came third in their group in the actual World Cup. <laughs> they dropped out in the first round of the World Cup. Okay. Yes, sir. We know that, but who, 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 who were no, there? No, right. You know that, Marlon. But the the, the, the Mr. Speed is don't don't talk like he know that. Right. We know they're, that they're they're, they're they're in a group with Japan, the same team that came on to go to the Olympic, right? Japan, Italy, and Ecuador. The same size say the team. Yeah, we, we understand that this was a strong group. You can yeah, that can happen. But what when you say that the team came second or third, you pass in round of sixteen, you pass in round of eight, you on semifinal. You know, you are pushing up that team to lift up that same Jamaican team that lose that the go two two with them. So you understand what I'm saying? You, it's just like a push up. And he's not supposed to do that. Marlon, I think what the caller is trying to say is that um, persons always use that as a reference to say that Mr. Wade did an amazing job with the U20. Um, but they're saying that, hey, oh, Mexico only beat us on goal difference. And if and then because there is a notion out there that, because a lot of persons don't do their own research, a lot of persons heard that that Mexican team did extremely well at the World Cup. Persons are now saying that hey, we drew with them. We only came out. We only got knocked out by them by goal difference. So, Mr. Wade did do a good job. When in realistically, when when when, it, when realistically, we the Mexican team wasn't really that. The Mexican team they didn't really do that well at the World Cup either. So, to say that we drew with them, it's a good it's a good omen on us to to draw with a Mexican team. Um, coming from where we are from where we were with mexico in the past but i think what the car i kind of have to agree with what the caller is saying to some respect to say that hey the team is and Shavan, and Shavan, just just one last thing before i go do do you see in in the league right now in the jpl maybe you're watching it do you see our, our garfield reed do you see um uh, uh kevin lamey we, we are these players in the league we are the we are the players in the league that we are playing with all, I mean, it's 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 better feel, better better surfaces. But I can't see, I can't seem to find a quality player coming out in the league. Um, honestly, there are some players who I believe can make the the team. But if you ask me, if I think that they are ready for the international stage, I'm ready, I'm ready for the I'm, national league. I'm not talking for the, the the national team. I'm talking for export. That they can go and earn for their family. Um, I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. 
if I'm going to be honest. And that's not... I'm going to jump off and listen. And um, anybody in the chat who knows any player in the league that is ready for export right now in, in the League One, anywhere. I mean, it just, just, just name the player in the chat. I can track that player. All right. So um, based off the colors um, question, for me, I... Um, there are players that has the potential, but players 18, 19, no. The potential can only take, I don't think potential will take you right now to where we would want them to all be at the moment. Um, we saw again in the same U20, um, the, the preliminary round, um, the players that really stood out for us were um, there is one, Rabina Garden had an amazing tournament. I'm not gonna lie, Rabina had an amazing tournament for us. Um, maybe he could be one, but he's not playing in the league, so maybe that's why I never mentioned his name initially. He's not playing in the JPL, he's one of Mr. Butler's players, so he's a player that I think can actually make it. Um, I like his quality, I like his drive when he's playing, he always plays with a smile on his face. So. No matter what happens, he always he's always tried to get the best out of himself. So I do I do I commend him for that. Um, another player that a lot of persons talk about it's Adrian Reed, um, along with Christopher Ainsworth. For me, in the tournament, they weren't the best. They weren't what I was looking forward to. I was expecting a lot more, especially against the opponents that we had. Um, so the only the only local play and Lynch, Tawin Lynch, he had an amazing tournament. I think he would be our number one goalkeeper going into the tournament. Um again from the local contingency, it's it's not really that much to be honest. Um there's not a lot more. Um Margan um Marlon, you have anything to say? I, wanna, I, I, I think for me, so the, the, the player that caught my eye was Welch. Um, no, man, locally, local player. Local well, player. Lo, uh, lo, locally, it, it, it would have been um, basically, as I said, um, saw the first game. And when, 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 when I said to the person that if, Mart, if uh, Martinique got the players who were coming in from France, this Jamaica team was going to beat them. They were laughing. Right? And yeah, I remember you saying it. I remember you saying it on a, right? a lot of shows. Saying that. I said to Antina, Antina was like, What player they have? I said, Okay, don't worry, you will see. Right? And we, we beat them by luck. Right? I don't even call it a goal, it, it, it's an own goal by the keeper. <laughs> but for a ball to travel more than 70, um, 70 meters to bunk past the keeper, it's an own goal by the keeper. Yeah, right? So we got lucky there. We got lucky there. Um, I know, I know, Grenada physicality was gonna give them problem, and you saw that. But for us to really give up the goals against against um, Bermuda and give them a chance, right? I think Bermuda was the weakest team out of fall four, right? So it show you there's a lot of room for improvement there. There's a lot of pieces that that, that are missing, right? So I think Januar made a lot of big mistake by using Barrett. To play um left back, right? Which from from, from the friendly games in Trinidad, I said that's one of the biggest mistakes you're gonna make. Like, uh, you have somebody who's a midfielder who plays midfield, you're gonna use a midshift, right? Having injured to play a wing, right? So I think I think Welch came in to that team. If, if, if Welch didn't come in that midfield, it have been a problem for Jamaica. Cause he was the only one who had some control in the middle. Right, and he's aggressively swinging the ball and thing and getting it forward. So I think he's a he's a fine for the team. Um, Rabina Garda did, did 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 okay. Um, I think going forward, um, Blake, I think I, I think he need to find himself. Remember, he's not USL. You're, you're, you're playing. I think he was playing to come in in, in, in the tournament. Yeah, yeah you saw right. It. I, I I said the team last year when I was at Waterhouse. I said you need to be more aggressive if you plan to move forward as a centre back. You need to play aggressive, right? Composure is good, but when you're doing it, um, it, um, teams are gonna scout you out and 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 and, 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 and it's like the other day when when I was in Panama, right? 
what that Valdez said. He said, you know where Jamaica are dangerous down the wing, but we are so dangerous on the wing. Say, what well, the thing that Panama have over us, that, 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 that's we're talking about fortune stuff and the Panama team. He said, we can hurt them through the middle. But we know we are, we know they, they said they, they are strong on, on the flank. Jamaica is strong on the flank, but they can hurt Jamaica through the middle. Because Jamaica midfield doesn't have, have that combative to really um, go up against them. So I think I think that's something that, 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 that that's something the coach have to really work on. Um, as Jeremy coming out, as, as as I said, as as Mr. Speed, I heard him tell JT yesterday that Jeremy has been handed um all the players who have documents and who. So it's for him now to to really get the camp and stuff, and want to see what the under 18s do when they go to um go to Turkey. So, but there, there, there are some players that still there. Their players, I, I, I think, I think Tariq Scott was a, was a big miss for the other twenty. He got injured in the Trinidad game. He's back beat now, but he he's a player that I think they have to really. He has, he has gone through about two two ligament damage over two seasons, so he's somebody have to really take, really be very cautious with him. Um, All right, so we, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Ari JT said that um Kalamateri and uh, Whisper will will send threat. To, to the other teams, you have to remember what the other, other players have the same way. US have players, players uh, who are Syria, who are in Spain, who are in England, same way, who are in Germany. So, which part of the material come to really send fear to any of them? No, I don't think I don't think JT meant to the fact that they're going to be scared. I just think that it meant that they would be saying, hey, all right, we'll have to take them somewhat serious now because um, Kadamatri, based off some of the clips that I've seen, He's that robust fighter that I think that we would have needed at a youth level that he isn't afraid to take on players. You know, like sometimes you will have that rough that rough attacker. I think Kadamatri has that in him. You will see him play with a bloody mouth. Players will elbow him, punch him in his mouth and everything. Wow. And he's still not stopping. So I think that's one thing that we would have missed out on a striker. Someone that isn't afraid to actually get dirty to score goals. So I think that's where JT was saying that having a player like Whisper, Akadamachi, and the other player that he was uh, mentioning, they will... Threatening give, players. Those players yeah, are they, threatening, you know? They will give the US and the Mexicos and the Canadian teams to say, all right then, all right, we'll have to take them a little bit more serious. More no, serious. We can't just, yeah, we can't, we're not going to just go ahead and just roll them over. And but again, it does go back to what you said, Marlon, just about Romain Blake. Um, I don't know why. It's something that I have kind of noticed over the past couple of years. Our players seems to peak at a particular age. Well, majority, I'm not gonna say all of our players, majority of our players, when they reach the 18, 19, it's as if that's their peak. Because um looking at a Romain Blake you now, he's at Chicago. And when you look at his stats, he isn't playing that much either right now. And then yeah. if you're in if you're in the MLS next pro, which is as you said, it's not the, the USL, so it's below the USL. And you're what not kind of headphone getting... you have on, Javon? Is it like a headphone mic or something? Here? Yeah, a microphone with a headset to the mic. Why are you hearing the fan? Not the fan, no, like this puffing sound. I don't know. Maybe can you turn it oh. up? We'll probably need to turn it up. Yeah, really that's right. why. Turn it a little bit back down. Is that better now? Yeah, man, at least. All right. So, yeah, I think that's one thing that he would need to look into as well. Um, So, Blake, I think he needs to think he needs to look into himself because even Rochester, I think JT is one of the players that JT hates. I'm not going to say hate, but one of the players that JT was calling out a lot. Um, Kadamatri, uh, not Kadamatri, um, Rochester, Rochester, he's actually, he's actually he's playing getting a lot, lot of games. Game, he's actually game. getting a lot of they, games. They see something in him, and what they saw in Rochester is he's able to focus on his position and just get up and down the field. And they probably saw the talent in him. Like, if we can take him and drill him because he was a raw talent, you can get a disciplined, um, 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 um wing back. So he's, um, but I think he, he has been a player that they're they're really turning him into a util like player. Even the game they played tonight, he was playing um CDM. Um really? he, he had played left back, he has played left center back. So I think um and they they they, they really talk highly of him in, 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 in Chicago. So 
I think I think I think he if he if he keep himself grounded and keep moving forward the same way, I think he's someone you could probably find playing for the even the senior team in the open cups and, and stuff like that. But there's a player though, JT. Um I think a lot of us saw him. He can't play the U twenty. He can't play the U twenty, but he's a player that I was really looking forward to recently. Who is John that? Bell. John Bell. I remember the name. He played in the Guatemala game at left back. Man. He's a he's a oh, he's a Seattle, so he's he, he's like a second choice left back there. So he hasn't played played that or played, played it out even. So. He actually had an amazing game for us. But the other day when I heard that, um, when I found out that uh, Amari wasn't gonna uh, make it, I was I was actually eager to see John Bill there because I think he was one of our better pl for players there. Yeah, he, bro, he looked really good to me. I don't care what bench he's sitting on now. The game that I saw him in against Guatemala, he looked lively up and down the field yeah. um, in that position. And he, he getting around players wasn't an issue for him. And he got honestly, I think... Very easily. And that was very shocking for me from our wing backs. Because even though Greg Lee plays well, get, Greg Lee doesn't take the ball and get our own players. You know? And to be honest, even Tavon Gray, the inclusion of Tavon Gray, to see that Tavon Gray was included, but John Bell wasn't. And Tavon is basically in the same situation as, as John Bell. So Tavon isn't getting a lot of game times either but, because he's the, the second the, choice. He, he's, the last game, he, he started for them the last game, so... Remember, he's gonna be the first. Right? Um, what if I understand about NYFC, you know? Tevan played three position there, right? In, in a back four, he's gonna play right back, right? If they are playing um a back three, he really play right center back or right wing back. So those are the position they they, they, they have been mixing the team uh, 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 throughout the season so far. So the last game he he, he went the full ninety for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for Jamaica, he's, he reminds me of how J Javin Brown came in. He hasn't started uh, well. Yeah, yeah, if, if I understand something, like, he's a, he's a highly, I, I think he's one of the players who could have gone on and if he had stayed there, probably could have been around the USA pool player. But somebody probably might not also want to be a player playing six or five game, right? You cannot, he's a young player. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 it's just, yeah, maybe is it just nerves? He just took the ball the last game and fell down. And they took it and they got a throw in and they scored a corner or whatever. I know that one thing I do know, I do know that the US was trying even last minute to try to convince him not to play for Jamaica. Shavan and Marlon, is, is the Jamaican team, is, is the national team a place where people should come to improve? No. I think, I, J -J, like, if, 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 uh, even the other player that was mentioned, don't talk. At, at at um at Red Bull, I think Tavon is a way better right back than than Duncan. I think, right? He, I think he's better going forward. Duncan has have opportunity to play um in Belgium as well, but when it comes to an age, you're talking about twenty two and and twenty five. But when when I saw Duncan was even mentioned, the Jamaica was like he was being mentioned around the pool, but got to have a, a couple of teams. But I don't really see him as a opportunity with Scully and all these guys. This and there's they, so much quality US about right back. Shot more and all these guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm personal really rate those guys that highly. So I think he, he wasn't really a part of that pool. So I think so I think um it, it, it's not a matter of coming to national team to get improvement, right? You, you, when you basically come to the national team, you, you basically come to us add something to it, right? You you don't go to a national team to develop. Exactly. That's why I don't think I and 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 I listen, I'm happy about uh Tavon Gray getting the chance, but I, I think my right backs and those kind of players, I need them to either have experience or be playing in the depth chart. Uh if I have a second string right back, he should at least be getting good minutes at his club, or he's a, a, a experienced player. Well, you know, even if he's not getting a lot of game time, the experience is there for the position. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But, but that's it still. I think I think right back, I think we're more sturdy at right back now than before. I think right mm -hmm. back used to be like Jamaican trouble. Um, you remember? When, 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 yeah. yeah. We have to wonder who's going to play right back. So I think we, 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 we are blessed on the right backs, you know, left back now. I don't think we're blessed. I have uh, to disagree. 
Okay. No, but I, if, I, if, if, if you look at it, I think I think Dexter, as first to my say, talking about right back, unless you're going to get a high quality right back who's playing for many things, we, we go, we go. He's not going to replace Dexter. No, right? all right. When I say it, I'm not, I don't believe so. I believe Dexter is starting right back. But if, if, if Dexter is not there, just like the World Cup qualifier where Dexter won't be available for the first game. All right, JT, seeing that Dexter can play the first game, who do you feel comfortable coming in to, um, um, to start that first no, game? No, this is a game. If, if it wasn't Absolutely. against Dominican Republic, if we were going up against a US. Okay, what I would do now is I would drop Latibo there out to the right back position and start Ethan Pinock in the middle there with and have my back three still and have another competent right back, keep Tavon Gray at the second string. I'm not ready to throw Tavon Gray in that right back position. No, that's a, that's a, that's the reason why I said like I'm not just like that's what you guys were saying earlier that um we're mm. comfortable at the right back position. I am not there as it. I'm I maybe it's a time to bring in a West Harding too. But yeah, would I bring in a West Harding to start him? Um, Fabian Fool, that's another thing. I don't know if the coach, I, the coach I, I, yes, show that. West Harding is, is a player, player right back, so, so to bring in West Harding to start my right back, I think he, he, he will definitely, as a right back, he will fall behind all of him right now. Uh, he's not playing right back. And the, the last five games he hasn't played, uh, he, he developed a lot before the international break and stuff. So he just was back on the, on the bench today. And I think he's going to have a, had a hard time getting back into that, um, in that middle wall team because um this young the youngster from Chelsea from Spurs that down there mm. he, he he has came in and really pulled at the, the right center back position right now so so while I understand why you guys were saying that um we do have a lot of options there but comfortable because I remember a time when we were all calling for Jaffe in Brown and I think yeah. that was I think that stemmed from the fact that um, the player, the two players that we had before, they are going to call the player's name for um, I want to avoid it and that. But two right backs that we had before, we saw we saw Javin Brown as an improvement. And when Javin Brown came in, we were then calling for more improvements because we were saying that all right, maybe Javin still isn't the player. And, so, and, 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 and this is something, and, and right, I, I, I've said at, at Vancouver, he plays in a back three, so he's normally playing wing back. So if you, if you look at all the right backs, know, um, Dexter has played in a back three, I think that's why he looked better in the Panama game. Because even, even the same goal that he scored against Panama, the score that he scored for Hearts in the second game was literally the same thing. The only thing he was more on, on, on the right hand side in the box. Where he's step over the two step over same and sit and kick it to the far post, but he was in 18 box. So what 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 he's what, what he has done for, over the past couple of game, I think offensively, he's getting better and better, right? Um, losing the ball a lot, but the ball he's losing a lot. He's trying to make that final pass, right? So it's like it's basically the, the, the same play we see, and, and, and I've always said a long time that I think Jamaica based formation is playing a back three. Where you have your three best defenders on the field, mm -hmm. right? You can gamble with your wing back going forward, right? You just mm -hmm. need an out and out, um, a midfielder who can be a box to box who can control the game, right? For flexibility there. So, somebody, and the good thing about it, you can always have coverage here. So, if your wing back bomb forward, right? Yeah, one of your right. double pivot can, can basically step in the position there, or one of the, the, the left center back can step up into that position, same way. So, you, you always have coverage here. So is um person might say you use position to play teams. Yes, information to play teams. But at the same time, when you have three good centre backs, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it it shows you because Hector is good with the ball, you have a fit pin up back there, Bernard, that the body are low. Have uh, everybody saying low, I don't see low playing in that midfield. Right? Mm. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be improved quickly think, enough to, to nail think, that. There's no there's no improvement there. Right, he will just do the job there, but when you come against the quality midfielders, right? Mm -hmm. If Tyler Adams didn't start against you, you, Jamaica, he'd have out of the game long time, mm -hmm. right? Musa, 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 because when, when, when you're talking, when, when you're talking about, if, if you see, I was telling somebody, like, you have to basically, yes, US, right? We have to give you their credit, US is on a different level of football from Jamaica. 
the Mexico, the most technical team in CONCACAF. USA play them off the field like they're not the Mexicans. Mexicans live, live, is living off name, no one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. When, 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 when I said it last year before, go up that Panama is the third best key, team in CONCACAF. They're basically pushing for the second best team right now. Right? We saw what they do against Mexico, and that's why, that's why I was a little bit surprised how they, 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 they really play Jamaica. Because we know we know they're the team, only team in, in Kanga Cup that's turned up to Jamaica, they are the Asian that's turned up to Jamaica physically. But they're more their players are more technical than, than our players. So that's why we, we always have we always have a hard a, 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 a hard fight against them every time. I've seen Jamaica play um, Panama in the 2006 World Cup qualifier where they all shot them 34 shot to three in the national stadium. And guess what? Roberta Brown and Dele Valdez two shot and goal, they squirt. So I think their physicality, but Shevan, they're in a different level right now. The US, all right. So for me, I think the US is who we would, we would want to we would want to, to be right now. I don't think the Mexicans, as we mentioned, and at the previous, the caller had mentioned before Marlon, the Mexicans hasn't been the Mexicans that we all grew up knowing. That dominant team. I remember the Mexicans, and when the when the Mexicans were dominating, it's not as if they were dominating, and then they would have this low period. They were just dominating right through Concacaf, and then you would have the U.S. or Canada below. But right now, this Mexican team, they do look beatable. Um, even the game that they defeated Panama in the semifinal. If you were to watch the game, you would never know that the game ever ended three 0 no, but, but, but Sherman, Sherman, I said it. I said it, and that's why I said I, I was surprised how Jamaica can't take Mexico. Because you're looking at they, uh, if if somebody have seen in their lifetime, you'd have seen a Panama team come and all possess Mexico. Sixty, right? I want time. I want time. Position was 60, 68, um, thirty-two, right? Exactly. And you all shot them twenty-one to six. But the only thing, Mexico, very clinical. When they get the chance, they take them. Oh, brother, it's really. Um, as I said, I know it for a fact. The this Mexican team. Um, when even when they defeated us in the Gold Cup, I think we all, I think we all said it to ourselves that hey, we all went into the game thinking that we could have won the game. I think what what I think what really worked against us. The early goal really put us. The early goal put us on our on our back foot. Yeah, and I don't think we know. I, I don't think. I don't think we have learned how to really come back from behind. Because if you think about it, most times when we actually play, um, when teams go get ahead, it's difficult for us to really come back. The Canadian match we did it superbly. Um, I have to give them credit. It, it against Haiti as well. So yeah, so it against Haiti twice. So it's getting better. You can say that it's getting better. But I think that that early goal against Mexico, and then because the Mexicans knew that, hey, we don't need to attack anymore, we can just pass the round the ball, and then that would have opened us up more. So I think that would have led to the additional two goals. But I don't think that Mexican team is that Mexican team anymore. I don't think they're that better than us Jamaicans anymore, if I'm going to be honest. So um, while I do give them credit, I have to say that, hey, and I'm eager to see what the grouping will be as well for the um, for the U20 for the next round. Um, hopefully, we can avoid some of the big boys. Um, hopefully, we can avoid some of the big boys, um, so we can have a great up. I know a lot of persons would say that hey, we have to beat the best, for be the best. But any any luck I can get, I'm going to take it. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, Marla, if I can avoid big teams, I'd avoid them. Just give me the easiest path to reach home and I'll take it. That's that's it for me. So, what do you say? What do you have to say, Marla? Yeah, I, 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 I agree I agree with you on that. I, I don't think, and I've, I've said this, the last time I said the same thing, for even though I'm sit down and wait and to play one game to get to, to go to the World Cup was totally unfair. And I think this is something that can cock off. Make the US they play against a smart team. If you give them 15 or 20 in a year. Right. But I don't see why you should give a team a pass. Right? Because 
Anything come, anything come happen on the day, you know? A team can go there and get lucky. Right? We saw Guatemala did it against Mexico. So, it can happen. I think CONCACAF, um, I think CONCACAF is still trying to figure things out. In my opinion, based on how they, uh, based on how they, they organize. All, Shabba, is there different. any way you can, um, anything that's going on in the background? Are your audio like like is oh is the wind maybe it's the wind from the fan yeah gone now right yeah yeah yeah, yeah the perfect fan. Oh, fan. all right well i'm saying we can put it on the lowest speed and and, and that's and that's why the shepherd even initially i was very glad that panama and jamaica advanced right because 14 was there sitting down waiting for you right to come there and it has been totally unfair for them to just play one game and go to the Copa America. And I think, for me, still, everybody, like in the National League now, everybody will be playing. So it was like, okay, let's take these four teams and just um, protect them. Costa Rica, Mexico, and Canada, US. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think CONCACAF has a lot to do because even at the club champ, even the club competitions, you see Cavaliers, for example, Cavaliers making it into the, the, the club championship and they only play two games. So you're uh, in a you're in a you're in a you're in a champ you're in a champions league type competition. It's not it's only it's not a it's not a champ it's a knock it's a knock on two way knock but like like before remember before the, the old champion league used to be groups because you know, I remember what was a movie event right they had VC United and um Arabia. From, from from Panama that they're group with them, right? So at least um when when Port Moran the same thing, but at least I I, I think for a team to try, um qualify for a Champions League and play two games and and come out is really unfortunate because so you have thirty two teams, fourteen per group, right? Top two goes to quarter final, play um last sixteen quarter final, it goes on from there. Yeah, I I think it and was unfair. Well, I'm not gonna say it's unfair and Cavaliers, but for you to read so far, for you to play at your your um your domestic competition um for the for the birth and then you only play two games and then the two games is against the same team as well so it's not even like yeah, it's I, two different teams you play and it's only in Kanka Kanka topic because um a, um african um champion league is is, is 32 teams same way um asia the same thing um Copa is, is the same 32 teams same way right we we, yes, we, so. we we all know that um that that in uh europe four it goes already so it's it's just in Kankak of the Ham because and if you go by history when um Saprisa won it, right, when they were playing the few games and go through when it when they went to the World Cup championship, that, that's what happened. So they basically trade it up and if, if you look at it when you have um it's set up for the Mexican teams, MLS and and, and, and the Mexican teams to, to really go through. I mean I remember after the US game when I was still upset. I posted something on CONCACAF's page um, saying that might as well they have a competition only for Mexico and the US. I didn't say anything disrespectful, anything offensive. I just said might as well you guys just have a competition for the US and Mexico. And can you believe CONCACAF reported the comment? So I think they know. I think they know that persons are aware um that their competitions are morally geared towards the U the us and the mexican teams in all aspects um hopefully there can be a change because um i mean we need more inclusion um while i understand for the gold cup you want to have for revenue purposes you want to have funds i mean the gold cup should not only be played in the us in my opinion every single gold cup it's being played in the us I honestly believe there's something wrong with that. If you want to play like the, the, the semifinals in the US, fine. But at least try to spread out the, 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 the other rounds the other rounds. I think from, from broadcasting and, 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 and revenue, it's it's um it will make sense here. Even and uh, even even um police work was in Panama City, we had a conversation where we saying that World Cup is set up for US and Mexico finals, so it's so much to break through, right? If you look at it, you never see two of them in the same bracket where they can meet in a semi-final, right? Yeah, that's true. 
um, so, I remember. I remember even. I think it was the Nation League. I think it was the Nation League. The way it was set up, it was so that the, I don't remember which competition it was, but they were doing a draw, and they selected like the first four teams. Well, they were the first. The draw was for the first four teams, but they placed both. They placed. I think it was US in Group A and Mexico in Group B. And then yeah. when you look at the table, at, 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 um, at, this, at, at the tree. So you know that group A, group A play B, B play C. So there's no way that they could have met other than the finals. There's no other way. And I'm looking at why did you place those teams? The, every other team was seeded. Every single other team was, um, they had a draw, but for US and Mexico, they placed America in A and put America, they put America in A and put Mexico in B. So automatically, hey, these two teams cannot meet until the final. And I found that a bit strange to say, like, why is it that the two of them can't meet in the semi-final, the quarter-final? But, I mean, as everybody always said, they're doing it for revenue. Um, I guess football is all about the money right now. So that's where Cup Cup is going to go. But I think if we want to see the region reach where we want it to reach, because I think one of the reasons why the Caribbean nations themselves, the interest for football isn't there, I think that's probably one of the reasons because they, they aren't really, the Caribbean region isn't really that included in football, maybe up until now. If you get what I mean, Marlon. But it, it, it's better now, sooner, because um, a couple weeks back, um, yeah, it's better now. Remember now, you don't have St. Vincent at least, they may come and play two games. Then they don't play any more football until another three or four years, they so record qualifiers start again. So, Exactly. I think so I have to give um, I have to give for and, 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 and Victor the, 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 the respect for starting the National League for, for the games for really too because Anguilla and all these other teams so you know every win that they're playing a game and uh, so I think it, 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 it's really a good look for, for the Caribbean football. So um I think he's rain. Um I think he, he he has done a lot for football over the past six years, right? He has really put the Canadian team up there in the market, right? Yeah, that's true. So, we have, and if, if you're looking at Kankakov still, yes, we know. We, 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 I, I, as I said, I don't really look and really. I, I measure everywhere football. Is like. I've been to South America, I've been to Brazil, I watch football in, in Brazil, right? Brazilian leagues, Syria, same way, Argentina, Uruguay, Peru. And if you compare all the leagues, um, Brazil, Brazil, and Uruguay, and Chile, and, and um, Argentina will have more facilities. Right. When it come to Ecuador and Venezuela and thing, but at least when, when, when you go to Europe, no, you're not gonna compare um, resources in South America to what they have in Europe. Right? And when you look at it, Italy and Panama, Italy and England and Spain and right. So, but at the same time, the quality is still in South America the same way. Right? Yeah. Every year you find at least twenty-five or fifty players, high-quality players that that, that make that make, make the move to Europe. MLS has come in now that we are, are taking a lot of young talent because even if, if you look at um Renando, who's a top young midfielder, um moved to Inter Miami instead of going to U- Juve because Messi is there. Uh, um a, a, a child, a, 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 he's idol. He wants to play with him. So I think MLS is really has really come in now to take a lot of youngsters there. Um Diego Almeida is another one again, another top Argentina player who was on the radar of Real Madrid and AC Milan and he chose um Atlanta. Um, All right. yeah, you see, for me, Marlon, what I've realized, the MLS, the MLS isn't content on just playing that role of not being the... I think the MLS is slowly but surely trying to stamp their foot in international club football. If we, you see where they're trying to attract... They're basically... They don't have the, the, resort, the financial resources as what um, Saudi Arabia has. But you see that they're making the deals, they're getting the fans. Because remember, you know, one of the biggest things is the fans, you know. They're doing everything that they can to get the fans included you now into their football so that they can have packed stadiums, in which they have been doing now for the past couple of years. Because I can't remember the last time I watched an MLS um, game and the stadiums weren't packed. All sold out, even without Messi playing. So it shows that I have to give credit to the Americans. They are trying and... If we're not, if we're not, um, if we're not, if we're not careful, I think in the next ten or so year, Marlon, I think America may be a top 
probably top 10 country in the world if we're not being honest because their aspirations their aspirations isn't only to be the best in CONCACAF they want to be the best in the world basically if you listen to how they talk yeah that, that's true that's true and remember if you look um between 2000 2007 um we'll see a play and go straight into mls right no they not even consider these players anymore because if you look, when you look at german taylor lovell lovell palmer Haka, taxi these guys they, when i said these guys went straight there right Corey yeah. burke play us then he, then he went to, to, to philly right but if you look at it now when our players are activity in trials in mls anymore so and at that time we didn't have a lot of south americans so as a young kid coming south america who come and get some limelight mls is looking you still have Caribbean players that play from Trinidad there. Um, yeah, Antigua. Grenada, Antigua, same way. Right? No, they don't even get to look in the South America, they're going straight to South America and South getting the yeah. talents. So, they, you can, and even if you look at the, the game that they played against us recently, even though they won the game, when you listen to the punditry of, of the game, the analysts, they were all saying that the U.S. is this, the U.S. is that, the U.S. is the worst team. And I'm like, this is a team that just won semifinals. While we in Jamaica, we were saying that, hey, we felt cheated and we we're okay with it. The U.S. were not happy with just winning on, um, in extra time. So I have to applaud them on that. Um, but there's something else that I wanted to talk to Mr. Speed about. That's why I wanted JT to... Um, to come up Marlon. I don't know, it's just a it's just an opinion I had. I want your I want your opinion on it as well. Um you know the MLS Adidas, the generation Adidas Cup competition, right? Yeah yeah. It happened recently. Um my opinion I think I, I think the JFF should have included a Jamaican select U fifteen, Jamaican select U seventeen team to at least try to participate in that tournament. It's held I, every year, and we I think, are. I think it's, it's like I think they could try for like the Dallas Cup. I think for for this, this I mean the MLS uh, under fifteen and the same thing they're doing no, it first. This this competition it had money, it had River Plate, it had teams from all over the world. So teams that are either sponsors, sponsors, okay. those are the teams that are actually invited. So it's not just MLS teams. So I'm not talking about the the next cup, next pro. You know, this was that generation Adidas Cup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's because I was even speaking with Kerry about it and he was saying that it's a good idea. It's something that the JFF could really look into and it's just up the road. Um, have a U15 team, I select U15 team, I select U17 team. Playing these tournaments every single year so we can have the players go out and play competitive football on a, on, on a regular basis. I think it's, these are some of the things that we're missing out on. Um, because we said that we want to develop our younger players here, but I mean, so what? What do you think about that idea? It's a good idea. I, um, as I said, and and if if you look at it, I think that's why um, when you, if you comparison, you have um, I, I think this is something from a sponsorship standpoint, and I think the federation can do it as well. You have Alia sponsor in uh, Costa Rica now, right? Mm -hmm. Or uh, Mexico as well. I think the South American teams, I think um, if the Federation can go ahead and give Adidas a proposal, like to play like a, um, a Adidas Cup with these teams as sponsor around here in in, in, in um, CONCACAF and also in uh, South America, that would be very good. We see, we, see, we see Nike doing it as well when they play the Nike Cup with US young teams and uh, US, France, England, and all these young teams get, get to participate in yeah. uh, Portugal. I think those are some of the some of the, the, the some of some those are some ideas that I think we should be put forward. Um, we, because I mean, just having because you see you see the I'm not sure if you are aware of the the academies in Jamaica. They are going out now. So yeah, um, I, was, I, was, I was watching. I was um, keeping a tab on, on, on Kingston FC, um, Kingston Academy there and see what they are doing in Europe, which was really fantastic. To go there and beat it up some under 15 team over there same way so you basically exactly. see see a, a team that is really and as i said when they get the right the proper development and exposure as well it it it, it will work for you in the future exactly so i think those are some of the things that um 
that's one of the that's one of the things that I wanted to speak to Mr. Speed about. Um, if he came on, um, unfortunately he didn't get the chance to. Um, but I will see if I can call him and talk to him about things like that. And even the idea that you just had, um, I think that's a good idea as well for the for the U17 competition that will be coming up. Um, because I said that they they've now switched the U17 to a every year tournament now. So I think that's good. That 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 type of would be great preparation. I think all the all the additional countries they will actually they would actually appreciate, and you can actually have those competitions in each of different countries as well. You can have it in Jamaica, you can have it in Mexico, and I think with some of the work that some of the other YouTubers have been doing in the background, trying to get more Jamaicans interested in the youth football, I think those are some competitions that would attract fans as well. But, um, but it's a good idea, Marlon. Like I never even thought about, cause I was thinking about it of just like having like a select Jamaican team. But that one will be that actually that like an Adidas international competition with the teams from yeah, that, this side. That, that, really. Really cool, cause they, they they even do it in in, in Asia same way with um with, as I said the teams that are sponsored by like the Perez and these teams they always have a straight up like um. AFC um, tournament down with all these teams there. Singapore and these teams down there. So it, I think it's something, as I said, um, they said a new slate now. So I think they, 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 they are different um, media out there for them to really try for the development. And I think the more exposure, the more exposure our young players get. Because if, if we look at um, the 2009, the first, the first um, and the same thing qualifier, they got a lot of exposure. They went to Brazil, they, they were playing games, right? And those players that from the under 19, half of them were back in the, the 21 as, as well. But for, for the 2001 World Cup, under 20 World Cup. So I think exposure, so the most exposure young players can get is better for them. Experience is there. Mm, true. Um, it's really it's really something that, like I, said, I never really thought about it before. Um, JT, I, I'm not sure if you're listening, but I think. Um, someone said that they would have wanted you to drop the link. Chatarak said that they wanted you to drop the link. Um, I'm not sure if you're hearing or not, but I don't have the option of dropping it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Marlon. Um, so, oh yes, JT did. All right, Marlon. So, is it the same um, at Generation Adidas Cup that I was telling you about? Yeah, yeah. There's a certain player that plays for Chelsea right now, Enzo. You know, that's where they actually discovered him playing for River Plate. Yeah, I'm sorry. River Plate team, and also. Yeah, so that's where they actually discovered him. So I'm saying that these youth competitions, um, cause honestly, for me, I don't think, I don't think we're utilizing the Adi the, the brand Adidas. I don't think, I don't think we Jamaican. I don't think the federation is utilized the Jamaican brand, to be well, honest. Well, Adidas is utilizing Jamaica as a brand. Yeah, Adidas is utilizing us. They are for sure. They are. They are. They are running with every chance. But I don't think we are utilizing the Adidas name as much. Because as even as you mentioned, that that is a very good idea. Um, try to have Adidas try to set up some little um workshops in Jamaica, footballing workshops, seem similar to what I see they do in Europe. I mean, some of those can be done. So hopefully we can get something. Um, Keterak has joined the stream now. Um, Keterak, um, you had anything input on what we and Marlon were discussing? Yeah, you know, I just came off the road. Um, Jay, Jay Taylor had sent me a um, link. I wasn't able to watch it. But I, I thought the headline was, um, was, was somewhat riveting. Um, and I look forward, I don't know if we can give a quick recap on the Ravel Morris situation. Um, but I have a different view than most. Um, Mar Marlon, bless up yourself. You know, I, I, I believe that you don't get back to much sharpness overnight. So I'm not certain how effective Ravel would be in, let's say, two months' time. With April, May, that's that's what's left of the season. Is what six weeks, less than six weeks left of the season. So, uh, interested to hear where that is. 
um, I, I, have, I have that as, as, as hopeful as everybody is with this Ravel thing. I think Ravel it was more like September after preseason and some friendlies and stuff. Um, he begins playing like maybe the November window. If I think it's a September window, right? For Nations League, that's when it restarts. Yeah, man, National League starts September. Right. I think that would be where I would think Rapid would have an effect. Um, having got the season would have started in August in, in England and there. So, so where, where, where is he signed to now? Signed to Anatach. So he signed to Anatach. So, so this that's was the a, So this was a kickbait. <laughs> Jay Taylor. <laughs> Watch it to the youth. So he said to add a touch. Okay. So that was the that was the basis of it. That is. So what does he say now? First, we're saying that if you need a rabbit, but as a family said, cataract. If you're not playing football regular, you're supposed to be my in my national team right now. I think my national team passed the stage where in that three years ago where you could give a player or you have talent and you're not getting the game time. You're not you know, affiliated to a club. We know the talent he has. It will be unfair for me as a player who's playing weekly. I even sit making a, a match day squad. And for a player who's not playing, do not have any squad, be including that team over me. I look at that as a disrespect to, to, to me as a professional player. And, and I, I, I think that, that goes right down the line. All the 20 players are the 70. All we will be saying that you have to be playing regular football. It would look like it's a joke, I mean. So I do, if, if that was the argument, I don't see Ravel inside what you make us, but I, I thought maybe he signed somewhere as a free agent at, um, you know, at one non-league team or something. Because at least that could have worked, you know. You get to me, I G, because at least you're going through the rep, you're getting back the muscle memory and those things. But at the end of the day, as, as I was saying, Marlon, um, one other thing I would love to do when, when we get the chance, Shava and Marlon, is we we'll look and see what would, what is the best midfield for Jamaica? And then see, can we go out and get that midfield? What do you mean? Ah, stop it and call you. Wait a minute. Yeah. Do you think yeah, it's the yeah, most yeah, effective yeah, midfield, Marlon? Yeah, you think would be the most effective midfield three or for Jamaica? So that... at, uh, right now, the, the, the two, uh, one I'm on matchup, and, and, and I said it's kind of, I think, I think um, in the record qualifier or the National League, if we can go to Copa America, really, no, we're so rumbling there. No, man, tell me the midfield trio that you would love to see on day one. Opening against is it Ecuador open against South Venezuela? Ecuador, Mexico, or we open against Mexico? Yeah, what would you love to see on day number one? It's Tell a dream, uh, dreamy field of basically. Um, you're talking within, about a, a model eh? within reason, like within, players, reason. within players who um have indicated an interest. So I would not put a Morgan Gibbs White because I know he's, his interest, I, I understand, is not there. But go ahead. Let me hear you. Let me, let me, let me all right. All right. All right. We're, we're talking with the players we have, right? No, man. And, no. You can add, and even those who are on the verge. All right. Talking on the verge, um, as we, we, we know that we, um, I think I'd love to have Isaac Hayden as that CDM. So we can really have two midfielder to go in, in, in expansive, right? Um, Morgan Gibbs White would, would, would have been really a big, extremely big capture for us. As we talk about um, the Mesa Mesa Road, Morgan Gibbs White would have been really hit Jamaica to another level. So if you're looking at, at a midfield tree, it has Gibbs White, um, Isaac Hayden. Right, so you use you they use um Isaac to play, play the single pivot, right? I have two attacker box to box in front of him, right? The third, 
Can you say yeah. anybody? Huh? He said Gibbs White. Yeah, Gibbs White. And they love to have um, Ramsey, but Ramsey's out injured. Ramsey's not um, coming back until next year. And, and, and we know that he's more on the England side looking. Mm -hmm. There's, a young play, there's a young player, Katarak. I don't think um, if any, you have a look at him as it. Um, Brooks. Uh, Andre Brooks? Sheffield United? Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. No, 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 no. I, I, I think he's somebody for the future, right? I think he's behind Casey and everybody else, but he's somebody for the future. But he, 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 he's a really a twenty year old. He's, he's really, really talented. Although Sheffield is struggling. My question but, to you. I have a question. Yeah. Brooks is somebody who I know. My sources tell me is interested in playing for Jamaica. Left footed. Do you believe that? he could be converted to a CDM because I am not buying the Dujon Sterling to CDM thing. No, 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 no. I, I think he's a more box to box. I think he, he's a more box. I think it's going to be hard to really convert it. So I have, it, I, I have, I have said it on the Sterling. Uh, and I said he might be more technical and low, but he's not, he's not an out and out CDM. Mm -hmm. Lottie we, we do a better job on him same way. He's not a senior, period. He operates down the flank. He uses the, 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 the byline to his advantage. He's knowledgeable of that. I, right, so that's, my, that's, my, my midfield tree within reason, I would say, is Lewis Baker, and I'm talking people who I know who have interests, alongside John Russell and Bobby Reed in the tent. So that is only one player that I'm trying to recruit. I believe this, the, having the two men from Chelsea come up in the same Chelsea methodology, central midfield, might be advantageous to us. I think Lewis Baker is as good a pass master as Ravel. I think he's he's, he's pass Ravel because I, I think his club career, I, I say, person might be saying that he hasn't played in the Premier League. But I think if you're watching what he did in Germany, um, I think I think Turkey, a Champions League was was basically a, a breakout for him. I think going back to Chelsea was a bad move. Very well. Shall stay there, but I know every person, everybody wants to play in the Premier League. But if you watch him, how, how he was playing that season there against Galatasaray, Fanabache, Basictus, most of those games he was he, he was up there. And I think the two injuries that he got at Stoke really kind of really dealt him a big blow. Yeah. That even mean, though he, 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 even though at Stoke the coach is probably you 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 using him mindfully, he doesn't want him that, that recurrence of the injury. And, and it's, it's the same thing for Isaac Hayden. Yes, he, he's getting sharp and sharper, but if you look at QPR, basically you look at 65 minutes come, you're looking for a substitution. Well, well I, I don't believe Isaac Hayden can have an international career. I think that is, I am now convinced by to be the person that's beyond our capability. I would bring in Isaac Hayden for the Copa tournament. But he can only operate in a tournament. He can't fly, recover from flying two days a day and then play the Thursday. Like how it feels. Now you play Sunday and then the match is Thursday. His body won't hold up to it. And I believe he will eat his career may end just like um, Kevin Stewart. I, I, I believe that was well. But I believe he can come, fly down, have a one month break you know rest recoup after uh, may 15th and be ready for june july right and play for a, a tournament in a month i believe he can do that and so i would pursue him for this tournament because i believe if we do well in this tournament we stamp our name in world football and it makes it makes our prospect for the nation to be even better and then again, so that's I, true. And, and I think um not I remember say we have two games 
this year for record qualify next two next year. But yeah. after after those two years next year and gold cup, it's right in the heart of qualifying. Right. So so so, so I think it? I think I, I was as I was saying to Chevron, if we can go and make some rumblings in this in in, in this Copa America, right? Advancing from that group will be a, really a big achievement. So it yeah. will be an eye opener for a person who are really looking. Even 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 other day Catholic, I'm talking to persons around the, in England, and the guy is basically saying right now, if I'm a young player playing certain a certain position, and Jamaica and Nigeria come calling, and I have interest and I have a um, heritage, I'm not looking for England. And he, he totally said, because we, 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 we're talking about Billy Kalimati, he said, listen to me, it doesn't matter what JFF does. Once he, he, he said the agent was a, was a big decision, big, 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 big part in that decision. Oh. oh. And, it, and if, 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 if you listen to a lot of players right now, the agents are basically saying, hey, play for England, your stock will go up. But do you want to play three game or four game and say you're an international player, then your career goes here? Right? We have seen that we, we, we have seen happen, happen to to to, to, to in, in the Niles. right? International career finish. You know, I forgot that far. Let me use me to right. So, so I, 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 I'm not on a dream on a dream mission because I said I, I wouldn't want to rejig the whole thing. I, I am trying to use the piece that I have. So, if not John Rust in the CDM, I would. In trust Brandon Cover. That's just it. I would I would give the central midfield and say, listen, that is our weakness. So Brandon Cover and um Kira Anderson, you guys run the run the midfield. Just use youthful exuberance and run the midfield. Well, okay, Tarek, I I I just say person might say um Russell is is is, is slow. But yes. I have been watching the last three, the last two. I watched him this morning again against against um, here against against uh, Charlton. Yeah. Yeah. Last two. One if you could give me a link because I didn't get to see that game and I really wanted to watch it. Right, and if you look at him, I was, I was watching something. I even I said this. I said I said if you notice this guy, he doesn't lose the ball. No, he doesn't. No, Chelsea, he Chelsea. doesn't lose the ball. He's very confident. He's very comfortable on the ball. Right, and. When I was watching both of them comparing with Kerai, Kerai lose the ball a lot. Cause he but play more, he's playing more offensive. They, they, they have him now played as a ten. Yeah. Realize that, right? I caught, but, I caught the highlight of the game and I saw him playing in the ten. So yeah, I want to um, ask for your assessment. How was the battle between Kerai and John Russell? Assessing the game, Russell was a better player on the field. Kerry was trying to to to, to make him being around the, the, the 18 yard box here. Um he's the one that got full when um say him uh, uh, Alfie May took the freaky can score. So he was more going, but if you're talking about in the midfield here, I didn't see him really put up that dominance in the midfield. Okay. And he and he got a knock as well. So hopefully it's nothing major. Major. But and I've said it, I think I think leaving John to shield the back four. Don't use my double feed up where you know this is your job, you're gonna shield the back four. And I, 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 it's about all games to trust in the play as well. So, so I listen, Chelsea CDMs. Hello, here comes the first mention Anthony Grant, John Russell, even Casey Palmer. They, they don't lose the ball because I think that's they, they cause a box to box, same way. Baker that's drilled into you not to lose the ball but we have to understand do we want a chelsea type midfield midfield central midfielder yeah. or do we want a, a, a kevin stewart which is like the, the liverpool model where you go forward you're you're, you're more what, what do you call the word um progressive that's the, that's the word they use more progressive rather than yeah yeah effective. But 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 Keter, you know, say even person when they really um talking about um Casey Palmer hasn't come and really fitted well in the national team, right? And and, and I, as I said it, the two games um against uh, Honduras we played four three three, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was one of his best game. He was more offensive, and if you look, if 
if, if you check his stats and uh, 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 even against USA, you check his stats how many times he lost the ball. So it shows you, uh, I think, what a lot of person might be looking for. And if you look at Coventry, he's playing right be be behind the two strikers. And if they use one striker, he's in the number 10 road. So he have, he have all, everything to go attack. Right? When they're short in midfield now and they play him in, a, play in, 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 in that double pivot to play as a, 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 as a number eight, that's when they have trouble with him. So I, I, th I think, I think that's, that's a point of view because I analyze players different than Right? When you look at the player against Honduras and, 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 and uh, El Salvador, right? the first game against Honduras was a 4-3-3. Then we play 4-4-2 um, four, um, four, four, against El Salvador, against uh, Haiti. The game that we, and that's when they run through the midfield. But when you put, put the player out there to go forward with the ball, you put a lot of defensive um, work on him, which is not a defender. He's not a defensive midfielder. You're not offensively. You're not. You're not get get, get, that, get that from him same way. But we know when he get the ball, he can work magic with it. So, but but if you look in terms of quality, Baker is at the same club with Daniel Johnson, and basically he has relegated Daniel Johnson to a bench, a bench statue. I think I, I, just Laurent is is substituted or another or the other midfield. I can't remember his name, the white guy. Uh, Berger, the guy yeah. from Holland. Yes. It it it's Lewis Baker who is the first choice. So I didn't watch Stoke today. Um did Daniel Johnson play today? No, no, he wasn't even on the bench. Baker was on the bench. You see, so those are concerns that we have in the club. Daniel is up. But I think I think he has to do it. I think I think there's something there with him on the coach. From the game that he missed that penalty, he hasn't come back on the field again. Probably what, like 15 minutes, 15 minutes after. But finally he missed that penalty in the game. But well, he's normally a safe penalty kick taker. Yeah. Looks like he has to move on in the summer. Well, I think I, 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 I think it, it, it will be better for his career. Well, thank you. But um Wes Harding was back on the bench again today, so let's see what's going forward in, 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 in the other couple of games. Um Ipswich last today. Ipswich today. Yeah. yeah. Leeds, Leeds last today. Leeds last yeah, today. Leeds, yeah. <laughs> Say it quietly and quickly. <laughs> so let let's let's got away two one. We bottle it. So let's so let's go on and tap now. Yeah, so it's still tight uh, 80, 87, 86. Where we got 87, 86, 85. Come on, 88. Well, let's say let's, I got 88. Let's say 88. Uh, yeah, two, two points different. Yeah, yeah. So, but you see, it's still, still I tight. Coventry was going to be a banana skin in it because Coventry, if you remember, they have um, played. What you call it bro? in the in the playoffs they were they were they were a, a seconds away from from the premiership yeah yeah right yeah man against this Luton. Mm -hmm. was it a penalty shootout apparently i'm trying to remember it was a penalty i know that casey palmer came in that game and we had to, come, the off. Have to come off and mm -hmm. I, I i think that's i think that that really hurt his career right. going Hurt, no, hurt not hurt his But it, it, it looked like Luton trying to hang on in the in the Premier League. I really hope so. I would well, love to up. I, I, I would, love for them to stay up. I would love to them stay up. Um Sheffield United go down. I don't mind Nottingham Forest going back down. Um but I really want Luton to hang on. I don't know at the expense of who. And I would love to see Coventry come through the um, playoffs. But I don't think Latte Badir is going to be there next year. And it just goes to show to the players in England what playing for Jamaica can do for you, including Leon Bailey. Please note, Latte Badir was on nobody's radar. Two stellar games in defense for Jamaica and the sport in Lisbon. 
and which other countries are, 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 are which other clubs are putting um, Ajax. You know, <laughs> Champions League football. Ajax, right? Two, so two, 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 two mega teams. The Champions League. So, yes, playing for Jamaica does something for you. If you play well for Jamaica. <laughs> That's the big if. If you excel playing for Jamaica, it does something for you. And no, I think I, 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 one friendly and he played one only one of the matches was um an official match. But but because he was 21, though I think I think he got fooled, you know. I think he didn't understand the rule. I think he didn't understand. He went in one window and then that was it. I think I think if, if, if I look at if I look at it if I look at it even um I had a conversation with Chevron and JT earlier about even Chevron Gray. Remember Gray played for the US national team, right? Really? And no, we say with JT and Chevron, I had a conversation earlier that we we're talking about um Gray. I said Chevron Gray play for the US national team. Yeah, right? not not in an official FIFA. Yeah, but, 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 but so, so I was making the point to say that right now there are players there of heritage of um Guatemala and and and, and uh El Salvadorian heritage they don't really want to sit down and wait and say okay I'm gonna have four appearances in, in in the in the winter season when um they have in training camp and stuff then I don't play then, then my international career is finished a lot of them know is really looking to the Central America teams so so it's 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 same because we all know that the US is really looking Germany England Spain, any, anywhere the players come from, right? Yeah, where, where they have where they have military bases, yeah. Germany. Anyway, they, have, they have a lot yeah, of man. half American in Germany because they so have any, there. Anywhere they can find a little heritage, I say American. They after them. So I think. So I said, I think there's something the federation need to start doing. And, and I said it to you, Captain Rick, we had a conversation that they need to have, like just like how Suriname do it, when once the coaches identify a player right they go all out right so the federation is on board where they get their sports passport and everything and i think uh minister of sports and everybody need to be on board for this one so i i have i have written up here about i mean if you're in opposition but i know that if the people national party comes into power i can tell you one of the policy i'm pushing is that for the use of dna as an alternative for citizenship so rather than saying why well, you have one mistake by your grandfather birth certificate in name isaiah and not iraya you just get the dna done and the, because dna is more accurate than a name right on a birth certificate so you can have two options you can present the birth certificate but if, if otherwise from that you can you can provide dna evidence as you do with the united states because when you when you go for a, a, a us uh what they call the the, the, the um the filing filing yeah dna test yeah. DNA use. yeah that's how most man find out in my jacket so i i i think jamaica needs to go in that direction um yes you might find out so some other color jacket <laughs> But I think you can have either or either. But you can't have a man can't play for Jamaica because one letter, one letter, is spe is 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 inaccurate on his grandfather's birth certificate. I don't think that thing. Has that. What, what do you have to say, Shabar? Shabar on asleep or the or the or the or the, the tickers uh, look over him, a supervising. Eh? Yeah. Anything just pass me? If I have a tickers, in it, if I have a tickers come on the screen when they are stand up over him, I'm supervising, you couldn't say a word. They're saying freeze. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I was, I was watching, um, there's a clip I was watching the other day um, when I was in Germany, watching um, Andrew Gray, and he was talking about saying that he wished he had more information on the Jamaican national team when he was younger so and the, and, and the process and everything he said mm -hmm. if it was like no he would he, he wouldn't have england would not have to be in a consideration 
he said the process was long, right? But he, he was, was very, very happy mm. and excited to put on that black, green, and gold shirt. Yeah, but I, re I remember him. Remember Ben Orlando? Remember Ben Orlando? Yeah, man, I remember saying that. So it, it, showed, it, it showed you something, and, 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 and I think that's that's where I think I think right now, I think, and, and JFF, I've, I've said it several times, you need to have a scouting department out now. So once the players out there, so once the player on the Jamaican radar, documentation, deal with everything. Some man tried to, to, to mock me, JT, and I never took the serious last time. I said, the whole of Jamaica should be mobilized to get Mason Greenwood. From Governor General right down to the lead, the woman in my back road right down to the man in my selling half a tree right down to adam stewart from sanders because believe you me the whole economy would benefit in my humble view i believe it because and if mason green would came and he was running out at that match against guatemala i don't believe they have hotel room to spare airbnb full because i know you'd have about i would let me say you'd have about two three thousand traveling manchester united supporters what do you think because I, I said when, when man you when man play um even a pre-season game it's five ten thousand of them fly go like taiwan or fly go um you, US, tour, US, you, US, tour, US, US tour stay away Remember, no? remember, so man, you and man used to go straight to um, Japan and, and, and South Korea and, and China. No? Nobody might come US because they realize the US market is now getting bigger. So the summer tours then come out, come out US mm. and it's closer to them. So this is one so, where I could say I don't believe we should be taking age for an answer. We should not take no for an answer. Some people said don't beg but i think this is one this is the one player we must beg definitely and i can tell i, I tell you say um as per say if he goes back and play for manchester united jamaica is out the door uh it's two things we know that english media kill people right mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what he go if he put a he play for money once an english shirt go on the backlash is going to be heavy it's gonna be heavy Right. So, so a club team, a club team, we more take the take the chance, right? And they're gonna get get backlash same way. But the mm -hmm. national team, and I think I think even 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 the game against Gatafai when he and Ben, ben and Pula have that stunt, I think that was another thing again to look at look at him. And that said, I don't I don't think it's, it's gonna be probably because even persons who are I have friends who are who are, are money, season not it all and. and they, they are split somewhat in back, but as as, as, as as my other friend will say, person are judging the guy, <laughs> right? Him and the lady, they are family, they have their kid. So why would you sit and judge someone, right? They are both happy. But as he said, English media are different because everybody wants to make a hit news now. Okay. So there's something as mad now that you're on the probe. I wanted to get your you are. I raised it yesterday about the under 20. That and then you you I'm just a fan. Right? I'm just, I'm just a hooligan, put it that way. But you are more a student of the game. I was saying with this under 20 thing, I think we have underestimated what we have. And that this is the first time in my support in Jamaica since we had Walter Boyd or Nandi Lowe where we have had a two-striker tandem on which we can build a team. And I am saying, the question to Mr. Speed and the JFF is, will you ensure by all means necessary that come the April window, I don't know, or maybe the, 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 the under 20, next qualifying round Bailey Kadamatri starts alongside Dujon Richards and I want you to assess from your 
more clinical and technical eyes how you see that partnership working and is this partnership the, the silver bullet that we've been looking for um maybe to carry us for the next 15 years well we all know we all know that the talent both players are right um persons are saying that we should um he, he choose england is this is disrespected and as i said as i said cataract the question i ask would he be an asset to jamaica do jamaica need him yes we do we see the talent in him and he can be turn out be one of those mega star right and we see right a young 18 year old who's bullying seasoned professional defenders in this in the championship and i think as i said coaching staff at the under 20 have to really go to go out and really go out after them and let him know guess what under 20 is one but you're also a future seen internationally you have been called up already for the for the national league but we see so you have you have, you have to have a picture with, with Selman and, and, and a right i think he and whisper we do wonders there um do they compliment each other yeah, we probably basically play off the left. Um, Bailey's out. It will be the will be the number nine. But playing for Jamaica, playing for Jamaica. Um, Whispers come on in the right hand flank. Right, right, right. I'm talking about somebody's left footing. So, when I'm looking to the Olympics in 2028, and then. You would have Bailey Kalamadi, Dujan Whisper, and Kahim Dixon. That seems frightening. Well, that's I remember the other talents out there as well. Or no? no, but even with all the other times, I'm just talking about who have passport. You're we'll not looking for another. Pika. No, no, what no what I'm saying. Um even this young stuff I'm used, Tariq Scott. I, I don't know much about him. You'd have to school me about him. He's another super talented. Because even even when he when I saw him come to play the the, 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 the friendly games for Jamaica against Trinidad, I was like, yeah, this is something you you you, you take out of your hands. Like he has he has he has been around um first team football from same team coming up. At, not a top talent so as i said we, players players are there um i think another young player I, 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 I was listening to andre yesterday i was on the road and you, you, you're, you're talking about um um bailey and, and whisper um the, the the two youngsters that i asked i've heard about them i don't know them i've heard about them i've heard of that one of the calling out with John Wall is that he wanted to include a player from Ajax and a player from Bayern Munich who were in his 20 man squad. And that's caused the problem. The rift. Who are these players and, and what you can tell me about them? Uh, Janeiro is, is, is I, I think, I think Janeiro would be more be the one like the midfielder. Um, just one, just one, a, a, a tournament with Ajax last week as, as well. Who look me feel a box to box? Um, Welch was, I think, he, he I think he, he and Welch were really, if he's if, if he's available, he, I think he and Welch were really this midfield on a different level, very technical, will go in forward defensively as well. I you know it's coming from Ajax, so the technicality is going to be there. But a, a, a lot of person um we rave about um young wedge came in from from late night. I think if you see both of them play together, then you know that we are on par and we we, we we be looking good for the future. So who, who are, you said there were two players at Ajax. Yeah, there, there, there's there's a different the bowman. I I I I don't I, I don't I don't really see him see him see him here as yet. What's his name? Let me give you a full name. And they are in the under twenties. 
Um, under 17, under 18, actually. Under 18, okay. Let me, let me go for the other phone. Let's say, well, I think I'm going to score point. But I, as I said, I think I think we I think we have the talent here to really compete. But we have to also remember that US is there, um, Panama is there, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. so Honduras. So it, it, it's gonna be really really really. Um, I just hopefully we get a favorable draw that can take us to the quarterfinal and take it from there. So how do we see these these threats um in terms of the other teams who are there? Who do you think would come out of the group? And this is that's not that's without without your heart. This is your. No, that's that, 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 that's why that's why I'm saying for the other twenty. I think grouping grouping is gonna be the, the job. Oh. The job. Next one. Oh. Okay. 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 Yes, yeah, so I, I said the grouping is, is is gonna be really something though to see you. Oh, or we or we move forward. If you if, if you can don't get in a group with Mexico, uh, USA, mm -hmm. the two big boys, I think you'll be more confident going to, going to that group. Okay. Because I wasn't seeing Gyro in the um Ajax on the eighteen on transfer market. That's why I was asking who the players are. Let me hold on. Okay. But let me see who is in there. What the chat is saying. So this business about um Richard King being able to be a starter in a lower. Let, let, let me let me just help you. Ethan Pinnock is a starter, and Brentford are in the lower half of the table and richard king not in eaton pillars class the bottom table the bottom team sheffield united mason holgate um look at their um yeah he, 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 he started now he's starting from from 11 from, from the 11 ever ever so right? no he was it was it was just a so time where no, he, he, was was on loan. he was on loan yeah um, yeah still right. alone i should feel at... so unknown so 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 look here you i i think mr speed is delusional right because that's a player who has a boat five, six years of, of, of first team experience. Right. Um Jack Robinson is 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 um is a fairly um what you would call it now um experienced defender at center back 30 years old and although he's injured um john eager the republic of ireland international and you have austin trusty the u.s international that's all, yeah. <laughs> right and, and anil ah, ah, ahmed Podojic, who i think is bosnian if i'm not that's incorrect that's bosnian, that's bosnian said the back so who the hell are you starting ahead of bro and that's the worst team in the league that's the worst team in the league so i think we have to readjust i i i, I... Yeah, sir, people we, we have to remember the, the level of talent out there and that's why i tell a person say, when a person even make a premier league bench he says something right because mm -hmm. You can go and get the best players out there. When you see a player make a, 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 a Chelsea bench, a Man City bench, a Man U bench, that shows you the level of talent and he's been doing something good in training. It's right? To make a bench. bench. So sometimes when people say players are bench players, are... no, but I'm saying, no, what I'm saying to you is that, Travis Paseo, is that when a trustee is a fringe player in the US team, he is, 
don't uh, like we argue with them on this out with 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 with, with them there. I'm saying to you, it's a Premier League team, player, it's a Premier League starter. Premier League start. So, so, thirty games he has played, twenty-four. Twenty-four games of thirty, starting sixty-seven percent of the time, one two-thirds of the game he start. So whether he fringe in America, you know what I mean. So you 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 um you you there. And he was at Arsenal. He he was at Arsenal. He transferred from Arsenal to Sheffield. Um, yeah. To Sheffield, right? I'm seeing I'm seeing here he moved he, he moved for um. Move for, um wherever, no, Colorado. For daily sick. No, no, he moved from Colorado to Arsenal. Yeah, cause he, 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 he was a affiliated for Union, then he left to Colorado. Yeah. Is that? Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, is that is, is a good look at the person? Might but say yes, he is a, is a good defender. Six million dollars for him. Is, is okay. anybody paying six million dollars for Richard King? Richard King went on a, on a free loan to, to, to Iceland. So, so stop it, stop it. Is our player, yes, and we have to big him up, but but we, we can't get our delusional. No, I don't. I, I don't think that. I don't think. I don't think that um the EP, the JPL has regressed. What I think has happened is, I think the coach served it up best. If you have any talent, you are going to be. You're not going to spend more than a season, two seasons in the JPL before before you're gone. And and, and agent, agent, agent have, have, have a big thing to do with you know, Ketera, because if you don't have an agent who renew and have, have the market for you, it's going to be very hard again. I'm, I think it's getting better now. Most of the players are, are signing with, with agents who can really take them out. Right? If if you look at where football is right now, um, right, we see Saka and Satchel, um, Duncan McKenzie, these guys left high school and get a transfer went overseas the same way. And, Right, don't come back. What is happening with Satchel? Um, he's doing okay you now. Um, yeah, um, but he's fighting for his place in uh, at his team. They, they, they lost this morning, three, three, two came off the bench, he, came he, on the other day, and had an assist as well. So, I think his, his development is going the right way. I look for another season for him in Slovenia for him to kick on from that. Um, don't come back. He just came off from injury. Broke, broken foot, so he's another talent out there again. Okay. Is, the is good good thing, I think the good thing the cataract and and first my uh, um there are countries where they can get playing time, and that's the good thing about it. Still fifteen matches, but, but we don't. I don't see the assist being registered. It says no goals and no assists. Pass is now last game in the one game before today. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, but then I asked, so how would he not be in a 60 man squad? And Monday in a USL 2 next generation, which is, which is the third tier now. You don't think that something is wrong with the selection of the 30 man, the 60 man squad? He's gotten one assist. You are, you are correct. I, th- I think I think, I think think it'd be harder for him because you have other players out there. Um... That are really doing better than him in, in, in Europe, and they weren't a part of it either. So, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying, he, he, well, they have him playing center forward now. He, he, he yes. wasn't a center forward out in Jamaica. Was he a, a and, you know, you, you know, he was skinny, and he's he's getting look, 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 about you know, the muscles are coming up. So I, I I think I think when you see a sixty man squad, I I I I I don't think they want the players for the, 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 the where again with Carter, Thomas and them man. I don't think they have the space for them, brother. Um, I think yeah. I know some names that some names yeah. that are in the data they just scratch them on. Yeah, but can we have to well, have, 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 um, have to be frank sometimes like that. I think some players name just go 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 in a pool. Um you might find five or eight players that name in a pool that 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 you're really not even looking to see. No, but 
what does it say to the man who's out there who is like a satrail, like a Ziminis? Um, I haven't checked up on Ziminis later, you know, like a my little ball. I haven't checked up on him lately. Like, like, what is he been up to? Um, but these you that, that are in, in, in Europe. I think next year will probably be a, a, a breakout year for next season will be a breakout season for Ziminis. I, think I, so. I, I, I place a lot of faith in him, but no doubt yeah. what he, he's in the fourth tier. Where is it alone, right? I don't know. Um, Junker Circle, isn't that the club he went to? Um, circle, but, but he, he's that young circle. He, 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 he was playing for the for the under twenty one team. Oh, so he, it's, a, it's a lone move. Is it a lone move? Fourteen games, three goals. No, he moved from Mount Pleasant to Junker Circle. But, you know. Let's see. Let's see. So, the one them big up themselves. Um, always a pleasure to talk with Marlon. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, you hear me, Katarak? Oh, hear you? I, I'm, oh, hearing you now. Yeah, we have a man. You don't cook soap. <laughs> no man, it's me happy. Yo, put me daughter to bed and stuff. Let me go, let me go, let me go. So it was blessings. Um, and me I listened to one man. Um, and me like the angle with Katarak um coming from, and me like how oh, you just uh, bring clarity to everything. But my concerns are like Marlon. What I rec recognized yesterday is that us as fans on YouTube, we want. We want things to happen a specific way, even though it's the right way. The JFF just doesn't see the way we see it. Like the obvious, like Dujan Whisper, Billy Kadamatri. We might go and ask Jerome Wait right now what he thinks about Kadamatri, and he might tell you, tells you that, listen, I need to pick up the scouting reports as I'm still doing my, my, my course right now to get my license in time to make sure I get this right. Yesterday, Mr. Speed tried to explain to us that he's getting his license now. Oh, and they license, you know, they say the Kanka Kof. They say Kanka Kof, um, so then some Kanka Kof, um, instructor was there. So he was, he, he was part of a group there. So he just finished up yesterday. All right. That's perfect. Because Jerome Wade was with the national team. He only got one game. So they must have saw talent in him from early on. My thing is this more than is how the integration is going to work. We understand they have a quota system, but getting the right players that's left the best talent from overseas and the best talent from the first round. I think that's the key to qualifying. You know, get the best talent. It's going to be seven people from the quota system. And if the no, coach... But, but, but when I speak, I speak, the coach can say that he needs seven, all right, seven, seven is there, right? But he said, if the coach can come here and said, guess what? They have five players, they're overseas, and they, they can be a part of it. Right? They have a pass off on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just hope they get that right. Because if we go into it where the, my, the, my concern is this more than that, Jerome Wade believes in his ability as a coach and just believe he can just pick mostly local players to get the job done if it uh, works uh, then that's a great plan but yeah. statistics think, shows I, I, it doesn't I, work i, I think so and, and and it's it's, it's something else because i think he'll be exposed to players who are coming from a more advanced coaching system right mm -hmm. development everything so i think it's gonna be first for him mm -hmm. right I, I he was assistant to tapa right so i think no but when you're the man or having a pool of talented players Right, for you to choose the best 21. So I think as as as, as I said, um the players are there, but it's also again the players that that that, that fits. So mm -hmm. I think he has to analyze the players. I think training camps are gonna be, be, be very necessary and uh, uh friendly games for you to assess them. Because we all know that the, the game don't play on paper. Yes. Not at all, not at all. So um as as, as Mercator talk about talking about um Kalimatari and something. 
both how both of them will function. I said Whisper is a winger, so I think he will have the free role to be up and down. As yeah. person yeah. saying that we, we shouldn't be talking about Calamari here, but as no, I said to Katarik, he will be people. asset to Jamaica. We're not listening to those people. He can be asset to Jamaica, so even that's he's why an he's an asset to Jamaica. I'm I'm reliably informed, or uh, let me say reliably, I'm informed that we can look to see the player in the if if called up in the uh, world. But Kater, even 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 had a player that was called up for the under nineteen team, he's another top talent again. Who's that? The one from Spurs. I, I didn't I didn't know who was who was that one. Me feel I'm um, Terrence. He has his Jamaican basketball. No, but he is another player that, that name was being mentioned. Hold on, let me see. England on the 19 squad. And they're using to play right back. Yeah, they're doing a lot of madness there. Yeah. So it is yeah, and, 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 yeah, so every time I play, I want to do so. So it's it's about getting the players, putting them on the field. So you, you might be a forward and end up playing playing uh, right back or left back. Mm-hmm. Right, we start, we start, we start with, with Lee Kazi from from the alternative team where he brought in five right back. Yes, yes, yes. I forgot that. I forgot that. Right. I totally, forgot that. I totally forgot that. Totally, totally, totally forgot that. So he he's, he's a top talent. Okay. Yeah. I've heard him mention before. When you look at his team, you know. Um, the England on the 19. These are some names that jump out to me. Um, the some names that jump out. Let me just get a zoom on this so that I can be able to see it correctly. So I'm going to get a zoom. But I, I think they I think they're going to have more problems. I think Guard Southgate is setting himself up for more problems because I believe that you see this thing now. Where you're you you're trying to go to battle with, with, with Jamaica. You have other people, you have other people. You have Nigeria and Ghana. And and, just and I have people. Ireland the same way. And Wales. And Wales and Scotland. So the, the Omari Kellyman at, at, at who, who makes the who is who is who makes the match day squad every week for Aston Villa. He he is eligible. Tyrese Hall, you're telling me about. Um and I think this youth is also eligible. I have to go back and, and take an in. There are two that, that. So, again, this is another Jamaican field squad. You know? Um, it's concerning, you know? Um, they, they, and because I don't like I don't like this man just full of, full of people. You know? Um, if you look at the Anatoly team, right? When you brought in. Um, Hamilton. The player is 20. He brought in Bristol early in the season, a 20 year old player, same way. You cannot play under 20 World Cup. You gotta tell us, oh, your next move is under 21. So they're, they're, they're really <laughs> doing a lot of madness. But then Scarlett at 20, no, no, you still have him playing under 20. So you're keeping him say, okay, your, your next step is, is gonna be the under 21, then to the Cena team. You know that that, that, that that is is so 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 you know I, I don't even know what to say. I, I, but I, 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 I saw like, the ball his face. I was like, it, it, this is like scamming. Cause you're taking a man who's twenty one playing under twenty. This is weird. You have some message here, Taylor. Yeah, that's as it. <laughs> they listen to you, and it's. The, the team they have so they they're saying that even the kid Reed was somebody that people were expecting better performances from, but then they say he's not playing in position, he's playing out of position. So but John Wall was kind of he did the job in the first round. I would want to really know how John Wall feels though about not being the coach of this team. Um, is it a thing where he feels like he put together a good team? I know it's that's been hijacked. I don't know. Yeah, tell me this up my John was better than the truth. Yeah. Okay. Right. What right. is that? Huh? 
You're playing out the most appeal out, out of position. You play Barrett playing left back, right? The man who's been playing left back who ends right, you have him playing him uh, play him up, up the field. Mm -hmm. If if you notice or not, when um when Barry came in the middle, the team looked more stable. Yo, and you're the perfect person to be here tonight, Marlon. So this cute, Johan Borson, him living in Norway, friends with Kira Anderson, huge fan as well. It's real support the other channel. This dude always consistently. He thinks Kira Anderson is gonna be one of the next best midfielders in the world. I've never seen him. So sometimes I'm like, what are what are we missing? Marlon, then Katara can go. Who what what are we missing with the player? You you kinda said him and um John Jonathan Russell squared off today. Johan sent me the game today. He told me the starting lineup. He told me that uh, I think Travante uh Devante Cole started as well. Yes, for started it. Right? Yeah. Yes, so Kero Anderson, because he thinks Kero should be starting in the Jamaican team. I think Kero should be starting in the Jamaican team. But I think Jamaica team is still a puzzle. It's a puzzle that the head coach is trying to fit together, to fit together the pieces. Um, Kero uh, Anderson, uh, what are we missing from what you're seeing at his club to him not being in the team? I think, but, uh, um, but remember, no, people um, assess international football different from club football, no? mm -hmm. right? I think international football is always a, ta a tactical battle, right? Mm -hmm. So as, 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 as we say, a coach will basically come and say, guess what? We're going to play Trinidad. We're going to use three strikers on, on the field, right? But you're going to play El Salvador. You're going to use two holy midfielders because El Salvador has a better midfield. So they always assess tactically differently. So um, he's going to be the starting midfielder in the future, right? Mm -hmm. As as we are Keter, we're saying that um, we're, we're talking about having having the, the players. And as we mentioned, John Russell, I, I, and, I, and I said it, when John Russell play in that midfield, and some of the time he doesn't start, you have to, you have to, you have to watch it game and analyze. When they play a double pivot most of the time, he doesn't start there. When they play a single, he's the one that played as a shield. So he controls the flow of the game for them. And if you're watching the game today, JT, how composed he's on the football. Right? A mm -hmm. person will always say that he's slow, but once you're not losing the ball, right? Yes, you're going to need the speed to recover. But when you don't lose the ball, and same way with Rave about, about Ravel, I think Jerry also have that composure to take the ball and use the same like Ravel. He's good going for the ball, passing it. Picking up in the pocket as well. But I think when they put him in that double pivot, because even, even last night I was watching about when he made his debut against um, Qatar. And that game, he was all over the field. He was he, he was very, 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 very mobile going forward and back in the defense, same. But because he doesn't put in those last ditch tackles and everything, so person might look at him different. But the whole point is, and I've been kept saying this, and I listen to Grant and he says it. If you're making tackles in the midfield, something is wrong. It means you're either not reading the game because you're supposed a CDM is supposed to make more interceptions than tackles. Yeah, and if you if, look, 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 look at the base of them, if you go there and look at a Rajri, right? Rajri doesn't make that like a tackle, he takes the ball, he controls the flow of the game, he intercepts when he needs to intercept. Although, although his team always have the ball 75% of the time. But if you look, if, if if you if you look at the players, um, the out and out CDM, the Casemiro is the one who do that tackling. If you look at him, Rajri, and compare um, Enzo Fernandez, CDM who's no more playing as a box to box more than a whole in midfield like a Saiso so is there. Even in Liverpool, um, the Japanese, he doesn't do a lot of tackling, but he pick the little pockets and pick up the ball. So it shows you when you have tactical players against you. And I, and, and, and I said it, person might say, um, Casey Palmer, when you're playing the name and low, who is not that tactical, that technical with the ball, when he get it, he's going to look for the quickest pass. But when you have that composure, and I think, I, as I said, I think going for, I, I think Agamson I, I, I need to really assess it from, from a coaching standpoint and what is what to benefit the team, especially playing in the system, in the system now. I think John also we, we, we strive very well in it. 
But when you come up against um, other opponents, yes, you're going to need aggression in, in there. Probably you, you, you go for a, a, a day, man. Or, but if you want to control a football game, I think Russell, Russell will be a key part of it. We saw what he did in Mexico, even against uh, St. Kitts, how, how he was composed there. But personally, I'm going to say that he's slow and he doesn't tackle. As Katar can say, yeah, coaches always say when, when you have to put in a slight tackle, that means uh, something is wrong. Slight tackle should always be your last option. The, the truth of the matter is, if you're tackling, it means that the player has, the attacker has reached the ball the same time as you. Yeah, you're late. Or, the, uh, uh, you're late. Late is the word you want. But remember, no, in the old years, there's a slight, slight tackle. Is, 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 is a, a game-saving tackle, no? Because the, the, the issue I understand is that if you are beaten in that slight tackle, your whole back line is then exposed. It's straight in on goal. Okay, right. And listen. Mm. But as, as I say, still, I see him... I see him as, I, I, he he's gonna be a top player. Um, I remember when I saw him the first time playing. Um, Cataract and Devon was telling me about him. Saw him playing in in the under eighteen for, for Charlton. I think it was a, a, a under eighteen FA Cup. And I look at him and I I said Devon, the 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 body mass how is made up and everything. I said yeah. Right, we we didn't get to see him in. in why is in why is he not getting more? Why is he not getting more playing time at his club? What, what more playing time you want to make it? He's starting. No, but yeah, he's, he's not starting possible. every game. He's not starting no, every but, game. When, no, but when you have a young well, sometimes, player, so, you sometimes people play. have knocks. Sometimes people have knocks. They don't want to risk him. He got a knock today again. He came off. He will come here. Come here. I was saying. But know, okay, talk. Right. Even, even listen, Kevin is with today. Even listen, Kevin is with today. Kevin is basically he's gonna be a top player. And the other player there, I'm watching again. Terry Campbell. He's another young player again at, at Charlton. Charlton, there's a school of Jamaican players there. Well, that is true. There's a school, is a school so of heritage that. Jamaican players there. And the, 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 the biggest one is out injured. Who is that? The, the big giant striker. Miles. Miles Heppelite? No, man. Auburn. Oh, right, yeah, Devon has a lot of time for him. I, 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 I'm not sold at him. So, so you, you were talking about oh. Kara Anderson, total play, 21 mm -hmm. starts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So take it back. Take it, dial game. it back. Dial it back, no, bro. This is for the whole season? Dial, for, is this his 2024 20, season? Yeah, bro, dial it back. Dial but, it back. Oh, Johan, so apologize he's, to the he's, baller. He's, Hold on he's, up. Make it okay. apologize to the baller. Dial it back. And okay. then see. I, I first season, I know just J T. And in first season, remember I said, remember I said he wasn't playing like, year. like Prem Tuna. He had, had a few games, but I'm first full season. This one. First full season starting. Right. Scoring and frequency, goals outside. Yeah, but um, this but season is. I want to know how live this is. No, because no, I'm just. Brother, it's in twenty-one total played. Um, started twenty. Yeah, but 21 games is half of is, If the season was to end and he didn't play anymore, he would have started for half the games. Yeah, the 38 yeah, games in the is part of the games in the season, sorry. And he's getting okay. 80, he's averaging 80 minutes per game. Yes. Okay, so, so he said something. Is, is, yeah, zero team of the week, two goals, expected goals, zero. Scoring frequency, 842 minutes. Goals per game, 0 0.1. Shots per game, 0 0.7. Shots on target per game, 0 0.2. He has to get those numbers a little no, bit. No, he doesn't better. have to do it. He doesn't have to okay. do it. Uh, but you tell me, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And again, I'm going to beat you like a slave. Oh, God. You ready to dance about Kaim Paris? Right? Let me call you Paris. Kai, Kai Dixon. Walter Berg esque. Kai needs to play a three game or six or seven by now, hopefully. And then you are you are dissecting a player who's playing 
big man foot. Oh, man. yo, he said Anderson has started nine out of ten. Need rest after Jamaica trip. Yeah, this uh okay. No, All but right. but how, how how coaches integrate a young player into a side is not the hand them starting 40 games for the season. But is it say but 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 even even call the 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 same way, are the same thing. Same thing. He start a score and then bench him the next game. And you might yeah. say yes, but you have seen the player, you have seen his player same way, play, in play a full 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 eight, eight or something minutes score in the game. Right? But at the same time, you have, you have to see the player the same way. Mm -hmm. And but, cause, cause even Omar just so Omar just so does when the season started at Ipswich. It was like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, come on, 25 minutes, 15 minutes, finish out the game. One start, play 60 minutes to come off. So the players are young, so they have to use them timely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know he's and he's getting a good opportunity there. Um his friend Johan there is cons uh thinks he's gonna be one of the better play uh players. So and his heat his heat mat looks really good. You can see him getting back in the defensive zone, but he gets back on at an angle. I don't know, is he not operating? Um, deep they play no, no, JT. When they play, they, they play. Um, when he plays in the double field, he played, he played more, most like mostly on the left hand side. Okay, okay, right. All right. Um, but anyway, in Coventry, Coventry, um, normally be the one on the right hand side. But the last couple of games, he has been more like a number 10, they're trying to use him. Yeah, this youth watch all of the, those games. I don't get to just check out. I don't just get to check out these games. Well, sometimes on a JT, sometimes if, if, if it's not a top Premier League playing like a Saturday morning, I'm, I some championship, I some League Two, and that's why I tell you, the other day I was taking a good look at um, Corey Adai. I think if I like once he get his paperwork paperwork forward, I think he he might be a part of that goalkeeping pool. Mm. The man that does some Donovan Ricky's thing, I call it all. You're winning 4 0 and you keep against him. You make him debut yet? No, man. I'm going to play against, um, play against the Catalonia. Yeah, um, Catalonia. Okay. He has, a, he has a younger brother as well. Yeah, you yeah, tell him, did, him did he at Denmark one at a time, right? Yeah, yeah. In, in um, yeah, yeah, he did like the second what? division or something. Mm hmm. So he's, he's you say he's um back in what championship or league two or what? No man, league two, league two. What he started. So, but what I'm saying, the guy has been one of the top goalkeeper there. Okay, so then, but he has to just make the moves up to the ranks. Um, for us, like Jamaica is just loaded in goalkeepers. You have um the other kid um wait another good goalkeeper. I would love to see him make a move out of the USL. I think if he's showing that he's a quality keeper like that at the international level, I would love to see him make a move up. I and mean, that's another thing. I would have loved if Andre Blake would have made that move to England or the Bundesliga. Because I think in Germany they respect good goalkeepers. That was, that was five years ago. That was five years ago. I think yeah. from, from the fifth time in this reality is thing to go through at that time because of ranking and everything. I think no, all I see. I think I think he was just comfortable in Philadelphia. I think he has family there. Never mm -hmm. one. Because I think it was Scotland he had a move to. Both him and um Low, David Low, mm -hmm. um, were wanted in Scotland. I think David Low them third up them wasn't impressed. Yeah, by him. Even, but, 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 even last year in World Cup and um they were mentioned of him about Celtic and everything, but Mm -hmm. I don't think at the time, if, after they come here, I don't think they would have wanted to go Celtic to be pay second figure to, to Joe Hart. No, I think, I think, I think, yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Jamali Wait mentioned with um Putnam Hotspur. Or was that just people chatting? I was stuck. I think, I, 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 I think, I, I think as I keep asking on JT, like, you want to play a week in, week out. Right? Mm hmm. I think as a player, you want to play week in, week out. And yeah, it's I think, good that he's playing. Yeah, yes. But what, what, what do you think about for Jamaica? Why, 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 
would you ever would you start him in a Jamaica team? I would. I would. I think I think Jamaica does much better with our counter attacking football when Jamali Waite is in goal. I think I think the leadership of the back. I think the leadership of the back I don't get it from him there like like Blake. I, he, he, he's not that vocal as, as Andre Blake. So General, this. you would drop Andre Blake. Why do you love to use that word? I'm saying when he starts for Jamaica, his use of the ball is a hundred percent better than Blake. He throws out, he he, he rolls out. No way, his distribution is, is good. His distribution is good. And and, and even I, even, even, Kato, even I, I think I think right now we have a good set of young goalkeeper coming up. Um yeah. not, not not because he played for my team. I, I from, from the first day I went training I saw him playing there. Um Chaco and Davis at one present I said yes. Top of headache hello. You know. Then um Chambers broke his foot and he um broke his jawbone at the same time. So he didn't came into Mount Pleasant team until the last part of last year. But once he came in, he has been that number one starter. But it's the same thing again though. He went to international duty and Chambers went back in the goal and clean sheet his last three games. So I think we, we have some very, very good young goalkeeper called Cannabis Clark there, same way. Um Hebert seemed to be one for the future as well. Um paying attention on him in, in, in MLS Pro. So we I, I think we'll look at goalkeeper for the future. But I think I, I think right now. If you're if you're if you're mentioning Alma Knight and this player, I think Kalai uh, Adai will be way ahead of him right now with his level of performance. Yeah, I I don't think that goalkeeping is is gonna be an issue. And yeah, the, the keeper he he did make his debut for um Jamaica and it it was a game that we I think we got about six goal score against us, but it was just an onslaught. From a well drilled Catalonian team. Even if they weren't well drilled, they had the real they had good quality players. Um but, from but you, you know, remember said to them, when you go to Catalonia to play Catalonia, don't think I feel say you, you find some pub ball that come play. Catalonia, Catalonia and Bash, especially Bash reason yeah. where most of the players don't get a get a chance to be a part of the, 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 the Spanish team that much. Because mm-hmm. most of the Bash region players them. They're not the highest quality, but when you go there, you're gonna you're gonna play football, mm. right? A, a, a lot of the powerhouses from South America, Brazil, they go play against them. Argentina, sometimes the same team, um, Colombia, all this in Chile. When they go, it's it, 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 it's it's a head to head thing. Okay. Yeah, but you see, you say moving forward, you're not gonna be moving forward with Damian Low in that position for Jamaica. That's why I brought up the Kira Anderson thing as well. Of well, I, I say still, um, I think I was one person who's crying out for a back three all along. I think the coach see right now. First, I say yes, he's the opponent, but it shows you something. It shows you the stability that you want in your defense line. Um, Ekta is comfortable with the ball. Um, Pinock is comfortable with the ball. I think low low will be the least technical one or or, 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 or the father them in a defensive line there. But what he, he bring the aggression that the others don't have. <laughs> Yo, when you look at um Zofa's score, um when you look at uh, Damian Low, um so when they you know when they have the like the scouting reports and they have like weakness weakness and he just has discipline that's where we're always like if damian low can go 90 without falling but I, you, you don't think he can improve at the, the, all you don't give him a chance the, 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 the discipline uh, guess what and, and, and the thing about it as, as i said it from the first game that he played um against serbia it, it, that's what three years ago right mm-hmm. and we and Ketarak, we all had a conversation that said first we're saying yes the 45 minutes but at the same time when you're a cdm you don't supposed to be following the ball. Your duty is to have control, take the ball, pass it around, shield the back line. When you're following the ball, you're out of place. That's the Congo. Yes, see somebody again to asking about the, the kid. It's an important thing. Let me say this. 
you must keep the shape of the team. That is one of the responsibilities. Cataract, baby, mother, need Look here. Let me even read something in a moment. Yes, you need cash, doctor, and step because your baby mother there and back road that take for the whole of my name. Yeah, 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 nothing. Uh, uh, is is that Seattle? Um, season does start. You know what? Four, 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 four or five rounds gone. Mm. Hasn't get got any game time as yet still. But he's a very, very good player. Very technical player. Going good for a good defender. So, but uh, twenty five, twenty six now. Mm. So I think he will be that that, that, that that part of the pool of left back. Uh, we're not really that stuck with left back anymore. Mm. Before you sell the quality left back, um, John Bell. Hold on, doesn't believe it, Doc. Doc Lastelli, let me just turn to the left. I'm a right, Doc Lad. It's, it's here. It's here. I, I got it. I got it right here. You see, it's here. <laughs> Cataract. Turn around. Flashing the cash. Yeah, it's here. It's here. That's like a half a minute. That's like a half a minute pack. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You, you, you think a soldier salary may earn, brother? You think a soldier salary may earn? Eh? You think the pecking long a barracks? No, sir. Level three thing. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> Marla. <laughs> no, um, JTL, J- 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 I was talking about, um, talking about, um, Damon suddenly, um, Scott report, yes, um, discipline. I said, say in discipline, but I, I said, it's not about get picking up cards or anything like that. Um, positioning on the field is a part of discipline as well. And when a scout is scouting to put a report, it's not, it, the fall is everything. But you, as Ketarak said, when you're playing CD, you make it the shape of the team, which he's following the ball. And so let me assist some clowns. The first thing is Andre Blake, I'm the one who called him Superman. And he's a, he is the captain and he's the starter. I am simply saying to you that his distribution of the ball is poor. Now, if you are a brief washer, Travis, I don't wash my brief. So I'm able to say objectively what their strengths and weaknesses are. And I've said to you, in the times when Jamali Waite has deputized and stood in for Andre Blake, the team hasn't lost anything. It's not, a, it's not a big drop like from Yasso to Yasso. He steps in and, fill, and, and fills the boots of Andre Blake. The, the, his weakness, as, 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 as uh, Marlon rightly pointed out, he doesn't have the full respect of the back line and therefore he doesn't command his back line and doesn't talk as much. But Jamali Waite is a complete keeper. He surprised me. And I put some respect on his name. Well, get it, oh. I'm going to keep on him, but say, me, me, I had a, a, a cry for him, maybe before he go to USL. But say, me, I first want to come and talk about him until he make him debut at this world. Right, but but be, be, I, I guess he's born in England, because they, they say I want to talk about English players. I am able to see the good in a player, and I think that he has come along a big way. Yeah. Yeah. Jamali waits. And as 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 Jay Taylor said, we don't and um Marlon, we don't have a goalkeeping problem for now or in the near future. They still came out faster. Yeah, because he's he totally has, played, played three start, start three. Wrong for Jamaica. I don't think he has conceded a goal, or maybe one. Yeah, against Trinidad, only one against Trinidad. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is- he, he plays bigger than his actual size. Um, he oh, keeps bigger than his actual size. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not the biggest keeper. But, and, and, biggest and that's the thing. Very, yeah. very flamboyant. But I, 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 as I said... The, the, and Marlon, where, what, what I look out for keepers at his um, height is can they make that vertic- um, vertic- like, can- vertical leap? It's called a vertical, vertical leap. Yeah, but I will also want, you know, when the ball, when people say, we'll drop it in the pigeon, like in the 90, like... 
Yeah, yeah so, you see so, certain keeper, your wingspan is important. Um, yeah, Andre man. Blake has that. He has that wingspan that covers those two areas in the goal, which is is not so. I'm always looking with um Jamal Wait uh, with his height. I'm like, I, I haven't seen him got tested in those areas yet. I want to see how he keeps up there. But in front of goal, distributing the ball, he slows down the I'm place. Cross, big, everything. Yeah, he anticipates the game very well. So and the same thing to them. Re 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 remember them. Remember even Navas. When Navas got Madrid, everybody said that Navas gonna succeed here because he's smart. But the guy composure and everything and the football intelligence. Okay, my magic got to a different thing. So so you have goalkeepers who are not the six foot four, six foot five, six foot six, which is what the world is looking for now. Shea given over two hundred caps. 150 something more caps daily, 200 caps for Newcastle, um, Republic of Ireland, or another line of one of the international many, many caps. Hugo Lloris is, is not tall, yeah, six tall, big in body, but not tall. But, not but, tall. but, 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 but even from a madman keeper, no, Anana, Anana, not tall. Is Anana really a keeper? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a son of a good. So there's Anana. I don't I don't know what I'm doing this season. It's very sad for the African brand. Senegal International, is he? Uh, Cameroon. Cameroon International. Cameroon International. Very, very sad he didn't make the transition. Sometimes you have a time with it. But what I want to ask him, hold on, when you're talking about a player, why were he born is, is important. Like we're talking about Jamali Wait and I'm I'm talking about his his his, his positives. In Bana, USA. Well, why is that important? He's a Jamaican international with a Jamaican passport. Which part in Gospel? Which part in Group? Didn't he play Manning Cup? Wasn't that part of the under 15 team that chances to under 17? Then he went to Philadelphia Academy. He and uh, Jeremy Valley and, uh, and these guys. So, 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 so let me let me see again. Let me see this here. Just so Trevor's facility. Just for Travis for sale. Okay. Travis, I bet you I bet you live in a, the one division in our in our West Man and we live right here. Cataract, you see your cataract? You are just biased and selective in reasoning or your reason about football and no, every channel you have. You cutonize no, 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 no. every local band that. players in terms of weakness. For, for, for you, no English band players have no weakness. Okay. I best things in slight bread, you kill them yeah. play. You are, are you are you are you are you see that? Yeah, idiot. You know, say I own JT show, I show alone, a JT alone, tolerate you on YouTube. You know, say that it's about one anyway. You know, say that, yeah, look at because I am out because I am out. That's a your problem. I say, I come here. I have big see that by you too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are you not know, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I but that is that a real life. Because when we, 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 we come and man in five school, Cataract! Oh. Cataract! Stop hiding yourself, Stephanie. You stay away from the PNB. Cataract! Yeah, you see, it's on to you. You see how you attack and everything we do in public and talk, brother. We don't hide from attack. You know, 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 you Look at you. You don't have shit up your world. What? You never come to be invited, man. You never come to be invited, man. But why pop? BPLP me in full to the brim. Every comment in a orange. And you can your yard come and did it for early. You understand? So you can't run into me, brother. You can't run into me. Me invite the man, I say, come early, me come and string up his song and I'm just easy back. Ah, it's a, all the buckle of rum done and we don't see it. So I don't want to go buy us and go, I, I was some brief and he said, I, he, he, Taylor, I am, I am fearing my criticism. Some man, they don't want, you, you can't, you cannot be critical of a player about every player from England. That is, that is played out. We're talking about Jamali Wait. I have, I have, if, if, if Marlon still here, Marlon run from them, them, them war there. No, it, it, 
Yeah, they, 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 we, we, we were critical about the, the, the um, Kanaya Boys Clark um, in the under 20 and what he brought to the table and what he didn't bring to the table. So we have been, we, we, I, I am critical. And if, if you if you don't want to be critical and you feel like, because you can't come down. Because you know my back, brother, you know my back. Too. That's why you turn your yard when cataract is in town. Okay. So back to what you were saying. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. So, I, I'm sorry, Nati Congo. No, I, I didn't say he was born in the UK. He, 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 I knew him here in Jamaica. So I didn't even know he was really born in the United States, to be honest. So I, I, I thank you. I thank you for um, giving me the information. Because as I said before, I don't know everything, Marla. We don't know everything. So if a man can enlighten me, I, I take the enlightenment. You understand? So thank you, Nati. But I wasn't, I wasn't referring to him. I wasn't referring to him, sorry. Because I, I thought he was really born in, 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 in Jamaica, to be honest. Because when Marlon and I were speaking about him, this is this is years ago, Marlon. What's up? Yeah, Marlon. A, a years ago. So Before we play USL. Yeah, so when I'm on this run come in. You know what I mean? Yeah. To disturb the whole equilibrium of the thing. So I'm saying that we have a good board of goalkeepers. I guess Kemar Foster is born in foreign because I believe Kemar Foster... Um, hasn't really put a foot wrong for Jamaica. No. Um, you know, so you've spoken about Shaquan Davis. Again, I like to see a player for more than one season, to be honest, before I I, I, I extol benefits. So well, uh, I think uh, you know, I see what I analyze him for in coming, I don't see him in put a foot wrong. And and, 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 and I, I said it to the military, I said anytime the coach, the goalkeeping coach seemed He's going to be a part of a team and he was there part of a national team and i think he's getting better especially being around a better coaching staff and seeing around andre blake and, 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 and even watch even watching the jersey and stuff right so I'm, I'm looking for him to really kick on from that still probably another season before because you know that goalkeeper doesn't really get that move that fast unless you're an elite goalkeeper yeah. no i want to clarify something i just wanted don trevis pursue your dance Jim Dandy, Jim Dandy was one of the biggest flops in a Jamaica shirt. I said it. Now go home, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Am I correct or not? Did Michael Graham, a.k.a. Jim Dandy, a.k.a. Reno, um, strike at them time the Reno people used to come out town when I first came to Jamaica in, in, in on the key and truck them. We used to see the supporters them come at all. What was Jim Dandy's record as a as an international striker? I'm not talking about the statistics, but in terms of impact. Marlon. Well, as a uh, as a Premier Premier League striker, you so dominate, and you never do it on the international stage. Exactly, it was it was T. Got Davis, um, Roger Creed in the time there, and yeah, but even Chippy back then, no, no. who the matter about now, right? So, so you, you just come here, if you come perplex somebody, he was he, he is what you call for me, he was the quintessential club baller for me, right. Quintessential club ball. Yeah, remember you have some player who excel at, at club level and uh, international. He was no German Tuffy Anderson. You know what I mean? He wasn't. So don't don't come here. I'm um, trying to to re reinvent the wheel. We all know. He, he was no T. God Davis, but they had a um, Paul Young. He was no Paul Young, but I see somebody Eagle Republic giving us some information here. Eagle Republic yeah. saying Andre Blake, Philadelphia Union, Jamali Waitel, Paso, Korea, Dai Crawley, Tonkin, I Boss, Clark, Redding, Chukwan Davis, Mount Pleasant, Jaden Hibbert, Atlanta. That's a deep pool. 
Yeah, you still have, you still have, you, you still <laughs> came on faster. I'm, I'm all night, same way. I'm all night. So, so even, when you, even when you type in the number of characters that you're allowed, <laughs> you, you exceed it. Try typing that with CDMs and see what happens. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> <laughs> so, the type Lambert and stop. No, yeah, John Russell. John yeah, Russell Lambert. And John and yeah. Cody. And then you stop. But you know, like, it, it, what, 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 even, it, you take a look at it, so even the league, you take a look at it right now. You don't, you can't see a team, you see, that has a player that you could say, you take him and mold him for the future. Let's see there. I, I, I mean, I like, uh, uh, um, I like Andrew Vanzi. He's old. What, he's 32. Right. I'm a good coach. I like Andrew Vanzi. I've always, I've always believed that Andrew Vanzi. Um, I think I think Angli will have would have really made that push of making his debut for Jamaica at 19, but hasn't 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 gone on. Mm -hmm. I think he, 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 the progression we're looking for from from Angli hasn't gone on. No, 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 he was certainly disappointed in the CSC games. When he yeah, was and, like and, and, cover. and it has gone in the season same way. Yeah. But then a man I'm going to tell you, because in Bali, Jamaica, you can't criticize him and you know, point out his weakness. You know, you know, my new name for, 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 for Travis Pussy is Super Cleaners. Just wash me your clothes, man. Just wash some man clothes and I'm not nice. Because you're not, you're, not, you're not analyzing the thing. You know, you're not giving an analytical discourse. Um, Marlon, who would you say, and I wouldn't hazard to, 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 to make a pronouncement, uh, what, what about the suit? I don't think he's at Arnett anymore. Got you. He, he's transferred. Uh, right? In the more present, um, but more present so stuck when it comes to the central of the park. Uh, Tevin Shard, you know, Duxley. Um, Isaac hasn't kicked a ball all season. Um, seem to be fully fit now. But um, he, he look okay against Trinidad. But um, I don't think he has light the league on fire this season, playing at the top team. But I I, I don't see him there at international level as yet. So who, who would you identify as the top CDM prospect? We have two players who are like team, you know, I can't pick out one player. Sad. But Wayne Gordon? When gonna play a play a play a right wing for, for, for mobile. So some man just a call name and I know the player. That's why I, that's why I rate my bridging Marley. They know I go on. Right. And also right now in the league right now, in that to a play a full season so far. I've seen as the best CDM as a box to box midfielder, President you from St. Lucia. For Mobile. He has done it at international level um in the national league for, for St. Lucia and he brought the same the same level of, of of confidence into the league and I, and I think he has really been one of one of his standout players who's playing half a season for movie so if if, if if a man who will play half a season can work on me have him as a box-to-box -box cdm player that really looks good in the league and it on it of um Marlon martin I don't really see them as 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 that IHL well, at that international. Yeah, nice, nice player to watch on on a Sunday, but not an international. Here's right. Travis player, the baddest man on the internet. Travis Pussy or the internet daughters. <laughs> so bad. Um, yeah, Marla Martin, those guys are nice players to watch on a Sunday, but, yeah, yeah, but that's what the quote says. If you are if you have Talent identification, you're going to be identified and recruited out of the JFL within two seasons. Yeah, this is but um looking at this this guy from 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 Veer, um the captain, what's his name? Brown. I like him a lot. 
but he looked more like a box to box wins the ball, but he doesn't put in those big tackles and stuff, which I, I admire that from him. Very, very good going with the ball. But I think he's what, 23, 24, somewhere in that region. What's the name? I think Brown is in the number eight for, for Veer. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, but, this Sunday, I'm going to put the eye out. But he has never been called to no training camp or nothing at all, but I think he, he, he's a good little player. So how, so, but we played against Veer and against Humberlier, the national um, local base squad. Okabe wasn't didn't he impress in the, in that game in that 45 minutes in order to be called up into the camp? That's what, that's what I'm saying. So uh, he played against the local team and so he didn't impress the coach because the coach when they played against Moby, the coach um was saw the player that and said the player he was also who, who, who really stand out and Moby team. He could pinpoint that player. We didn't hear that from the peer game. Right, right. So it 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 for me is a... Uh... Look at Waterhouse, see me Waterhouse. I don't, I don't see that player Waterhouse. And it, 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 it's, a, it's a tall youth. Last season I saw playing that position for Harbour View. Not impressive. Tall, light skin youth. Yeah, man, he's playing centre back. He was the one who played, played centre back in Trinidad. Um, God Stewart. Yeah. I think yeah. I, I think that guy can become a very good defender now if he make up his main car. The Lola Burner using paid forward CDM. I think I think Chris is is a better one out of all of them. Okay. Dark City. Uh, it, it's really a problem. The CDM is really a problem. Too. Yeah, because the, the next CDM and he, um, Dark City at more present is another Saint Lucia again. It's the man that said we must get Saint Lucia to play the Jamaica. <laughs> so, but Kedar, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, we have a team, and, and I think since Austin and Austin step aside, um, we all thought that Lambert would have been, been, take it to front. Lambert would have been, would have been that one coming up as he played, played um, the first Gold Cup, 19 year old, was a very, very good player there, and came back again, 2019. But I think he hasn't kicked on to what we we're looking for. I'm gonna say I, I I wished that just the speed and those interventions that we should have allowed Anthony Grant to transition into and mentor, spend a year mentoring a senior to who would have really come to prominence now. Because we just haven't, we just be just trying people, trying people. I, I don't even know Jordan Cousins. It's, it's, I, 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 it's impressive to me, although you know, I, I, still, I still still the running around. It's fun, but he's just there earning his money. But on them, yeah. Oh, oh, Jay. Oh, boy, Yo, Jay. big up Marlon, big up. Uh, yeah, I got you. Um, Marlon, what the CDM name we play down as uh, Inter Miami, right? That's so we're injured. Free. Free. What? Yeah, but... Free, yeah, yeah, that ball of them in that try remember. Okay, free, free, free. About 24 years old or something like that, right? 21. 21, 22. 21, see it there? Yeah, man. One for the future. That We need to give him a good full season in the MLS. Dre, and I believe that. Uh, what do you say? Three three is a ligament damage, you know? All right, dude. A three, three back to back season up. Because we, we we saw when he was fit the other day when Messi just went there, you saw you saw he play centre back, play CDM, and he was outstanding. Yeah, good. You playing that league cup player, game man. for him. Because anytime you see a player, you no know, go in a contact and, and go down on the field, he start worrying, and that's what happened. <laughs> So you say, so, uh, our look, our, our USA Kevin Stewart, that. <laughs> no, man, you see, well, he's still young. He still have time to build back the ligament and come back still. Yeah, man, 21, man. We need to give him a foot. I feel the same can blossom into a player where we're going to fight over with USA if we know the but first think, chance I, I of fitness him get. I don't, I don't see I don't think so, because US, US, US have the quality in there. Wasn't he in another position there? Wasn't he yeah. in back when they asked me to look at him when i saw a couple of games it was sent back i saw him playing yeah but he played midfield um before yeah, before Bus, Buske started I've not, I've not seen him 
play with you. That's what I'm saying. I saw him play center back. I'm not saying no, you know. Uh, I'm just saying that I didn't see it when, when he was brought to my attention. Center back. Yeah, when, 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 when I know him playing in the academy, he was playing center back. And when um, first season, when he went pre season with, with the first team, messed up the ligament, came back the next season, same way, training, same way. So last last year was was really like a a, a a breakout season for him, and he got injured again. So it's an injury prone baller with uh, tons of potential. If he can get yep. that full, let's see. Think about him young still, so injury are coming in young. That's 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 the thing still. It, 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 international football is not about potential; it's about those who are who are ready and able to create it. You know what I mean? So I, I don't have him there. Um, Jordan Cousins, I have to go look, I have to go look deeper on, on, on Cambridge statistics because, it, it, as it is now, he, he would have played some of the most games because he played 32 games, but he started a little over half of them. One so goal. this is probably most consistent season in yeah. in a long time. This is FQPR. <laughs> A long time. And it's a long time. Well, you know, not my player, really. To, to tell you the God shoots. I, I'm not going to. You know what I mean? Not, I can't say it. Not really my player at all. But um, is he better than what we had? I don't know. My problem is I don't know what his strengths are. Let, let me be honest. I don't know what Jordan causes his strengths are. You know, except he's been, but he's been a long professional. You know, we got no one, no, no one divert too far off the topic. Yeah, but go ahead. real quick, the man them they talk about the potential friend where Peru are lined up against with in a June. Um, over there, it's true, and then confirming the recent opponent. But, 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 but Joe, remember the night and, and Jason Kuna, what, 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 did, what, what did I say in the chat? We never watch it. Where that go on? Eh, no, we are, we are talking about, they were saying about friendly. I said, I think our friendly against Peru or yeah. Paraguay would have been ideal going to the, 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 the Copa America. Yeah, yeah. In between the, them. Yeah, yeah. In, in after, between the after, end of the, the qualifier. Yeah, 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 yeah. But tell me this, because I mean, they look at three points, you know. I look at it as a, a at a financial standpoint. If Peru organize it, yes, we can use the funds. And also, I'm look at it um, an injury standpoint. What if we use the first team players and somebody, a key player going into the Copa get injured? And then also the third, I look at it as using the local base and the uh, USL players, the fringe players, for a friendly for them. So the first thing, remember the court said every week they, 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 they want they 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 they're going to cancel. They're going to cancel it if you try that. As you saw, as you saw, we 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 right. If you try to bring a second string team against them, they're going to cancel the friend. But that's remember, it, it will be a warm up for them, or not. So they're they're looking to get their best team out there, just like us. Give Shamar a piece of it. And so, in terms of injury, it's the same way that a man can go down in the first 10 minutes of the first game of the Copa. You can't, I, I, I don't think you can look at it in that way. Um, but for me, you got to think, you know, Katara, the media backlash, the fans backlash that coach are going to get if they pick up a, money, a game like this for money reasons, and then a player like uh, Damari Gregor who will have injury and out for the entire quarter. Yeah. But that, that is I think, I, is it worth it? I think, I think, I, I think, I think, um, it will be higher quality than the two games you're gonna play because you have two World Cup games. So, for instance, if I put the game like for the the 14th or the 15th, right? So, like six days after your last World Cup game. So, basically, a week before your, your, your first game. So, you're not probably try to polish off your, 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 your starting left, right? So you're gonna come from two record games. So, but my thing, remember, season set, shut down. What? Um, seven more weeks, six or seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, 
championship playoff and US and uh, League One playoff. So hopefully we have we have Casey and and, and, and Latte in the championship playoff. Right. Omar is here as well. So that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, Omar is fighting for automatic promotion. Yeah, well, yeah. can't really say Omar is still now because standpoint for him, it's going to be a long, gruel season for him and him complain about workload for him body and all of them things. Dre, Dre, it was, um, it was, I understand from where he's coming from because. It's his first season. It's the same thing we we're talking about with JT. What we talk about um, here and this, we see just play 21 games. Remember, a youngster coming into professional football. It's not like um, a Bellingham who has been playing since he was 17 playing from um, big man football, right? So he just come on the market, you know. So um, coach have to use it, use him gradually and, and protect him from himself at the same time. So we understand that when you put up, in, but the season finished now. So that's I think this we are chance if. If if you go on, I see him spending another season at Ipswich. You think? Yeah. So if me can say I got Premier League, I mean one pay Premier League. I mean, I'm gonna still prove myself. If Chelsea loan him back out to Ipswich, because Ipswich gonna be in the Premier League now competing against Chelsea. So they they could loan him out or they could keep him. That's why we better find development, but we know Chelsea will run some time. Even so, the same thing I was saying to Katarak about um, Baker when Baker, Baker had his best season um, at, in, in, in Turkey. I said he should have do another season there, but he decided to come back to Chelsea and. So, so it, it has, has to do between the club you know, and what the, 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 most clubs is they have somebody called a loans manager. So, you, yeah. you it's hardly like that you get loaned to the same team because what they try to do is. One, they don't want to get to get too comfortable in a team and then ask for a transfer. And number yeah. two, they try to give you different experiences and different types of systems. But, so but it's Hector, part of your development. I thought, well, we saw it. Remember Hector of uh, Frankfurt? Mm, yeah. Hector, Hector, Hector got loaned to Frankfurt in Germany playing Bundesliga. And I was surprised that he came back to the championship. Yeah, we thought he was going to stay. No, yeah, because the, the, the club is in charge, so the club is gonna send you. The club was interested in him, but they, they um, Chelsea didn't want to let him back to the same, let him back to the same club again. Exactly, exactly. So, so they have a developmental plan for a player. Normally, in in some players, you start like League Two, where they say you get tough because it's a rough yeah. and tough thing, and then you come into the Championship to get refined. Because those are we definitely, we definitely see with, with Dexter as well. Dexter was starting every week, but um, I think uh, uh, they said the development wasn't there. He's playing, and the team was doing good. So you, you, you see him playing at hearts now, where we have said that he, he has really developed better there. His attacking side of, of the game has, has really grown, right? And and we basically see what he has brought to the national team now going forward. I will bam, that one going on, you in, in, a, in a in a in a in a something there. We're in the bottom three right now. Let me look at it. The EPL. Who's not get ready yet? No, the no, the yeah. Spanish, the the um the, the dude right there from over Barcelona. Yes, yeah, Semedo. Yeah. Semedo. But Mr. Semedo, I feel play both sides of the field when they make substitution after them loan um loan out Dexter. So they probably yeah, they, they, have a. They basically they 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 weak when they come to the right back. Yeah, so I understand it. Should I keep him? Some of them move, yeah. I didn't get paid enough money for them said it is that uh, forget him off of the books. Because we're not getting the money. I can't be a player. Hmm? So we never see the move. We never see the necessity of the move. When I recall him, my things for them are gonna keep him for the rest of the season. That was a surprise. And them said him go arts to Scottish. Well, they say they saying he may not get a game, and it, 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 they think that it wasn't good for his development because the team has struggled. But no, I say when they recall him, the things that they're going to keep him at at Wolves. We never um, did I expect them to loan him back out again. Things that they're going to keep him. Okay. Yeah. So you said what? what so you said uh, Marlon, you gotta keep, you gotta take the game, the friendly. Yeah, we'll take it. Yes, we'll take it still. Okay. And you, you, you're, you're going to play against 
one of the teams that will kill with pass in, in, in South America. Yeah, man, 32 rank Peru, man, and a joke team. No, but, but we're, talk, we're, we're talking about a team that keeps the ball as Peru. So we talk about US and Mexico. In South America, Peru keeps the ball more than Brazil and Argentina. So you're going to play against um, some very snappy pass. Mm -hmm. So you're hitting them on the counter. And I, and, and I, think, it's, I, I think it's something that we, we are really good going against uh, for Venezuela and, and um, Ecuador as well. Although Ecuador is different. Ecuador is a more physical physical team, a lot of pace. Not that, they, that, that technical football you get from Peru. Mm -hmm. They're more direct in the attack down the flank through the middle. So, so that so so it, it, it is more than one time, I think, last season, Anthony Grant um, opposed JFF or put out overtures that he would, if he was invited, I think we had, we had a camp before the World Cup. This World Cup he played last year? Yeah, man. Uh, a string camp. That, yeah. Um, I mean, there was another camp here that even if he wasn't in the in the final 23 he would take the 217 start and reserve 220 and 223 six and and coach them up but he, he can't stay at uh, um london and and coach up um i, I think they, they, what what i would think they could do is is, is look at some of the players who are not coming if, if they're not called up the covers the the um, Dante Casanova, Delano Splat, uh, Hayden Rodney at Crystal Palace, and 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 organize a, a CDM camp in the UK for the UK based CDMs. But the JDF, JFF will do that. I'm, I'm sure he will be. Where's Brother Calvin? Brother. We love him, man. Enough. So we are, we are calling him. We don't remember you, Travis. We don't remember you. Yeah, yeah, Travis, I don't mind. We don't remember you. You understand what I say? They must say they run away from Reno, you know. You can't even go around Reno. You get me, I say? And I have a big joke at that. We tell you, say, we, we, we don't have no rate this video. We be invite you for our body. That's cool. Big day. You, 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 you hide in your yard. You understand? Uh, probably you come at the conference and they dress up in a one dress and wig like Dodos when they try to get away. I come at a conference. But this 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 week's EPL, what's the what's the views on it? I noticed that our Jamaican players, some of them are playing less and less in the EPL. Bobby Bobby Reed not starting like every single game. I think full of that's something surprising because every time he goes on the field, he puts a he, he leave a benchmark for him. To make an impact out there. They lost um, today one nil. Yeah. Newcastle. Um, um get, get her, where, where, where think about, you think about Murphy? Who Jacob Murphy? I don't, yeah, I think age is catching I on his side I now. I don't is it, has it he played for somebody else? No, I'm not playing for nobody yet. He hasn't played for Ireland? No, so the Irish, there were connection there, haven't. Unless uh, over that over that weekend, uh, over uh, last window, but I know before he wasn't. Jacob Murphy. Jacob and Josh. Jacob, 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 Jacob. I think I could never find any information on him, truly. Um... I have never been able to get a real man in a... So I would have Isaac Hayden would have to tell me. Devon Porter, make Isaac Hayden tell me. Again, long time I tell you if I make Isaac Hayden link the, 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 the boy, Dan Burner. But baby Jacob Murphy. Um, But but then... Okay. No. That's right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let, let me ask you. Jacob, yeah, yeah, Mur yeah. Jacob Murphy or Reese or Reese Nelson, who would you... Two, Reese mm. has age on his. Reese has 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 age. I think Reese is a better player. Um, 
if, if Jacob, if Reese was in Newcastle side, he'd be starting. Mm -hmm. Go on. So, um, Reese, Reese would be Reese and Demari. I, I put them all them in the same ilk. Jacob, very talented, very good player, very technical, scores fantastic goal as well. I think these two players would have been ahead of him. He'd, he'd have been a dead player, so um, suspension or injury, you know, they have another quality player coming up. It's a 28 now going 29. But for somebody who can come and make an impact in the team, he, he, he could definitely be a, a, one of those players right now. Uh, you know, he's no, he hasn't really been a number, at least quite honestly. Um, where's his brother now? Josh, um, Josh playing with Big Wrigley at um, Oxford. At Cambridge? At Oxford. Oxford, Oxford. Oxford. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that heads up. Really hadn't had had dropped off my radar badly. Oh, God. I think Jacob, I think Jacob Ramsey. So really and truly, the Murphy had just dropped off my radar totally for boss. Thank you very much, Marla. Thank you very, very much. Um, right winger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you put the cat about the pigeons, son. <laughs> you put the, you put the cat about the pigeons. And what? I think, so we say about recent, so that's why I always said the person, we, we say recent, the quality is still there, same way. Jacob is an is, is a additional quality. Let me tell you about some people not understanding about players like Reese and Numanis. I think when they come to Conga Cup, you realize, you think it's easy to come off an Arsenal bench? Eh? You think arena football club at Abo? You think it's arena bench at Abo? The quality and the quality of the no man for arena team could not even nail up the bench to Arsenal. Not even that even take a hammer and nail the bench to no one of that. So 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 when you when you sit down on a bench of that quality, it's not that you're a bad player, it's that you're a good player in a great team. Man, then I forward back in the comment section. So I I I look out for him for the next couple of games. I look out for him. But I I, I don't know if, um Devon would have to tell me if any work. I don't know if any work has started for him. You know what I mean? How, how do you size him up against a player like Omari Hutchinson? Right. Um Omari Hutchinson. Marlon Cotto. So, I don't know. Um, so I kind of go in. Yeah, man, sorry, man. Bridget, Travis, you can't page me none time. Me left come and West Milan and I hide. You know, a woman frack come and meet me. Yeah, I'm asking you, um, how would you rate him up against man like Omar, Omari Hutchinson. That's another right winger. Ahead. Mm. Pardon me? Ahead of Hutchinson. Ahead of Hutchinson. Ahead of yeah. Hutchinson. The two levels where two players are playing. Huh? Um, Hutchinson is upcoming. I think he has, he's, he's, he's a proven Premier League player already. Well, he, he would have been a long established um, Premier League player. He, he went down in the champion. He was down in the championship with them, right? With Newcastle. Um, so, I guess yeah, you have to give you have to give credit. I have to give credit where credit is due. I mean, you can't you can't really say anything other than that. But it's just for me, he's like a Dwight McNeil. You know, just as steady as you go. You know, came up the hard way, came up through oh. Norwich, Swindon. Yeah, man, I, I, I have in my head of Matt Neal same way. No, well, then me and you are like, no, 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 man. Get her. I think, I think, too what I do? <laughs> Get her. this guy, this, this guy, I think, as a creative player, he'll be ahead of Matt Neal. Matt Neal has a bit, a bit of engine over him, two way player. Matney is crossing his picture. Yeah, well, well, there are not, there are not many wingers in, in, in the Premier League that cross like Matney. 
I think Manny might be the best cross in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead them, move, move, move the back door, man. But now look out at no But now look out at no Um, Cataract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I just, it's just a quick thing. I just pop in and just saying something here. Um, I like how... Sorry? Yeah, what going? He did. He did. Yeah, man, everything good. Um... I like how you know we're looking at you know who the possibilities might be for that CDM role that we have been for years. We have always had that. That has always been an issue, always. Because if you remember back in '98, his retirement they literally took Peter Cardinal out of him. He did from but Israel. That, you know that we have always had that issue. But for me, right now, what we have used in the last three or who we have used in the last three matches so far i think he has his passing ability is not where it should be but he has an x factor that some of the other players that we are looking at they don't have that x factor that work rate that is phenomenal that's the only thing i can I can describe it because by doing so well with two games so close together and look at it this way in world cup qualifying we will not have games so close together so for now until we get somebody better i'm sticking with the head of state whenever so, we get somebody in so, so you're, you're using, you are yeah. using pseudonyms hold on you are saying a 43 percent passing accuracy is not a problem I didn't say it's not a problem. I he said, said until, until I mentioned that is a problem, you know. I was very specific. I did say it is an issue. So, 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 so Lido, I, I see the back three, if we use a back three against Guatemala, right? As, and I've come to this. Ethan Pinner on the left, Michael Hector in the center, and Damian Lowe. On the right of the box. So um where where does Latibadia go? On the bench. <laughs> on my bench. On your bench. Okay. Bench. Right, but I'm not the coach. I'm just I'm just cataract sitting at home. You 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 go on the bench. I'm just cataract sitting at home, quaking in my boots, waiting on a page from Westland. And in, in, in my midfield, I would have with no new players added, Joel Latimer and um, for me, I would have, I would have Joel, Joel Latimer and Brandon Cobble. That would be my, my, my. But I, I can see it. Right. The exactly what we're talking about, you know, and that was one of the things that even the coach. Let me just say something here. Even the coach had planned. To have possibly use someone else in for the second game against Panama because he wouldn't have imagined that Low would have been able to have performed so well so close together after after doing all of that work. You understand? But the thing is, he did well. He did well if he lasted, and the X factor, the workload that he carries out none of those two players and they are very good players that you mentioned are going to carry that to the team because the, the commentators mentioned it nobody's going to like playing against him you understand nobody is going to like playing against a damian low like that it, he carries that x factor that i looked at this other player that um is in line to come in and as i said the first thing i'm thinking about is that x factor that low carries and none of them we might get some the good passing and so on but the work rate breaking up the attacks making that other team uncomfortable look here i i am going to work with that for now until well, i get you know, close what, what the other side of the game excuse me breaking up the attack winning the ball and giving it away about what about that part of the game well we need well for me now that's what i need I need somebody else to work beside him, an excellent passer. And then now, 
That's all I need from there. That's all I need. Yes, Somebody but if he, but if he can win the ball and, and, and get the ball to the person beside him, it's okay. But the ball not reaching the person beside him. Well, as I said, that's all I came on to say. That's my little part. For me, I'm working with him for now. Because everybody had said, you know, after when he went, <clears throat> the game, um, <coughs> excuse me, the game that we played um, against Serbia. I remember when people say, no, it's a one-off, whatever. And he didn't, he didn't fail. And so far, we have had two and a half games where he has played and he has not failed yet. So, so... So, I, I don't know how you count success, but I, we are different. Sherman Scott, why would you? I didn't really chat to you, but why would you say no to McNeil? Although McNeil is not interested, but why would you say no to the, 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 the number one pass or the most accurate pass in the entire Premier League? Why would you say no to him? And the other man, tell me why you can't play Hector and Pinup when you played Bernard and, and, and Hector. Well, hey. go ahead. One of the things, you know, that I'm so glad for Michael Hector is also that other X factor that he carries to the team. That from, you know, the passing ability that he has is his top thing. And it is exceptional. You know, it is really good. And I think we, we lost a lot by never playing him in his preferred position all of these years. But yes. he's there now. And what he has done now is created a problem, a selection problem. I, don't what think, that's problem. I think that's the back three. Ethan Pinner, um, Hector in the center, and low to the right. It sounds good, you know. I'm going to be honest. It does sound good. And 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 then you have Latimer there waiting in the wings to substitute if, if, if no gets a card. Deshaun Bernard as well. All right, let me say something here. It's going to be controversial. Latcha Badir has a wing back. That's where he, is that where he plays? That's his no, preferred he position. A back three. No, man, he plays a back three. He's a centre back. He's a centre back by trade. But he, he can play a right back. He can right back. He can play right back. And but he has I don't, don't, good matches there. But why would you be substitute um, Len Bikisi? Len Bikisi has, oh, has his place substitute there. Now you can keep the legs fresh because there's a lot of mileage that position is going to be doing you know all right the first game against dominica republic right mm -hmm. give, me, give, give me your team and have a starting lineup um kc power and, and, and Lexa out wow um okay first so match then, so then, yeah okay. so then i would start i would start latimer there Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, team, sorry. Sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna go give you my team, man. Um, Blake, Blake, Blake is gonna be there. Um, I'm gonna have uh, uh Pinock, right? I'm gonna have uh, Hector, and uh, I'm gonna say it here I'm keeping Bernard, you know, I'm keeping Bernard because, um, so far, right. I, you know, I do have a problem with that. So, um, as a right back, I'm going to have Latibadir going there because he also played very well as, as part of that unit, defensive unit. So, I'm keeping him, right? Um, well, so far, Greg Lee. Greg Lee's going to be there. Uh, let me see. After that, definitely Damian Lowe. There is no if and but right there. No, that is after that. No, that is where I have a question mark in my mind. But for me, Kerry Anderson would get the nod. Okay, I think any team we're going up against, and we have Low and Kerry Anderson there. Kerry Anderson is a better passer and a young player, and he has legs. I would I wouldn't have a problem with him there because a lot of you don't know that Kerry was supposed to have started the Panama match. So I give you a scoop there that you probably didn't know, right? He was definitely supposed to have started that match, right? But um, so let's move on from there. 
after that, I'm going to be having, uh, let's see. Let me just get it correct here. I'm having Gray, and I'm going to be having Nicholson. And uh, let me see. I think there's one more space, right? No, no yeah, two, more. two more. Is it sick? Read yeah, two more. There's a certain player, a certain player that I'm expecting us to have. He'll, he'll, he'll round out the team. I think Mason that's Gre Mason Greenwood. I can't say. Well, 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 I can't well, say. No, but 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 JT let me say I don't know what me a chat about. <laughs> All I can say is there's a certain player that I'm expecting to see. I'm expecting Mason Greenwood. I don't know if it's Mason Greenwood, but I know so, or, or, or if expect I don't know. Yeah, eh? a lot of foolishness a lot of foolishness about you. They're part of big man program. So, so so let me give you mine. Andre Blake in goal. Somebody not recognize it. Just, just mute for a second. Just mute for a second. Andre Blake in goal. Um, Greg Lee left back. Joy Latibadir right back. And then in the middle, I would have in the in the middle of the defense, I would have Ethan Pinnock left. Michael Hector right, uh, Michael Hector center, and Damon Low right. In the center, um, I would have John Russell. Excuse me? In the center of the park at CDM, I would have John Russell. And then, <coughs> sorry, and then based on where we are now, I would have K, I don't really like him there, but I, for me, I, 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 this is my team. I don't think that that's what would happen. But I would have Brandon Cover and Bobby Reed in the 10, Damari Gray, Mikel Antonio. Mason Greenwood. And if Mason Greenwood is if Mason Greenwood is not available, if Mason Greenwood is not available, I that that, that right wing for me, that right wing for me, unless he starts performing incredibly stupid, is a fight between is a fight between Omari Hutchinson and Dujan Richards. That's my level. <laughs> All I can say is no comment. I won't say anything more. <laughs> Come think so, right? Look, look here. What I don't think. No, I'm have, telling if, you, if, if you saw, if you talk about the that country, the other day. You, you, you stopped by there before you came on here. No, I didn't, I didn't because, stop honestly, the, the selection that you have there, no. I don't see a coach giving a debut, right? Starting mm. debut to those players. Who? John Russell, John Russell after what? debut. John no, Russell after debut. No, well, okay. To move them into a starting position there. I, you, you should by now, I think all of us should by now, know exactly what to expect. No, I said my side. I said my team. Yes, not the okay. coach team. My team. Okay, sorry. Team. Well, my team, team I, I, I named is a team I expect the coach to start. Okay? That's the team I expect the coach to start. But what, what I expect is to stop bullshit, bull crapping and bull doodling about um, Mason Greenwood, which you know that that is a must. Look here. I, I don't, you, you talk about X Factor. Mason Greenwood has the X factor, which is that when you're there, you have to put three players around you, almost triple teaming. So two X factors on the team, one in that that the middle of the field, and another one in an advanced position. Hey, that, <laughs> that sounds to me like a team that is looking to go to the quarterfinals. Why, I won't say how far. Before. I won't. I, won't I, I would say, say quarterfinals. I would say quarterfinals. Look here. Anyway, what I can, what I'll say, 
hold on, hold on, this is hold not on. the first time I've mentioned Lo in that position, and I have been one of the few people that have pushed it, and not just informally, I've done it formally, and I'm glad that at least years ago, a, a, a Jamaica coach tried it and it worked, but I don't think I was brave enough to keep doing it. So I hope now that the current coach try try it until it fails. For me, try it until it fails. Nobody likes playing against that guy in the midfield. It it just makes it 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 makes your whole plan. It it, it throws everybody out. It does. And to be honest, I think he's more likely to get a card back there in defense than he is in the midfield. Okay. What can we do to get Mason Greenwood? Leaders all silent. <laughs> what are you asking? You're asking you know, what can we do? Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, I can't answer that one there. Who said we're not? But you're saying it like. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that we're not. Come on. I, know so I don't understand what you're saying. saying. No. What additional? But, but clearly it hasn't come to penalty. What can we do to bring this thing to an end? Unveil the man and let, and let us sell a million shirts on the internet. <laughs> you see, one of the things that I know and I've noticed it where you had certain people from england already dangling the thing and saying oh we're not going to consider you this year but let's see what happens next year so so the, so the work is already being done to plant that seed in in the youngsters mind of possible hope to represent england you know mm -hmm. and and i and i can't see it going on for quite a while we're going to be yeah. kicking the can and say oh hey, we Just might kicking the can down the road yeah yeah mm -hmm. Or, or they might kick the can and they might very well give him, um, put him out there and then the backlash comes. That's it for him. But, but my thing is, when, how can they do that? Because Euro 24 is upon them. So he can't be in the Euro 24 team. No, they already said he's not going to be there. Right. So so I don't know how much further you can kick the can. I mean, God so Gate seems to be playing a game of strip tease with you. Know? Take up, sure. Take up, oh, hey, hey. But oh, can he really fall for that? Can he be a Jason? Let us see. But as I said, they are, I'm expecting, I like, I like how you mentioned it about the X Factor. There are going to be two X Factors on that field when we go to Copa America. Leela, yeah. let, 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 let me challenge your credibility here. Max Arons, give us your take. On him coming or on him, on coming. him. On him coming and what he might bring. <laughs> let me tell you something. You see, you see Lembekisa's success and Lembekisa's age and also the option that you now have of Latibodir who is is actually a similar player that can know if we get it right because with the what hector has brought now you know we have an extremely mature and experienced because hector one of the things you know is that a lot of these players don't have experience playing with Hector, oh, oh, is that senior player who has been to copa yes yeah that's all the question man. no hold on hold on hold on i'm i'm answering you now don't, don't, so don't, be don't be a cat. No, that don't be long winded like me. For me, for me, <laughs> I have two other people right now that play a similar role that are there and are there from early. I am okay. So you don't see a right back as a priority, but I do. I am you. okay. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Going into qualifications, I see two because if we get because, because look here, hold on. For me, you know, my right backs are Latibadier now and Limiki saying the two L's, the double L's. 
those are, that those are my choices. I'm good with that. I don't no, need no, anything no, else. But we, no, but we bring it. We, but we see a Trayvon Gray in the team. <laughs> um, let me just say this. Let me just say this. From how I see it, that um, that's the last. I don't know. No, I'm. I still have time for him. But it was just like um, Javian Brown. At one stage, I think we all saw the last. But I think there were some injuries, and he was brought back. But which is, which is but why I'm at saying this stage, to you, I don't I, 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 so, okay. So, so let me so let us stick to the question I asked you. Are you beating up? So, you don't see a Max Aaron's being recruited, and you don't think there's the necessity to recruit an elite right now. <laughs> I know of one, I know of one other name that's going to make it three, and it's Max Aaron's not one of them du, with Dujan Sterling. No, 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 somebody else. Um, so, that somebody else. Well, I, I the only right back. Max Aaron's is a two-way player. He can play left back as well, right? Uh, even when he can play on the left side as well, but he's a more predominantly known as a, as a right back, right? I think he and Ben Johnson would have been two bigger like, options. I don't like Ben Johnson. I don't like Ben Johnson. I watched he's a, he's a, he's a steady player. He, has he might not be explosive as as, as as a max, but he's very very steady. Um, okay, Jaden yeah, Bogle is another one. Jaden Bogle at Sheffield United, but but the real the real man is Kyle Walker Peterson. Real man. Real 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 real, real man. So I believe that it is an upgrade. But so you're saying yes. Let, let me go again and ask you. I understand the water has the, the trail has gone cold on Tyreek Mitchell. Is that a problem for us, Lido? Uh, yeah, it is that is a problem. And I want to ask you, why would the trail go? And if he, let me tell you, Tyreek is a player that I identify, right? Tyreek's mother is Jamaican. So he's not searching for no granny passport or granny birth certificate. Why did the trail go so cold? And could the trail get back hot after the Euro 2024 squad is made? Because is he looking at the fact that Luke Shaw is not coming back from one to a new and there might be a space to the Ben, ben Chilwell is stinking up the right? personal even were mentioning David at Ipswich to be a part of that, 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 that uh, squad. So I haven't heard anybody singing about Terry Mitchell so far. No. And that's why I wonder if he make him in. Because I thought he I thought he was the next player coming in. I really swear. And I thought he, he would have seen and said, Oh, well, my rebel is out for a long time. So I just went and come and walk in the club squad with my how much how much hundred Premier League You're not alone with that cataract. I can't tell you. I thought the same thing too, honestly. Okay. It's good to see that I'm in bad company. Well, some, look here, what's happening? Some of these youngsters they're trying to hold on to the breeze. You understand? Yeah, yeah. They're holding on to the breeze. So I, I'm only gonna ask about two more breezes. What's what about him? What's on the trail? I can't pick up any scent on the trail. Look, Katara, what I do know, you know. I can look here. All I can say is about in the youth department, there are some very prominent youngsters that we're going to be seeing. And let me tell you, it's hard to compete with England once the players become established. So we have to just try the next best. Get them at the young stage. That's the only way we're going to do it. Because once you can offer a youngster that first new opportunity at international football, at you know, senior it's the only thing you can compete but when young as somebody like 24 25 they're still having hope it's going to be hard for you to compete nobody not offering no residence so no england call no he can't even get an arsenal call up by, by arteta so what you're telling to me son talk the truth man what is happening on that trail why has why has a player that was vocal 
seem to just go out like a damn firecracker. Cataract, you yes. realize that people try to keep a lot of information quiet nowadays because we realize that when the information becomes public, certain people from uh, Her Majesty comes knocking at your door. Case in oh. the Kadamati one was just so strange. I would have loved to have known when was he actually sent an invitation and and and, and when exactly? I'd love to know. I asked, I asked a question. I tried to ask and then people called me down and they just said the things that came up and I left it and then some little girl man like Travis I said, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I tried it. But so I just leave it that that we yeah, try blame GFF. I really wanted to know what left us with egg on our face. I don't I, I don't think it's from JFF or not. As I said, I don't think so. Agents play, especially these young players, they play a big role in their decision making. I remember I that Sheffy said Sheffy said the two teams send invitation. No, Kadamati had accepted Jamaica's first. First. Yes. He accepted Jamaica's first. Absolutely That's it. That's right? a fact. And this, they said that England send an invitation under 19. But I said the agents are going to play a big, big part. A young player whose stock is rising. Who would be going to basically watch? I don't need to go. Right. I think that, that was just one of those things. But That's one of those things that I hope it never happens. You know, you Look here. I can tell I, you. I, I, I think he's coming in. I think he's coming for I me. Well, I'm going to say something here now. I know he's coming. I, 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 I've heard I, I, I've been given that for us. It's a long time the leader, the leader never busted a like a story. I know he's coming. Ellis Sims, have we won the three way back? Have, have, we, have we picked ahead in the three way back for Ellis? That, that's the last somebody I'll be talking about. I don't think he's a three way back. I don't think I don't see an England future for him. No, it's actually he's eligible for three. So I'm asking, have we squeezed the head of four? Like? Right. And I think Poland tried to get into pay under 21. Didn't take, take, take it up. Oh, oh. Um, but that's good. That's good to me. He is he's, he's, he's around to Jamaica International. Can they be a part of the recruiting unit? I don't know. You know, um, one of the things I can say here that what Garrett Southgate has done by basically making Jamaica push for that you those youth talent is that it's it's going to make us into one of the biggest powerhouses eventually. And that is where England is going to feel it eventually down the line. I can tell you because look here, if you think about it, you know, in two years' time, I'm telling you, Lembekisa, <laughs> oh boy, that is, and I, there are so many names that are going to be coming up that once you see them develop. I don't go by the, by, by, by. you see, when you have a young player, you don't know how they're going to try, right? No, that's true, including injury. But, but if I, you have enough, if you have enough, right, if you have, right, right. So we need right, to stop. The, the, the amount. We need to stop and pile. We need to stop and pile. So we're doing that now because right now, you know, cataract. If you look at the amount of stock that we have, have stockpile already, right but between you know, ages of say 17 coming all the way up to about 21, 22. Let me, let, significant. Let, me go, let me go, let me go into your area. Uh, are you a one man and we are fighting the man with the whole quota system? Yeah, yeah. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, That's man. not true. Don't say that. Uh, next time, next time Jamaica play, and I may watch a match like this. I bet the man in beat you know, right out this. But the, the, it was too important a game. <laughs> so we just make you enjoy your edge, child. Man. You know, so we're all at edge. What what a wonderful occasion, eh? When when, when true fans are watching the game. The yes, game, man. That's right. It was a big game. game. Big game. Big game. Big game. They, 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 even though I 100% disagree with the leader all the time, 
I know so the man love the thing because we were there. We saw the fans, the, the women fans, man like Magnus, the Gate 7 crew, a whole, a whole venue of people just willing the team on to the last 10 seconds. Oh, boy. It, it, it coming like a man just coming and open fire and, and, and kill the whole of it in our drive-by. The way that, you know, that one hurt. But I want to ask you this. Caden Rodney at Crystal Palace and Ashley Fletcher. Ashley Phillips, sorry, the centre back from Tottenham Hotspur, who's on loan at Plymouth Argyle. What's the deal with those two youths? A wild and a... Look here, let me tell you something. I think Cataract on the twenty because he's a, he has about twenty something starts at Plymouth Argyle. Chapter, the centre back. When the under twenty squad hopefully is is revealed, <coughs> I think you'll be very happy. That's all I can say. Ashley Phillips, brother. I can't say anything more. All I can say is that I'm looking for that side to go to the second round. Not Kankakov, by the way. Let me just make it known. They are expecting them to go to the at least the second round. And I'm not talking about Kankakov. Okay, Derek. I think Phillips, Phillips is a hard one. I think Phillips. It's very, very, very. I think top young yeah. talent. I think yo. he's a very, very hard one to really get right now. No, no, but yo, because I watch some chat. You see, over there, you see, because the, 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 the championship games played different from the EPL games over the Easter. I got to watch two games of every player, and I got to watch two games of that youth. I remember he was at Middlesbrough before, and I saw him, 16 year old, start to get a championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, wow. Wow. Six foot four, just turned 18. Polished is the word I would use. Lika, go out and get the old one. Yeah? Yeah, what's that? Go out and get the old one. Ashley. There are some, okay, cataract. All I can say with the under 20, because I can't talk too much of that right now, is that you'll be very happy. I won't be as happy because I'm a particular position that I would have hoped to have been filled. Um, doesn't look like that youngster will get his documents in time. So, but um, I'll work with somebody else. Why do you think? Why do you think Anthony Grant qualified to represent Jamaica, but should you know, go out for the piece and ask people if true Grant can represent Jamaica? No, I didn't say what position, you know. No, 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 I'm not talking about it. I'm asking a different question now. Mm -hmm. Yes. As far as I understand, he can't. Of course he can. I don't. I don't. I don't. What, why, I, what, why, why was there... And I mean, I know the can't come down to cataract, right? Just to be running out. on a different level, you could have approached, say, uh, approach Manchester City. You know what I mean? Approach his father, who approaches Manchester United. No. Um, Cat look. Cataract, hold on there. Let me ask that question. Are you saying that they didn't contact, or are you assuming? They did not. Mind when you say you're assuming no enough. They did not. They did not. And you're a hundred percent sure that nobody and checked not. and they found out that he's not able to represent Jamaica. You're a hundred percent sure on that. But man, anybody would tell you that know the first thing you're talking about. That's what I'm telling you. It's far, it's far I'm trying to get the documents back in Tapas time. And said he would have played one more season. Signed up back and he signed up back one more season for Manchester. He said he was too old. But he was willing to come and be the first goalkeeper back in that credit one of the line on Trinity. Well, I can't say anything on that. Anyway, Cataract, 
Yeah. In the kitchen, you know, so that's not a child. Man, I think it's come to it. Come to it here now, so. We'll talk. Man, I'm on. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, uh, man, that's always a pleasure, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Very knowledgeable youth and very well behaved youth and like Katara. You know? Um, but then. Uh, Josh. It's Wilson Esprant, left, left back. He was at Coventry last year. So I don't know why the man will never rush him. Okay. Uh, oh, where is that? No, Josh Wilson Esprant. I think he's in France. He's in France. Man, oh, he's back in championship. No, man. Who is he playing for yep. the champion? Oh, well, there. You sure, my boss? Yeah, man, in combat in a championship, man. People think about watch him, watch him play over there. When they are game, I tried. I saw me that want football. Cardiff City, Lord of yeah. Birth. Yeah, man, Cardiff in there. Also, watch him play on game in 2 1. All right, so I have to go, I have, have to go, I have to go page on to the ground then, definitely. Because, uh, what, what is your view? This is the last one. I'm going to end here, so. Carl and Grant. And I don't like to talk about the grants because people say that I'm biased. What's your view on Carl and Grant? Um, drop off big time. Um, For my no. player who was a leading goal scorer in the championship. Mm. I think Huddersfield, I think his first scene as Huddersfield when he light the league up. Storm. Then he, he was over for a while, over for a couple of months and injured, and then he came back, hasn't been the same. He's more playing as a winger now. Right, uh, six and seven. Yeah. So the Oton was strike out that I know that I knew him as when I first um came to life with him as a teenager. Not he's not playing that position anymore. But he can play right and left. And he I can play as a number 10 as well. I don't, I don't trust him with a number 10, but six goals in 37 games, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Grand Tard, no Grant, we're disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the, the team has struggled. I think they look cool. the, the thick man. I wish Bram. Brandon Asante. Yeah. I, 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 again, I'm going to give Devon Porter all credit. He, he schooled me onto this player, Asante. Um, but I, I, so I think there are three so Carl and Grant, Asante, and Ellie Sims. So we have three starting um, strikers in the championship. Wait, what do you think about Whitika? A play one. Morgan Whitaker. Morgan Whitaker. He was he was in Wales before, you know. Yeah, man, that's yeah, Swansea. Morgan Derby Derby County, man. And then at Derby County. Derby County, then Wales, then then Swansea. Morgan Whitaker. I just always thought we had better players available to us in that position. That's the only unfortunate thing. And even now I look back at I look down in Preston, we have um Mason Ephraim Clark at Peterborough. No, that, that that's a player. <laughs> coming to coming to next season. Yeah. Is that is that if I come into January? Went mm -hmm. back on loan. I went back on loan. Yeah. So we shall see. But lots of things available to Jamaica and lots of players who are of Jamaican descent playing, who are Jamaican born, who are playing in Europe where they need to be properly evaluated and that drop off the radar, like Satchel and those guys. Well, Clark, Clark, Clark I, I, I think he's somebody who, a left foot winger playing on the left hand side, very, very, very skillful take on those, uh, ground those are very, very dangerous. I think he could be the immediate backup for 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 um Demi. Right. Yeah man, twenty four year old. Some call him a Demi. Please do not follow. Simon just not call him a Demi. Don't call him a Demi because when Mace, I, I keep telling you with this thing now when they take up like England and I, I, I Imi everybody, Demi, Simi, Lati, Trati, Pini. 
when Mason will get when Mason Green would come in, we're not calling him Woody. Not I. When a tappy. <laughs> when a tappy. Because I, I think still for probably still I, 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 I like Whitika. His build up game is very very good. Um, I think he has gotten. But uh, for me, I, I, I think Swansea wasn't didn't really, but mm-hmm. went down that good for him. But I, I think coming at a lesser club, club that's got 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 got, got um, promoted and really being one of the top goal scorer. I think his third goal scorer in the league, seventeen or eighteen goals. And I would have him over over Davante Cole, younger player as well. He has more to his game. More to his game. I plays at a higher level. And every time even, he has stepped up, he doesn't look out of place. That's what I would yeah, say. If even, even watching Cole this morning, that I'm not a Cole fan enough. Just get I, that right. Right now, I I I I don't see him at the international level. To be picking a squad, yeah. If if he have injury like the other day, I think he could have done something. I still have Romario Williams over him as a person being in international field already. Mm-hmm. Um, start of the season very, very strong. Hasn't scored a goal for the longest while. He missed one this morning. I don't know, I don't know he missed it. So I think his confidence has, has, has really taken a hit. Well, I have to rely on you. I, I, I said it's not it's not my player. Yeah, that's why that's what I said. He he's one of the reasons I, I sit and I said with, with with Hector Kirai, and so it's four players there. I said I want to see how they look. Mm-hmm. Hector all standing in the defense came on a lot of pressure. I said Russell. And when I see Russell play, playing by himself there, the whole he shield the, the, the back line, control the game, will go in forward and same way. And I, I think, as I said, most of persons, when they don't play in their rifle position and, and, and we bash them and say they're not good enough. I like to see everybody in their rifle position. You come like, if you come to Jamaica, you don't play as a winger, you don't get the rifle position to play. If you look at it, it's only the wing box and the, the wingers drop in the rifle position. And Pinnacle's actors are different. Pinnock and, uh, Bernard as a, as a defender. Because even, even when Paul had brought in Lati to play against Catalonia, remember he was playing defense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a good reasoning. I'm on a yeah. go. Yeah. Every, every, every time and time. Um, catch up on the rebound. Jay Taylor. Yeah, man, bless up, man. Big up everybody yeah. in the chat, yeah? Yeah, big up everybody in the chat, except the double name man, the man, Travis Pesel. Yeah, I know Travis, what? Yeah, I understand. But a big friend. People, take care on the weekend. Yeah, um, man, bless up And tomorrow, la- la- last day at JPL, last final round. Decision day tomorrow. Decision who, day. Who, yeah, man. More pleasant oh, yeah. already. Who you carrying? Um, more pleasant no, or who? More pe- no, more pleasant. They are first one point. So you have Tivoli and Cavalier fighting for second position. Who will get um go and wait for the semi final? Where's our big, Yeah, big, big game. Tivoli. Tivoli, um, Mobile. Mobile needs to win by three goal. I, I, I hope, hope water was supposed to have a few. Where's our next? A good game tomorrow. Where's Arnett Gardens in all of this? Arnett, Arnett fifth. Arnett is okay. It's okay. In the playoff. I just one one spot for this. Just, uh, just two this uh, um who, who will come second to go to the semi-final and the sixth place to make it their semi-final team. So Waterhouse and um, Amobi fighting for it. And give us your pick. Waterhouse and Mobi. Call it out. I don't like to see Mobi. Two of them and 40 points. But I don't want to hear legacy. Who is going to make it? Tell the people. Uh, I think Waterhouse has an easier game. Um, Tivoli travel to Moby. Moby has looked very, very good. Um, 
like I don't like another outside team on it. Uh, I think I, I think Waterhouse has uh, has found the farm over the past couple of weeks. So, but well, the playoff games are going to be hot. Cause you're looking at uh, um, well, Port, Portmore, what are you going? Um, third, third place six, and uh, second um, fourth and fifth play. So you look at the, looking at the on a Portmore game. So that that game has already decided. So and it was at the top for most of the season. So I think the players are going to have about um, Tivoli. Tivoli have, have have the advantage and goal difference at second place now. So if 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 Cavalier win and Tivoli lose, Adria Cavalier goes to second. So the, the playoff is going to be hot. There you have it. Business, business time, JPL. He says playoff is going to be hot. All right, my brother. Respect you. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I'm all scared of it. That's what I'm going to say. Hope all the players will stay safe tomorrow. And everybody comes out on the other side of it. I'm out of it.